Well met. Testing, testing audio, how? Now, Judge Meow, hello everybody on a Tuesday. Hope everyone's having a swell start to their week. I have announcements, listen to these. Announcement one, today is the beginning of In Theory. In Theory, uh, a brand new meta for Arena. Now, I have only heard one person talk about the new meta who is here right with us, Rub and Chat who said, and I quote, in my first draft after update, I pick a donker hunter. <laughs> I had to. Did not see any card that was not in rotation before the update. That's weird. Uh, you would expect that the cards would be different. Um, I wonder why that happened. Maybe they just decided hunter was perfect the way it was and changed everything else. Are we... 100% sure it was updated, but no, it wouldn't let you draft, right? If it weren't, 
That is weird. Um, maybe they forgot. Maybe they were so focused on BGs, they just didn't change it. No, 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 no. I don't know. I'm just going to ignore it and power through and see what happens with my next arena run, right? Quite, Doe saw quite a few new cards with a warrior draft. Okay, that's good. So it seems like perhaps some classes were updated a little more heftily than others, maybe. Because um, it, it, it's an interesting thing. Uh, this, ex I guess it's not an expansion, right? It's um, just like a, a new season. So new sets or whatever, but it's completely curated, same as last season. And we have no idea what cards are in. Like that, we have zero clue. Like coming in today, no, no idea what cards could possibly be in arena. Like they, they haven't told us anything about it, right? So we have to just kind of play and see what's in there. Uh, so it looks like some of them are going to overlap with what we already had in and some of them aren't. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, announcement number, actually in the reverse, announcement number zero. Um, I tweeted about this. Um, I posted this in the Discord, but if you don't follow all that, um, you might have already heard this. This is for a subset of people. If you happen to not uh, have seen Neo Greg's insane run, I honestly am guessing most people have. This is big news. Like this isn't just like, oh, another streamer did well. Right? This isn't just like, oh, another streamer did a good job and got number one. Uh, Neo Greg finished up, and I'm I'm really pushing this too because I just can't imagine, and I said this in my tweet, I just can't imagine Neo Greg is properly bragging about this. He's too modest, right? He's like, yeah, wow, great run, you know? Man, it feels really good. And he's not wrong. And modesty is, you know, is is, a, is a, an, a, an admirable trait. But like, this is the number one best streak of arena that has ever existed throughout the entire 10 years of Hearthstone. That literally, yeah, Sun didn't even know who Greg was. Yeah, well, Sun, Sunny did just step back in, but this is good, right? This is why we got to talk it. Like, people need to know. If you care about Arena, you have to know about Neo Greg's unfathomable, right? Yeah, we don't have to be modest. No, the guy's a god. The guy's a god. What the heck? 10.1 average? Are you kidding me? Here's the thing, right? Like I said, did, did he get good drafts or whatever? Yeah, obviously, but like, you give me the same drafts you gave Neo Greg, I might high roll it, maybe get like an 8.5. Maybe maybe even I can get a nine. I don't know. 10.1? I, I honestly think he might be the only player who plays right now who can who could have done that. I, yeah, obviously, yeah, luck only goes so far. I, 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 you know, I always want to be like talking about, oh, I could compete with the best of the best. And I do think I can. I, I got a top 10. I got a top 10. But like, I, I think Neo Greg has been so dominant. And this stretch, I think just, just puts him in another league, right? Like, come on. 10.1. 10.1. Ridiculous. It's, it's so ridiculous. And I think it's even more ridiculous than some people think even too. Like, it's easily the best streak we've ever seen in arena history. And I'm talking like, Stan Udachi streak. I'm talking, well, okay, Stan Udachi's streak of leaderboards might be as impressive, but like, goddamn, 10.1 in this economy? In 2024? Like, this isn't like a 10.1 six years ago when, you know, things were a lot easier for good players. Like, things are hard, yeah. All the cheaters in uh, a much more cutthroat meta than, than you would have seen with other... You know, not even top 10. What did I get knocked out of the top 10? No, dude, I was number 10 as of last night. OK, I'm clearly washed up. I promised the top 10. I should do better next time. What did I go to 11? Did I go to 11 at the end of last night? <laughs> no, no, this meta is going to be different. This is going to be my meta because it's like I'm, I actually had a good time making leaderboards last meta. I think I'll do it again. Number 11. Oh, dude. Why even bother? Why even bother? Let's be honest. Even if I come in number five, number 11, number 20, number two, Neo Greg still crushed everybody. It's Neo Greg number one and everyone else is just like, OK, right? You know, even the guy who came in second got a nine. And that's insane, obviously. But Neo Greg beat him by 1.1 per run, which is insane, and did it after the whole Hunter scenario. And um, Hunter the high roll potential for Hunter at the beginning of the meta was a hundred times what it was for Demon Hunter or Shaman. I swear to you, like literally remember that deck. So we remember how at the beginning we got no hunters 
We got no hunters offered. We're like, you need hunter if you're going to win, if you're going to high roll. And we never got it. Then we finally got one and it wasn't even that good. I went back to EU and finished that hunter and it went 12. It, it went 12 easily. And it wasn't even that good of a hunter. It just like I, you know, it, you know, cussed me out for playing that deck instead of retiring it after after the changes or whatever. But it just crushed everybody because it was it was just such an it was that hunter was such in a different league. And Neil Greg didn't have that. Maybe he had one or two or a couple at the very beginning or whatever that went OK. But the nine was set before the hunter changes. Like there's just so many reasons this run is just monumental. So huge congrats to the Neo Greg. And I just think that again, I, I think that Neo Greg's going to say something like, yeah, this is the best run. Do you know what he said? I think after he finished, he's like, this is the best run I've ever had. I'm like, Neo Greg, this is the best run anybody ever has ever had. What do you mean? This is the best run I've ever had. It's the best run anyone's had, dude. So, you know, just huge news there for the arena community. Uh, best run, uh, new record. I, I, I didn't think educated Collins way back, way back. Years and years and years ago, Educated Collins got seven 12s in a row. Neo Gray got seven 12s in a row, and then a 10, and then six 12s in a row. 12, 12 win runs and 13 runs. Just annihilating that, you know? He did not lie about it being his best run. That's true. That was the truth. <laughs> that was the truth. But yeah, it was it was awesome to see the end of that. Crazy stuff over there. You know, and if you don't, obviously, if you don't follow Neo Gray, best, you know, the best arena player out there as of right now, you know, um, and putting himself within probably the most elite of all time, I think, with uh, with more and more and more. You're talking Collins? Yeah, Collins. Uh, well, not even just that, just like one of the best arena players in, in, out of everybody, too. Yes, 100 uh, like uh, with uh, Collins. Uh, as far as like. I don't know, I'm trying to think about his era. I'm trying to think about his era, it was uh, like he was even a little bit before when I started. It'd be like Boozer. He would he would just win every tournament back then. Educated Collins. Yeah, Jummy is gone. Yeah, Jummy was very very good as well. And I think if, for those who enjoy Neo Greg and enjoy uh, Jummy, you guys uh, would have loved to watch A Dubs probably. A Dubs reminds me of Neo Greg so much. Uh, both of them two hour drafts, right? Both of them, <laughs> like when they're try harding, A-dubs might actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure A-dubs drafted longer than Neo Greg did. Neo Greg was taken so long on those last drafts because they were very critical for his huge average. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure A-dubs was longer and he was, he was also uh, uh, elite, elite. Uh, Shady Bunny and him, I watched a lot. Yeah, yeah, they had some great co-ops way back, way back when, yeah. Yeah, that goes goes back a, a ways, but they had some great co-ops. Shady Bunny, very, another very, very strong player. Yeah, that was good stuff. Just follow Neil Greg. A good choice. Yeah, he's great. He's great. Very strong player. And uh, it's inspiring, honestly. In metas where, like, you know, things have gotten more volatile, there have been cheaters. Speaking of which, Cheater Jail exists. Huh? Cheaters should be way more taken care of starting today, by the way. So that's huge. Just unfollow, just unfollow Judge, follow Neil Greg. Great choice, Marion. That's a solid, solid choice. Strong player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dreads is gonna... So that means we'll never match into Dreads again, right? Who is the best Canadian arena player? Crip or Judge? Wait. How... Who else is Canadian? Who else is Canadian? Because I know Boozer was Canadian. Is it possible I could be the best Canadian arena player? Crip? Crip maybe one day. I think that, you know, I don't think he plays enough or, or you know, it may be if he played all the time. He he also had the disadvantage of getting sniped every second of his life. Veritas is better than you still. I knew someone was going to say it. That was always a, like it. Veritas and I both know that neither of us were as good as Boozer. Um, Especially at the time. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, I, we, we haven't done anything to. I, I would need a few more number ones to, to be in that conversation. Dreads is fake Canadian. Yeah, Dreads, we like to shit on Dreads. We do. He's pretty good at the game. He's pretty good. We'll delete that from the VOD, though. Um, you know, he pretty much my entire like three year streak of top tens. He was like right beside me the entire time. Um, language Hacker. Language Hacker is Canadian and he he played uh, some arena and just crushed it, too. But uh, let's just go ahead and uh, assume it's us, right? 
<laughs> Apparently I got knocked out of the top 10. It still shows that rank. Rank, wait, how do you do this? Rank judge, NA. Oh, 11, dude, I guaranteed a top 10. I was all like, I can, I can get a top 10 at will pretty much. I was like, I'm gonna get top 10. I didn't count on a 10.1. Oh, embarrassing. Let's do better this meta. Embar embarrassing, it's not embarrassing, it's very good. Anything over seven I think is crazy this meta. It's just that Neo Greg took it to a whole new new level. Uh, Redbeard's beard is Canadian. Yeah, so maybe it goes one Redbeard's beard, two Crip, <laughs> and then and then maybe I'm top ten or five. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm on the lookout for new cards. I was watching another streamer and they didn't draft anything new. Yeah, someone else was saying that. Yeah, or I'm gonna start uh, now. Um, I don't think I have any more announcements. Someone else was saying that they also did a draft and didn't see anything new, which is a bit bit weird. But then uh, someone also said Dosa Coffee found some new cards, so. Like, I'm kind of concerned Demon Hunter is just going to be the best then. It'd be pretty disappointing if the meta were just, like, the same. Dose drafted a couple new ones, but not many, like 3 and 30. Oof. So new season, is it still... Maybe the goal... Maybe we kind of... Did we misinterpret the, like, goal? I was expecting a completely different meta. But did they just, like... Did they? Just, I, I wonder if they just took a few cards out, put a few cards in, and then started a new season. The thing is, is, like, they did that... They did that already, like when they took out collateral damage and wild seeds and then put some new cards in, but they didn't start a new season. So I figured if they're starting a new arena season, that things would be changed a bunch. So that's a little weird. That being said, regardless of what um, of what is going to be good, maybe Demon Hunter will still be broken. Um, we were remember uh, my leaderboard runs are not on this account. I have a separate tryhard account so we can pick whatever the heck we want, right? Like we don't need to be like, oh, we got to consider that or whatever. Uh, I've got a separate account for leaderboarding. So what do we want to do here? Start with a greasy, greasy, greasy priest, like something so greasy. What do you think they added there? All it takes to be fair, sometimes all it takes is to add one gross card and it's pretty common to change a class. Um. No idea to, what to expect, but from everyone saying things are kind of the same, I don't know if I just want to see a demon hunter with all the same cards, but we'll see. Hi, my name is the man with the red beard. Yeah, you have to be at least like a follower of both of our channels for five years to. Yeah, <laughs> what were y'all thinking with those these original names? Judge was taken, man. <laughs> uh, hmm. OK, let's go, priest. Wait, Dose easily got four or five excavates offered. That's as many as I got last meta. In Warrior? I think I'm gonna go Priest. I'm gonna go Priest and see what Grease they've added. And uh, let's see if we get some new cards. My body's ready. Let's do it. Uh, wow, Zerimi better than Blackwater Behemoth? Apparently by a lot. Activate the Obelisk, was that always in? You take a Zerimi here, right? Cause like, it's Zerimi. But like, what does this do again? Restore 15 health. And then your hero power is give a minion plus three plus three. Obelisk is new. Hmm. I'm going to guess people still want Zerimi, though, right? I'd be down for either. I'm down for quest. Restore 15 health. How hard could that be? <laughs> How hard could that be? What do you guys think? But like it is Zerimi we're talking here. Like, that's a pretty beefy dragon. You know, it's pretty fun. And the reality is this this is silly, but it's probably not very good. Yeah, quest pog, restore 15 health. I'm, I'm going to need a few specific cards. Try hard judge, activate. No, 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 no. Too early for that. Too early in the season for that. But like, it's still a Zerimi. I still, I'll still win some games. I don't want everybody to unfollow, unsub. I don't want everyone to. Just draft two, restore eights. Is that even in? We don't even know. They might have added this. Uh, would you put it past Blizzard to add this and then troll with removing all the healing cards? <laughs> You're like, oh, oops. <laughs> what, is the, what does the reward even do? What does the reward even do? I actually don't. It's plus three plus, give a minion plus three plus three. Is that what it does? No, it's restore health and give it plus three plus three, right? Heal, th heal three, give a minion plus three plus three. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
But like healing 15 sounds like a chore, dude. And the worst part about these quests is that you have to start with them and then you just kind of get minus one card and miss turn one. <laughs> that's why these are so bad, man. Like that's why they all have such horrendous win rates. Like you probably don't even finish the quest and then you just start with one less card and miss turn one. If it weren't Zarimi, I'd probably do it, but I think I'm gonna take Zarimi. People people are pretty split here, I think. Seeing, uh, seeing a, a bit of a split. Usually down for either, though. Yeah, quests have been super power corrupt by one mana 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, one mana. You would way rather play one mana 2-2 two, two than a quest. Yeah, it's true. Uh, in theory, for winning, but like, I don't know, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Let's see if we can get some Dragoons in here. Keep your eyes out. Look at this. Immediately careless crafter. Immediately I'm shown I made the wrong choice. I'm not taking it out of spite. I'm gonna take shadow visions. That could be fun. Discover a copy of a spell in your deck. Discover a spell. Wait, hold up. Discover a copy of a spell in your deck or discover a spell from your deck. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Time for zero dragons. I would cry. I would cry. Copies? Wait, remember when you could shadow visions into shadow visions and do that forever for some combo or something? Thrive has better art. I like this art. I like both. This is purple. This is purple gem. This is blue gem for whatever reason. I'm going to go shadow visions. Devouring Ectoplazam. Oh, I could draw my Zarimi and never take another minion over five mana again. Although I probably want that six mana, those six mana dragons. <laughs> I'll just take a good card, maybe. Drive thins for your Zarimi, that's true, but I want infinite copies of that new spell they just added to the arena, which we'll find out what that is soon. Right? Could have restored it. Yeah, yeah, true. Elemental restore. Well, this does it by itself, right? This does it by itself because you just play this and uh, it restores to ca all characters. So you could heal all your minions for eight, right? So that's six other minions. So there's, you know. 48 health right there, and then 56. You're this itself heals for 56. Damn, I made a, I made a terrible blunder, and now I'm not going to get any dragons. Thank God, this dra I don't want this dragon. Why would I want this dragon? This dragon is a poop dragon. Why would I want a poop dragon? Looks like Deep Run's new. Deep Run Engineer's new. Let's take that. That seems fun. Um, see, I want dragons, but I don't want poop dragons. I don't want poop dragons. I'm going to take a holy smite. Give me the good dragons. Yeah, that dragon. This is memes. Big dragon. I want. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, Condemn's probably better, but maybe I just take this because I'm a priest and it's fun and screw my opponents. I'm going to take their cool cards. Excellent. Uh, maybe now I take the caricature artist. Right, Zarimi and Dragoon up there? Seems like that could be neat. Ship's Sharanigan? Uh, that's a Dragoon, and I need to be playing Dragoons, so sign me up. Fly off the shelves? Wait, why is this so good? Deal one damage to all enemy minions. Repeat for each dragon you're holding. How many dragons are people holding that this is a 49% win rate? I've got two. What do you mean? How many? Deal one damage to all minions. Repeat. Okay, so it already starts with one damage. If you have one dragon, it's good AoE. But the thing is, is I need dragoons. I'm almost a third of the way through. I only got the two. The one for Zarimi. I need those six mana double dragoons, right? Wait, those are quadra dragoons. What do you guys think here? Should I just take the dragon or should I take fly off the shelves and believe? Should I believe? Is this a test? I feel like I'm failing tests left and right here. Failed the, the quest test. Believe? Yeah, you think? We need the dragons before the payoff. Broomstick. I'm not taking broom. I'm not taking broom. I'm a dragon main. I'm a dragon priest main, which is how I know I'm going to get more dragons. I'm taking fly off the shelves. Forget it, dude. They're coming. Look at this. Amber whelp. Good Lord. Good God. There's a dragon right there. Synchronize gives me yet another dragon. Um. Hmm. It's one of the best one drops in Priest. It's good. It's solid. It's it's definitely solid, but like I'm going to deal five damage to my opponent. It's going to be four mana deal five to my opponents. 
Battle Visions, holy, holy. Okay, yep, Spirit Guide looks good. Cool, cool, cool. Another Skeletal Dragoon? Enormous? What, what does this do? Five or more? So it could be Spirit Guide now, too. All right, now we're laughing. Sunspot Dragoon. I knew it. I knew this would happen. Uh, Anduin's Gift? An Anduin's Gift? Stonehill can get you a Skeletal. That's true. What else can it get you? I'm assuming the Discover Pool is still going to be every card in the game, right? Assume that doesn't that doesn't change. Um, Probably this card's the best. It's going to... Wow, this is way higher than I ever expect, dude. Is Observer of Mysteries that good, man? Stats say it's so good, but like, I play around those secrets all day. Maybe it, it gives me more dragons somehow. I feel like I want the tram mechanic, man. I feel like tram mechanic is better than this. I low roll this all day. Maybe this is more fun for chat. What do you guys think? Do you guys want this? Secrets screw you over all the time. At least for me, they always do. Uh, even if there's 100 secrets uh, that you can get from this, which how many are there actually? Two random secrets from every... How many secrets are there in the entire game? Like there's so many, right? Dreads hates Observer. That's enough reason to draft it. It's now my favorite card. Now it's my favorite card. I love this card. So good. <laughs> Uh, Wandmaker's got to be pretty good in Priest. Merlocula's always good. Don't believe it's always good. Take a nice Wandmaker. Um, yeah, okay, sure. Zero cost, zero power could be fine. Another Spirit Guide? I don't even have that many spells, dog, but it's better than these pieces of garbage. Sure. Ah, oh, Clay Matriarch. That's the one. That's four dragons. That's a four for. That's a four for a hey, nice Bert. You spoke it into existence here. Okay. Night Elf is gross. Exquisite. Another Clay Matriarch. You got to take it over the synchronize. All right, there. Now we win. Now it's over. A third Skeletal Drake. Do I really need three Skeletal Dragons? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hmm. Partner in Crime Synchronize is pretty nice. Zarimi is the take another turn card? Yes, it is. Yep, 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 yep. Um, these are all pretty fun and good, I guess. Partner in Crime fills in probably what we need the most on turn four. We don't really have good four options. Uh, Blackwing will be active always. And Plagiarizer is just rude and nice. Hmm. I'm going to go P and C because I need some fours. Another fly off the shelves? It's got to be. I love a nice panda, but come on. I'm a dragoon main. Except for that dragon. That's too slow nowadays. Don't want. Don't want. Maybe a nice cannibalize? I need more spells for my spirit guides anyway. Nice cannibalize. A nice... Uh, oh. Do I ever cube a clay matriarch? Or should I just take the good dragon? <laughs> hmm. How greedy can I be here? Cubing Spirit Guide doesn't actually do as much because we, we only have seven spells. Like, we don't have that many spells. And a lot of them aren't even tagged, right? Fly off, fly off. Anduin. Like, I, I'm, I'm barely... These are... I need... I don't know. Finish off with a couple more spells, maybe. Probably just take the Aeon Reaver. Dragoons and whatnot. Cuba Clay? I, like, it's not like... I guess it's not like Zarimi needs any help. It's not like Zarimi needs any help. You know what? Cube is hilarious. Let's do it. Fuck it. Why not? Fly off the shelves, number three. Great. Swell. Uh, I, oof. That card's so good. Do I ever want to take a Condemn instead of a Vile Fiend? I'm going to be flying off the shelves left and right, doing nothing early. And uh, let's see how many Holy and, and uh, Shadow spells I have. I have one Holy, two Holy, one Shadow. Two and two. Is that it? Two and two. Two and two. Two and two. Vilefiend's pretty gosh darn good. But like, do I care? <laughs> do I care? Three fly off the shelves? 
What does their early game matter when I'm flying off the shelves left and right with a billion dragoons? Hmm. Do we not need twos? Yeah, no, we, we definitely need twos. Like, it's easily Vile Fiend. Like, it's easily Vile Fiend. I'm just deciding how greedy I want to be. Only two more picks. If this were double-sided AoE, maybe we could talk more, I guess. And lastly, oof, look at those beautiful twos, man. Oh, those are gorgeous. Another holy spell? Beautiful Mind Eater. I take Mind Eater over Watcher of the Sun, right? I can cube that. Yeah, I can cube that. So then it's, do I take Mind Eater or Synchronize? Probably one more two is just perfect. And just be like, it's fine. If your Spirit Guide only draws one card, or if like your second Spirit Guide doesn't draw, then you've already done your stuff. It's not like we need the value. We have three Skeletal Dragons. Yeah, let's go Mind Eater. Let's go Mind Eater. All right, let's get Priesting. Let's get Priesting. So what cards are new there? Is Mind Eater new? Skeletal's not, Sunspot's not, Clay's not, Zerimi's not. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't. We'll continue in a sec. How many new cards do we get? No, 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 yes? Shadow Visions? No, maybe? Is Mind Eater new? Deep Run is, so what, three new cards? Three new cards? Three? Three of them? Three of them? Um, let's toss the skeletal and keep everything else. That seems good. Mind Eater isn't new? Okay, so maybe two new cards? Seems like perhaps this wasn't as big of a meta shakeup as uh, one might have thought. We'll see what our opponents play. Seems like cards didn't change too much. Yeah. Seems like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I'm I'm alone in this. I kind of felt things were going to be a lot different today. You know, I had today as like a, a an all like a long day of arena, no variety and like new new meta hype. And now I'm not so sure <laughs> now I'm not so sure, but we'll keep our eyes out, you know, on uh, on what our opponents slam down. Maybe there's some more new stuff on the other side. And we'll keep an eye out on um, percentages as well, right? Keep our eye out on the, on the, uh, like this almost seems like it might have just been like a small balance patch, you know? I'm kind of okay with that. I like them refining the curated pool. Keep in mind the patch, uh, this day was mainly for BGs. Or big patches later. Yeah, today was for sure mainly for BGs. Oh, another thing is uh, jail, right? Um, barcode jail is pretty enormous. I think I'm supposed to coin. I think I'm supposed to coin. I could trade that first, I guess. Hmm. I guess I'll just coin this and see what else they do. What's barcode jail? Pretty much it's everyone who's cheating hard is going to be put in their own jail to play against each other forever and for all eternity, leaving us relatively safe. Judge, do you know you can see the logo of each expansion on every card? Look under the card text in the middle. Yeah, no, no, I did know that. Yep, yep, uh, each one will have. That's actually how we figured out the bug. That's That wasn't in before, right? That's how we figured out the bug of, um, you know, like Menacing Nimbus hitting Menacing Nimbus is because it would hit the opposite version, right? How many dragons do I have? One. How do I only have one dragon, dude? Where are my dragons at? All right, well, I don't mind them summoning more one ones if I'm going to fly off the shelves in a sec, but I need my dragoons. I need my dragoons. I want to handle that zero four. When I do this. Dragoon. OK. OK. Only the one Dragoon has me a little spooked. How are they going to identify those accounts to be able to do that? Um, it has to do with uh, retiring, I believe. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know all the exact details. I know a little bit 
I know a little bit, but I feel like they I feel like they intentionally hold back some information about it to like stop people from being able to get around it, maybe, but yeah, I think I have no choice but to fly off the shelves here, although I would love I guess I could just make this trade. They don't have that much out there. Mustache, I'll overdraw. I could just do this. Get an explosive trap from Observer, like a pro. Let's do that first. That seems good. What I get? What I get? What I get? Interesting. Interesting. Going infinite with Observer of Mysteries? Sure, if only I had a dragon on board for that. Boggies, Poggies. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm getting Boggies, Poggies. They're not even going to kill it. Maybe I can get another Clay Matriarch. Hmm. Don't even trade. Wow. Uh, well, those are all pretty decent. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Like another dragon, so that's three there. I could clear this. Seems reasonable. I guess, I guess I have to trade into here. Would I play you? Freaking boggies poggies, dude. He gots to fly off the shelves. This is happening regardless. And then I guess you probably just want to get max tempo going like you could play that on clay matriarch i guess i could play it on the one maybe that's better even that alive is a little awkward though they're gonna evolve it anyway why don't i just heal face i'm probably just playing clay and the one but still have cannibalized still have a few things because i could go like turn nine even clay one synchronize the one We'll see. We'll see. It's a good one to uh, to evolve. Getting hit by Boggy's Poggy's pretty good. I wouldn't mind another fly off the shelves. I would. I would. Dan. Coming in hot. Dan, we got a treat for you here today, man. 37, not in a row. 37. But last year, but last year, I had 38. Was that, was that it? Was that the quote? Was it 37? You know, anybody? Was it? Dan, thank you very much for the 37 months. It's good to see you. Uh, got a, got a nice juicy priest for you here today. Uh, good stuff. Oh, here's the clerks. Mine was, uh, the first Harry Potter, I think, if I nailed it right. I think so. I think I'm gonna have to cannibalize or else risk death. Um, but what does this do? Plus one, plus two? Hmm. 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 I didn't know yours, but I appreciated that you were probably referencing something. Dan, thank you so much for the 37 months guy. That's quite, uh, that's quite generous. So I guess the play is to consider becoming dead. This is Taunt. Hmm. Random spells, that could help me. I could just do this and the one, but I could be taking a lot of damage. If they have a hex, but surely I don't die. I can cannibalize next turn. It's no problem. We'll just give that a whack. Why not? Why not? Let's find out if I become dead. It seems like we may be in a similar situation as last meta where we're taking a bad class. It, you know, like it feels like the classes are probably going to be like the same, you know, so we'll see. Was hoping to try out a bunch of different stuff today, but yeah, this is a uh, this is not great. 
This is not great. Yeah, Commander Neptalon. Losing, that's, you know, I don't know. Feels like we chose a bad class and it's just going to be Demon Hunters, Shamans again. Um, nothing seems to have changed all that much. So far on game one, we'll see. But if every if every deck seem, like has like 27 or 28 of the same cards as before, doubt, doubt we can expect much different. <laughs> Okay, well, I become dying. Fly off the shelves. I lost some dragoons. All right, Shadow Word Steel. I mean, if I cannibalize, I can't do anything else other than play the Synchronize, which is bad. Can I live ever? I could, I could cannibalize and then trade here and then trade those off. Like, I, I feel like I can live, but it's pretty bad got to be cannibalize this and then do this you probably need to just take out both of the fives right like I can't make a value trade here surely you're gonna end up healing face and playing deathmatch pavilion And hope they give me a good spell. Only one away on the Dragoon. Is there a spell that's cheap that summons a dragon? Maybe I need to do this. I might, this probably increases my chances of dying right now, but also probably increases my chances of winning. I probably need the extra little bit. Don't have any AOE. Like they're just gonna develop and I'm gonna be screwed. I probably make one value trade. Hey, catch, dodge it. There's no way, dude. Okay. There's one way to discover a dragon. So every card is in. Every If a card is, in, uh, like every card is in the random pool. So I could get that, yeah. And that could, that could help, but I don't even know if it could still get me to win. Bane of Doom, hey. Any lifesteal demons with charge out there? Uh, Melganis? All right, well, first game of the new season is a loss. Again, I think we've made an error in thinking things might have changed when they have not. <laughs> so Priest is going to struggle. If every, if like this deck could be good, and honestly, it is still probably pretty good for a Priest. But if the meta is the same, it's still going to get rolled. Like if it's still all demon hunters, shamans and, and you know, good hunters like I, I drafted this assuming the meta was different. And if that's not true, we're going to probably lose some games here. To all my fans, this to all my fans uh, I believe I will get another dragon. Don't forget the good old death knight. Sorry, that's the one I was missing. Thank you. And death knight. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like perhaps, I don't know, did they, did, maybe, the, is this our fault for assuming things were going to change? Did they, all they said was new arena season, but they did say new rotation too, right? They did say new rotation. I don't have a turn two after Vile Fiend, so I'm not going to use the coin. I'll just play this next. Like, what did they say? Can I look at the patch notes? Because I, I, at the moment, I would hardly call this a new rotation. I would say, like, this is, like, barely even a balance patch, right? <laughs> they did say new pools. Yeah, so not really, though, right? I don't know. Seems weird. Seems weird to me. Like, we've, we've literally seen just balance patches within seasons do, like, 10 times more, at least right <laughs> um i lied i did not get offered uh, a dragoon where are my dragoons at dude i just uh can't power word shield i could pain Ugh. Blech. Blech. 
Hey, Judge, happy Tuesday. You know what uh, we say about Tuesdays, right? Yep, it's the Wednesday of the sea, I believe we say, Sabo. Is that chicken of the cave or whatever? That's also a reference. Uh, let's do this, this. How you doing, Sabo? Good to see you. Okay, here, from the patch notes. Okay. On April 16th, all ongoing arena runs will end. That happened. And a new arena season will begin. That also happened. Like the current season, uh, this next season will include cards across all Hearthstone expansions. And each class will get their own curated list of cards in their card pool. These curated card pools will be adjusted with the seasonal update. So they do say adjusted. They don't say like it's going to be changed. Like I can see why we you like we, we might expect a bigger change, but they'd said adjusted. The first pick of each arena raft will still be a legendary. So those saw five to six cards that were new to the warrior pool. That's that beats uh, any any of our our you know uh, chats records. A nice dragoon. Let's just give that a bonk. And give these bonks. And that seems pretty decent. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a little on on. It feels like all of us kind of expected a big change, though. No, I think I think the reason is is that every time the leaderboard like season is reset, that's a completely new meta, right? So we got a new like if they were only going to adjust it slightly, why adjust the uh, why end the leaderboard, right? Like I can see them adding the cards, but forgetting to adjust offerings. But like, how many cards would they have added even? Um, let's play a spirit guide here. You could play a knight. What is this called? I can't see. There's a mustache in the way. I think it was reasonable to expect more changes than this, especially for a whole leaderboard reset. Like they literally just announced suddenly that the leaderboard was going to be cut in half. So I expect something big, right? Like, if you're going to cut the leaderboard in half, why do that if you're just barely adjusting the mode? Like, lots of people would were including chat. Like, look at our chat draft average, right? We were doing chat draft leaderboard and they said, OK, well, new season. We're going to end this. And then, uh, I don't know. Then it didn't really change. Seems weird, man. Seems weird. Um, it would also make sense to reset the leaderboard simply because of loser queue. Okay, so they add the bot queue, but does that? But but why does that make sense though? Because like why uh, why would they need to get rid of? It's not like bots are at the top of the leaderboard. Maybe it'd just be like because the people who finished already might have had an unfair advantage because they can't go back. Yeah, I guess. Right, like if you averaged well. Like, say for me, I finished number 11 at 7.3. If we allowed things to continue, then other people might start getting higher averages because less cheaters. And so I got punished for finishing earlier. I guess that could be true. Um, do I just want to cannibalize that? I feel like I do. I just want to slurp this. Do I want to play you first? Yes, I also want to do that. Hmm, indeed, these are mechs. Uh, sure, let's try this. Why not? Cannibalize. Dome, dome, dome. Cool, cool, cool. This all comes down to like there needs to be better communication. I said this. Um, I said this when they announced it in the first place. Like, hey, the leaderboard's over in less than a week. And it's like, you got to give us more notice than that. It's so unfair. Like, I had early access to that information. It's the only reason I was able to finish my leaderboard run. There were people out there who just like saw that again, including chat draft run, which we were going to do. And then that got cleaved in half who just kind of got destroyed by that news. And it's like, oh, I was going to try for leaderboards. Guess I'm not doing that. And that's pretty demotivating. So like, I don't know. It feels like just the communication needs to be a little better because now this this patch comes out and everyone's just kind of confused and that's not what you want, right? If they remove left to replace 20% of the card pool, it'd be like a five set rotation where one set left and one came in. Which we have had in the past, which isn't a huge change, but isn't just a big micro patch. Yeah. Do we figure? Okay, let's see. 20%. 20% of 
20%. So like, I don't know, five cards per, maybe. How many new cards did we, did we get here? Three? How many did we see in the draft? Four? Could, could, could be just a slight low roll on a 20% change. But even still, that's still, it's still a pretty small change. Uh, I can't play around these secrets. I don't have the ability. Anything? Anything? Uh oh, it's gonna it's gonna object my dragon. Anything? Ah! Frozen cologne. That's okay. I don't care. I don't care. You can have two of them. I don't care. Plagiarize <laughs> a third. Okay, so they get they play a three minute two two add three skeletal dragons to your hand. It's fine. I don't care. I played the first one. But no matter what, the, the bot change is a huge. That's awesome. Like take what like whatever you say about the meta, meta changing, leaderboards and stuff. The bot the bot jail is gonna be awesome. That's cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's most likely failure of communication from the Hearthstone team and wish casting from the player base. Yeah, I think a little bit of both. But like it we, we I don't know. Wouldn't be if we had the communication, we wouldn't be like just like wishing and thinking things would happen we'd we'd know right <laughs> and then like that that feeling that the player base feels would kind of be managed you know i don't know man but like like the the one of the things i think about is like why didn't they tell us that they were going to stop the leaderboard at a different time right for for how ever since the conception of this leaderboard it's always been Expansion, mini set, expansion, mini set, expansion, mini set. That's when it changes. All of a sudden, they just throw a random change in without saying they were going to do that. Why? Why? What advantage does that offer them? What disadvantage did they avoid by not sharing that information? It feels like all that did was make some people feel bad. Maybe not a ton of people. Most people don't even probably know about the leaderboard, but all you did is make some people feel bad. And for me, it's for no reason, right? Um, fly off the shelves. How many Dragoons do I have? Where are my Dragoons? There's one. Um, I could get by this if I please. I could get by this if I please. I think I please. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. And a couple options here. I could just Holy Smite it. Maybe the better option is to trade this, not play the Dragon, but play the Observer. As we're putting on a lot of pressure, these secrets could S with them. Oh yeah, Auto Defense Matrix. Oh, dirty tricks. Nice. I split it 70 team, five, 30 players. That, that seems about right to me. Like I said, it, we, we kind of just like assumed what would happen with the patch maybe, right? So like, you know, they never said it was going to be a huge change. They said adjusted or whatever. Um, I could do a buzz, a buzz, a buzz, fly off the shelves, blue, blue, blue. What else could I do? That's got rush. That looks great. That looks grand. Let's play this card. Boopity boppity. And what else should we do? Music's firing me up, not gonna lie. Why don't we do this? What do we do? Ooh, what do we what do? Why don't we do? Yeah, don't overthink it. Just play good card and make trade. That seems fine. Cool, cool. One of these days we're gonna drop a Zarimi and it's gonna be great. Especially when they used to have an uh, in-game, an in-client countdown warning. And the first time they didn't do that, Matt apologized and said that's not how they wanted to do things. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. And, and like, and we also know that even like dual seasons constantly had a countdown, right? Like we know they can do it. We know they have the ability to communicate. It's just like, why, why is it not happening? Why am I drawing so many cards? Jesus. Um, okay. Next up, why don't we? What spells do I have? Fly off the shelves. I only have fly off the shelves. I just grab that before I before I go drawing it. It's in here. Don't 
Okay. Seems like that's a reasonable play. End of the old meta with a 12 in one Demon Hunter. Nice, nicely done. Good way to finish it off. Solid stuff. I think I finished my uh, try hard one off with a 12 0 Hunter into a 12 2 Shaman. Because I was at like a 7.0 something average. And then I was like, okay, I'll try to increase it. And then we we nailed it up uh, there. End of, end of the meta, man. All right, I'm winning. Dude, get another one of these. Should I just play it right now? Like. Cube is pretty hilarious. If I get silenced, I'll feel like an idiot. I can also just do this. I don't need to finale it. I can just do that and play it right away. That seems pretty good. And then just deal a casual 12 to the face. You gonna cry? This is a typical priest maneuver. Thanks for the troublemakers, guy. Appreciate that. Man, I have so much left to do, too. Another brawl, perhaps? Mayhaps another brawl? Hmm. It's also, you know what else is just a little weird? Like, uh, something I, I also am not a huge fan of here is like, if this is going to be the change to the meta, like now, if people want to, if people want to care about leaderboards, you got to do a whole other 30 runs within the same meta. Like asking people to do 30 runs in one meta is already quite a lot. Ask Neo Greg, I guarantee you he will not be enthused about doing 30 triards in the same meta. Like he's done a lot of work as of many people, right? And now it's just like, here's the exact same meta, do another 30. Like that's a rough one for the leaderboards too. And we're making, maybe we're making assumptions because we've only played two games, but it seems to be pretty across the board that no one's really seeing too much change here. Yeah, feel bad for Greg. Best ever average ever, shortest time for exposure from it. Yeah, it's true. And and seemingly for not really any reason, right? Yeah, remember when leaderboards were one month long by definition? Yeah, and they changed it to two for a good reason. I don't mind. I played, I played 30, you know, I played it so much because I'm a streamer, but it was good for a lot of players. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like most people uh, took that change positively. There was also during that period, like there were so there was one month leaderboards by definition, and then they changed it to two. But then sometimes it would be three months. Sometimes it would be two months. Sometimes it would be one month. Just at, with no communication or for no reason. <laughs> so that was that was that. Which we're in a way better spot now, you know, than back then. But it does feel a little rough, and at least the thing. One month. Yeah, true. Back then, the leaderboards were one month and sometimes the meta didn't even change for like four months, right? It was truly, truly bad back then. It was just all over the place. But we've been making a lot of good strides with Arena lately. Um, you know, lots of good stuff has been happening with Arena, which I'm sure if this is the overwhelming like consensus, they'll they'll hear that and, you know, maybe apologize for uh, the lack of communi communication. But like, it's, it's just like, why is there such an intense, intense lack of communication? Always, right? Like all the time. I I just don't get why we can't be saying more. Even like so many games just have like an in-game news tab. Here's what's happening. And there's just nothing. Like even the good, even some of the communication we get is just from Twitter. Which, you know, I don't know. You think they're likely to apologize for lack of communication? I think that some some devs might uh, personally. I don't think Blizzard will. I think some devs might say something about it, maybe on Twitter or just like, you know, to some streamers in the in the streamer discord or whatever. Um, I guess I'll just do this. Come into this next, maybe. One and two and three and four and count me in, dog. 
They did announce a they did announce a weekly quest. <laughs> yeah, Chris, swell. <laughs> no, it just makes you wonder. One, it makes two, you wonder, like, three, four, surely one of the developers is like, you know, we should announce this. Like, there's got to be something stopping them from saying certain stuff, right? Um, just this buoy seems fine. Oh yeah, here we go. Hit it. Love it. Let's go. Let's go, Flappy Bird. Heck, you have me thinking maybe I'll even do a hunter next, Flappy. Do keep it Flappy. Do keep it Flappy. I plan on it. Thank you very much for the 37 months. Another 37 months. Uh, but last year, right? right what, what, whatever we did before. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Amalgam? Was that on the mech? I too discovered a mech. Too soon, Executus. Although that does full clear. That does now full clear, which is quite swell. Oh, it already did full clear. Never mind, you're not swell. Is that another 37 months? Shafty coming in hot with the 11, uh, using that delicious prime. 62% of the way through a level one hype train. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Fly off the shelves, boopity boppity. Those subs help me eat dinner on a daily basis, which is why I appreciate them so. Thank you, thank you. Badong, give it to me. Oh. There it is. There it is. Dargon hopping in on the uh, train with a hundred biddies. Thank you, thank you. Do you ever keep Sunspot if you draw the extra turn, fella? Um, so I don't need to because I've got Clay Matriarch, which is four, and Skeletal. Like, it's probably not. Play this large boy. Um, probably this instead of the two. Seems good. Not an excuse because it's a choice on allocating resources, but a not insignificant piece of communication is the need to translate everything into up teen languages. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good consideration that I don't think is just like intuitive to always be thinking about. Yeah, that's true. Um. How long could that take? I guess I guess it's like like I feel like I feel like how many how many languages are they translating it to? Feels like no matter what that number is, like it, there's it it's I don't think I'm mistaken in saying that like it's you know, a few sentences is pretty like we we've got even software that can do that pretty pretty quickly and easily. In fact, Software exists where you could just type the thing in one language and it could do it all at once, no? Or does that is that not work as properly as I think? Pretty sure it works pretty damn good though, no? Like how long could that take? And sometimes these are the questions that we ask and we, and we don't actually know. Yeah, I too use Google to translate, but right? Like Google translates does a pretty good job, no? Maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does, though. Uh, let's go ahead and remove their big lad. Why not? That seems good. Big lad gone. Uh, that was stated as the reason they do so little in client messaging, but it's also the reason they gave for the patch notes graphics only teasers. Buys them an extra day to do translations. I mean, I don't think here's the thing. They're not going to say that and be lying about it, right? Like, yeah, okay, that is the reason. Because if, the, if there were ever a thing they didn't want to say, they would just say nothing, right? That's that's how it works in a big company. So yeah, okay, that's that'll be the reason then. But yeah, it, it, like you said then, uh, get some people to do it then. This is this is always the problem, right? Is this, they, they don't have enough people doing stuff because people cost money and you, God forbid, paying too many people money, right? When you're Blizzard or if you're Microsoft, because how are you gonna make more billions of dollars if you're paying more people. So. Makes sense, you know? Yeah, so resources are always the case. Kind of sucks. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where's my Zarimi? I haven't played one yet. What's up with that? What's up with that? What am I playing this turn? Big Skelly Boy?
I'm gonna overdraw if I do that. Is that okay? Maybe I'll do like this. And Jesus, that card is unfair. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Yeah, this is a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on over here. That's not, that software is far from perfect. You should have basic knowledge of both languages to weed out bad translations. And I guess it's probably worse at certain languages than others, right? All right. Regardless, personally, I was expecting a little bit more from a new season, but like maybe the idea is going to be similar metas like we, we see a bit of a change, which is good. It's just a little bit different from what we expected, right? Like if if, if we were told like, oh, we're going to take some cards out, add some cards in, make a small change, keep things a little fresher. Great, right? Because we weren't expecting a meta change until the mini set anyway. So like the I feel like it just maybe could have been a bit clearer. They did make an announcement, right? They did make an announcement about the things changing. So translations aren't really aren't, I don't know. They made an announcement. Maybe it just needed to be a little more more concise. Yeah, this is the non barcode edition of the same meta game. Yeah, that seems what it like it's going to be. OK, OK, OK. Now, if I play both of those ones, I can't trigger my metronome as if that matters. I have so much steam. That being said, I think what I'm going to do. Take this trade. Play this big, thick boy. Play only one of these small lads and then trade this away. And then we're going to start searching for our Zarimi. Yeah, did they, sh they did show they are willing to change cards mid-season Wild Seed, so I think it was reasonable to expect more. Yeah, I think it was too. I think it was too. Like, th they said they were changing sets. I don't know. I'm not sure. Shouldn't the new system punish the legit barcodes too, like Dreads? Oh yeah, Dreads is going straight to jail, right? We'll be lucky to even see him again. 100%. Um, I think I think another thing is like, way back when we had balance changes, they were way more than just balance changes. They were complete meta shakeups, even within the same meta. So you'd see like classes shift all over the place, right? Which I think was good because, you know, after getting told, oh, things are going to change up a bit, we're still going to see Demon Hunter, Shaman and, and Death Knight just dominating when we maybe had hope that we might see not that happening. So I would like to see some shakeup of what classes are good um, a little more often, you know? Hmm. A large lad. Shall I cannibalize it? Shall I cannibalize the lad? I believe I'm going to. This hand is a bit complicated. Don't want to think too hard here now. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then that. And then again, trying not to think is the goal here. So we're going to do this and that. Perfect. Wonderful. Judge, would you recommend checking out Arena if you haven't played in a while? I think so. I think so. Just uh, I always advise people to do so a little carefully because uh, picking the wrong classes can cost a lot of gold. Um, if you're taking bad classes, it can be a lot of fun. But if you don't have a ton of gold, um, you might want to do a quick little bit of looking at the HS replay and see what are the good classes? What are the good cards and stuff? But I, I think we're I think it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of explosive wins and losses and a lot of cards. But now, especially that the cheaters are being taken care of more. I feel like it's a it's a pretty good time to check arena out. Yeah, that wasn't great either. They'd overcorrect badly enough that the top two would become the bottom two and call it balancing. Yeah, you, I'm thinking of the uh, good Lord. That card's OP. I'm thinking of the uh, Druid meta with Arbor up and it was just first or last or whatever. Do you lose now? I might as well concede, dude. This card's insane. I need to handle it now. Uh, I only have Consec. I could draw. 
And I get to draw my Dragoon? Let's do this. Let's get rolling. One and two and three and four end. Ridge Riff? Shadow Visions? Do I even have any spells? Endwin's Gift? I could mind control one of those. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I want stuff to die, actually. Let's do this. Oh god, I gotta choose quickly. I don't have time to choose quickly. I'm on two, right? Yeah, okay, I'll do this. And how much health does this have? Perfect, perfect turn, flawless turn. Flawless turn, flawless turn. And then as soon as I play this, I draw my Time Winder Zarimi and the game is over, probably, hopefully. Ooh. Yeah, even as I started talking about it, Dan, that's that's that came to mind too about that balancing. Yeah, that, that balancing or whatever. Maybe somewhere in between the nudging we have now and the flopping we had before. Maybe, maybe. Well, like I said, I mean, I, I if they hadn't said anything, I wouldn't have expected the meta to be. I might have expected one more balanced slight shift before the mini sets. And maybe that's just kind of what we're getting. But um, the new arena season entirely, I don't know if that's going to be a normal thing. I don't know if that's going to be a normal thing. Yeah, Tron. I wish Tron was new to the meta. Yeah, don't think that was uh, don't think that was in. Ooh. Ooh, Beast Gandy. Um, surely I'm playing this and drawing my Zorimi. That win me the game ever? I mean, I'm playing this all day. I'm playing this all night. Oh, and then Night Elf? Sure. I have a six. I have sixes. Cube my my mech? <laughs> you call that a knife? This is a knife. How many cards do I have left, man? Where's my Zarimi? Nine cards left. Okay. Okay. By now they're at 17. Whenever we get Zarimi, surely we have lethal. Surely. Dang it. I mean, fair enough, but like, dang it. All right, two and one. Who did we lose to? I forget who we lost to. I forget any game other than the one I just played. We're two and one. What happened today so far? We beat that warrior. Drawn a blank on the other games. <laughs> what happened? Shaman. Yeah, we lost to a shaman. That sounds right. What about the th other game, Adam? I won another game? Against two. Feels like I'm at one and one. I lost to a shaman. They played shaman cards. I remember that. They played cards that were in shaman, including a 0-4 totem. But I could have sworn this was my second game. Monte Fisto. Pretty sure that's uh, Dreads' nickname in high school. Uh, could keep a spirit guide. Could keep a spirit guide. That could be fun. Why not? Let's try it. You beat two warriors? Oh, right. The troublemakers. No wonder I felt that game was only my second one. I've just been playing warrior for the last 40 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I just remember com complaining about Blizzard's lack of communication. Yeah, that sounds right. That's all I remember, too. Oh, curve, dude. Let's go. Give me those spooters. Give me those freaking spooters, man. Is my, my title is still New Arena Meta in all caps. That seems like less good of a title now, <laughs> to be honest. I was excited. I was excited about it. I was like, New Arena Meta, let's go. And I was like, should I change it to same Arena Meta? Or is that too harsh? Too soon to tell? What I am looking forward to seeing is what new legendaries they put in. Right, like we saw the priest quests. That could be interesting, seeing some new legendaries coming in here. I just put it, just put a 
some uh, question marks and brackets, maybe? New meta, same cards. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm just going to put the question marks. There. Just to, just to show people I am confused. Okay, that was rude of you to do. Whispers of the Deep? I could kill that thing. I could kill that thing. What am I going to play this on in the future? Is it actually worth to just kill that right now and keep an extra 2-2? Like, 1-mana 2-2 is pretty good. Imagine we're playing a 1-mana 2-2 with spell damage right now. You would play that over not and or whatever, right? We don't actually have a lot of good targets for this. I'm going to do it. Pew. Pew. Mortal Coil without the draw. Like just early tempo is what I don't want to lose to when I'm going to get so much value soon. And again, what am I what am I silencing? I don't want to silence anything I have. And anything that I do is small. Reap what you've sown. Please don't give them a 2-3 with rush. A rock? I can take a rock. You don't keep a minion. That's fine by me. Okay. Big five, big six, big seven? I remember when Skeletal Dragon was like GG. One Skeletal Dragon, it was like game over. Huge, nine health, some dragons, you're done. Now I think its win rate is like 46%. What a world. Blood tap. Blood tap. Seven minions, hot dog. That just powers up my cannibalize. To be fair, Priest win rate is bad overall. Yes, that is true. That is true. Priest is a bad class. Dragoon, activate. I'm just going to keep playing big, thick Chunguses and going face. And see what happens. Opponent bonks. We know they don't have many spells or like any spells, right? So they're just going to be playing stats and I'm just going to be bonking them in the face. Seems good. Bonk, 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 bonk. So yesterday I got a few things done, not as much as I wanted to, but one of the things I did uh, yesterday was I added two new stream loops cards. I said I was going to do this. So for the stream loops users, you now, you now have some voice activators. I made it two minutes dark. I know we talked one minute, three minutes. I made it two minutes. We've got some voice changers, demon and robo, robo DJ. Couple new ones for now. Why is the weekly quest 15 games now? What did it used to be? I don't pay attention to stuff. You go, holy smite, dragon blast. Seems good. Five. Maybe it's because you get a fantastic prize. Maybe it's because you get the best prize. Huh? Oh my good sweet heavens. I need to go murdering them right now. I need to go doing a murder upon them. Um, hmm. I can deal 15 damage to them immediately. It's pretty good. Should I do that or should I just play the cannibalize here first? I don't really have anything else to do with that. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. And say, I'm to kill you because I don't want to deal with all those stats, man. No, thank you. It's like 30% more XP for three times the work. They both have threes in it. The math adds up. Looks good. That math tracks. What else is news? What else is news? Tesla on YouTube. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We're playing a pretty bad class, but uh, so far, not bad. So far, not bad. It's a pretty good deck for a pretty bad class. But hopefully we can uh, do some good work with it. 
Um, if you saw the schedule I put out on the Discord, uh, today, or rather this week's Friday activity is going to be um, a game that I haven't seen anyone talking about, but I know Markiplier just started a series on it. I thought it'd be more popular in that regard, um, but it's called <laughs> a difficult game about climbing. And uh, it <laughs> another only up, maybe <laughs> another getting over it. So we're going to have a terrible time on Friday. If you like uh, horrible, terrible times and not having fun, it should be good. Uh, so that'll be that'll be nice. I'm going to just drink a bunch and try to get to the top. It's another get to the top game. And I'm looking forward to it. Not really. But uh, I saw Glitch brought it to my attention. I was like, yep, up we go. Up we go, dude. I guess it's really if you like to see the streamer in an extraordinary amount of pain, or rather in my case, if you'd like to see a streamer dominate a very difficult game on its first try, you might enjoy it on Friday. More climbing, but still no Baldur's Gate 3. The thing is, this climbing game is like a few hours, and Baldur's Gate 3 takes about three lifetimes. So that's, uh, that's you know, that's part of the reason. <laughs> that's part of the reason. I'm going to play it. It's just like I got to find the right time because it's so it's going to be so long. Are you planning on doing it? I don't know about I don't know how much I'll stream of it, but I'm, I must play it like I must play it. OK, I guess my opponent exploded. Oh, yeah, true. Good. I'd love to see Zarimi this run. I'd lo oh, Zarimi, I see you. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Here they come. Play Matriarchs. We're on our way to an extra turn. It's gonna happen. This is the game. This is the game right here. So even if there haven't been many changes, we'll still have to keep our eye on the win rates. Because like all it takes is one new card to really change things. Like like we were talking about that Druid meta, that was Arbor Up. Like a card that strong for the meta being changed could make a big difference. So maybe, you know, maybe we see like all of a sudden Rogue shoots up to fifth out of nowhere and we're like, oh, what happened there? Uh, you know, I don't know. Highly unlikely, I guess, but you know, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm going to do this because technically I do have mana to spend on turn two. I'm going to do this. Look for a copy of perhaps a fly off the shelves as Zarimi going to be chilling for a bit. Battle visions. Hmm, Blood Plague, that could be good. Oh, let's take the AoE. Take the AoE. I got Dragoons coming. I know I got Clay Matriarchs coming. I know I got Skeletal Dragoons coming. Let's just make sure we have some AoE in hand. I think another thing, like, if I may pile on the, the <laughs> lack of communication, is just uh, from a content creator standpoint, like planning my content. Like I planned for like a long new meta stream to try out a bunch of new classes. And like if I had known it was going to be this, I, I wouldn't have done that. You know, I wouldn't have done that. I don't know, man. What's in her? I'm not even going to look in case they're sniping. Look at this anti snipe tech. Don't even look. I don't know. You don't know. Never look at these or else you'll be sniped. That's the secret. I don't need to know what they are. They're gone at the, the start of my turn. I don't care. Igneous Elemental, anything? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, rigged fair game. What else? In meaning? Dude, there's no way. Oh, they didn't even spend all their mana. Darn, I would have got it too. That would have been sick if they had spent more mana. Okay. Um, I had to synchronize. Maybe the way is Smite Holy. Psychic Conjurer? Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. 
That's pretty nice. Uh, what's better? What's better to grab? Like if I if I play synchronize here, I could make this trade and not have it die to weapon. If I play synchronize here, I get to steal more stuff, which is fun. So let's do that. <laughs> let's do that then. Cool. And it's cheaper. And it's cheaper. Just drafted a warlock. I don't think I was offered any new cards. Eh. Eh. That's uh, that's what I think. Bleh. Dang. Yeah, okay. Just got to wrap wrap our heads around the fact that we're we're pretty much still in the same meta. Just some new cards. Cool. And that, again, that would have been fine. It's just not really... It didn't really seem like that's how it was presented. It seemed like, you know, new leaderboard, new meta, new new curated list. And I was like, damn, a brand new curated list. Crazy. Awesome stuff. Not so much the case. I need to draw my Dragoons, man. I'm not going to play a Zarimi at this rate. Okie dokie. Uh, this does clear, but it's not that threatening of a board. Love the earrings. Thanks, Pickle King. My wife got them for me. You know, I think I, I finally got some like earrings of my own that my wife didn't get me for like sleeping, like uh, stainless steel ones. Most of, I have like so many pairs now. They're all from my, my wife and they're great and they're great. But I finally got some of my own. Not not fun ones for streaming or anything. But I got ones. Uh, let's play big large, right? Come on. Big large conjurer. What do you got for me? Whoa. Ba -dong. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good hit. As long as they don't patchwork my patchwork, that's a pretty good hit, I think. Stealing your opponent's one legendary is not aw awful. You think we hit theirs with ours? I'm thinking definitely, like no question. Mike, how's it going? Good to see you. How's the new meta feeling so far? I'm gonna be honest, it's feeling exactly the same as the last meta due to all the cards being the same. Uh, not, <laughs> not what we expected. Wait, why, how did I get this? Why do I have a snake oil? Why do I have a snake oil? I gotta steal their uh, heckin' horseman. No changes? So I think there were some changes. It, it just doesn't seem like too many make. Uh, some people not getting any... Uh, any new cards? We, we saw a few. Like, we've got uh, Shadow Visions. That wasn't in before. But uh, most things looking pretty the same. Mm hmm. I need to start playing some Dragoons. I need to start playing some Dragoons. I guess I'll just play this. And then blast them with this awesome snake oil I just got. That seems good. And then I can even play Sunspot this, maybe. Make sure that's activated. I think Conicus and 42 wants Judge to be purple like a freaky druid. Oh, yeah, I forgot I added that. How do I do that again? I think I turned that off because I couldn't do it in Seattle or something. How do I be purple? I can be purple like a freaky druid, right? Let me, let me see one sec. Um... I know how to be blue. I know how to be green. How do I be purple? No. 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 Almost. Shrek. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho. Aha. There we go. A nice sh purple sheen. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at the eyes. Look at my eyes, dude. That's Malfurion. I'm Malfurion right now. Green eyes. That's kind of spooky, man. Purple is just blue and red. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. What is this, dog? Crafter's aura. Okay, that's fine. 
That's fine. Let's go like this and like this, of course. I mean, you could have just played patchwork, but instead of playing patchwork, I'm gonna kill them. I'm Cougarin Marion wants to hear a random fact from Judge. Okay. Do I need to be more purple first? I'll give you a, a very cool fact. We haven't heard a random fact in a little bit of time. If you're wondering what the heck these cards are popping up on your screen, by the way, um, a very great way to support the channel is through Stream Loots cards that you can purchase and play on stream. Uh, each pack is the same as a sub for cost, except I get twice as much money because they actually give you a fair percentage, unlike Twitch. So fun stuff there. Let me see. I, I want to get just the right purple. I want to get to do I get blue if I go over here? I get blue if I go there. That's too far. Back to purple. Maybe we had it pretty good. Something like that. Call it an 80. Call it an 80. Eighty-three. Yeah. Cool. Pistol Pete Hogan wants Judge to shut up. Pistol Pete Hogan wants Judge to stay hydrated. Very rude. Very rude. Skilled gamer is skilled. I would never hit that egg. Um, you could have played Zerimi that turn. Uh, I was thinking I was going to probably come in with like fly off the shelves to make room come into Zerimi or maybe like develop more stats before. Um, either way, we probably don't kill them immediately with Zerimi. We can also wait on it, right? Like there, there's no rush. Uh, that has nothing inside of it, so no problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is probably lethal, right? The Conicus and 42 wants to hear a joke from Judge. Okay, fact and then joke. Fact and then joke. Sounds good. This is lethal, right? Skilled lethal. Is that enough? GG, Zerimi OP, finally. Okay, hear this. Look, sometimes you come on the stream and you just think you're going to watch some Hearthstone when really you're actually coming in here and you're going to learn today, okay? You're going to learn something very interesting. And you're going to then hear something very funny. <laughs> all right. Here's a fun fact for us all to learn today. Uh, one of the most interesting things I've ever heard. Oh, not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a great fact. This is a good fact. Did you know that sloths have been known to grab their own arm, mistaking it for a branch, which causes them to fall out of trees and sometimes kills them? This is a cause of death for sloths in real life because they are that dumb. Now you know that sloths will grab their arm when they're climbing trees and just fall to their deaths. Gotta love sloths. You gotta love sloths. Let's do let's do one more because that one was fun. That one was fun. Let's do one more. Hmm. Oh, that's disgusting. That's horrible. I don't know. Should I even say that? Okay. This one's gross. Here we go. Did you know? that the male giraffe will continuously headbutt female giraffes in the bladder 
until she urinates. The male then tastes the urine to determine if she is ovulating. If so, the merriment begins. Giraffes are disgusting, dude. That's gross. That's a terrible fact. I should I have should have stopped at one. I apologize. That's an awful fact. I think we're all worse off for knowing that. Uh, that's gross, dude. What the heck? What the heck? I knew, the same, I knew someone was going to say, I do the same thing, honestly. Somebody's ovulating. That's so horrible. That's so horrible. Let's move on to a joke. Let's move on to a great joke. I have the best jokes. My jokes are better than dreads, I've been told. Giraffes are evil. Is that true? Don't kink shame. Fair. Fair. I'll just back off. I'll just back off. We've had some doozies on stream. Oh, you know what? There was totally going to be a joke. Dang, I had a joke ready. I'm going to have to ask Glitch what my hilarious joke was. I think she told me not to say it or something. I, there was a good joke, man. No question. OK, let's see. Let's let's check out my list of, of uh, original jokes. Why aren't you working? Give me my list of original jokes. Jokes are hard. Jokes are tough. Because, like, you want to do one that you guys haven't heard, but also that, like, isn't, I don't know, the worst thing you've ever, you've ever heard or whatever. You know what I mean? I actually had such a good one. No, stop. Stop. I don't want these jokes. I don't. I. Why do I even have this? I hate this. Okay, this, this is all right. This is all right. I don't even I don't quite understand it. OK. <clears throat> a burger walks into a bar. The bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. No. Anybody? I feel like no one's laughing hard enough. You guys get it? Do you get it? OK, let me explain. Let me explain. This one's for a cousin. OK, so here's the thing. The burger walks into the bar. It's a hamburger that walks into the bar. You guys understand that, right? And so the bartender says the bartender says we don't serve food here, which normally would mean that the bar doesn't give food to customers Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, in this circumstance, the 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 sentence can be construed in a different manner where the bartender is saying we don't serve you some food here we're not gonna we're not gonna serve you the food do you get it you guys don't get it you guys don't get it it's a really funny joke how did it walk do burgers have legs thrown you are missing the hilarity and the point of this exercise let's do another let's do one more fuck these are bad Thanks for explaining, Judge. No problem. I got you. <laughs> to the guy who invented zero. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good joke. Good joke. Like I said, uh, definitely a great use of your of your money to check out those stream loots cards. Great way to support the channel. Uh, fucking so good, dude. So funny. God, I'm funny. How about? What a deep run. Are we getting another vile fiend here? That's only plus one. Go deep run engineer suit we get. <laughs> get off the stage. That's the only reasonable reaction. Take a nice sky golem. And maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do that. Get some extra secrets up in here. That could be fun. Man. Ah. Oakwood, I would never ignore the YouTube, but I can't do stream loots cards on. Wait, no. Yeah, no, YouTube can totally do stream loots cards, too, though. For a second, I was like, I got to pay attention to the stream loots cards because Twitch. But like, you can totally just use them on Twitch the same way or on, on YouTube the same way. The, that, that comment is after li literally I've responded to every single comment and then you say ignoring Oakwood. I would never do that. Hmm. 
I kind of chuckled at the second one. Did you check out my clip? Oh, that's why. If you just posted a clip, YouTube doesn't let you post clips. So it doesn't appear in chat. Um, and I don't know how to change that still. <laughs> or like whatever. So there's no clip on my end. I'll prove it. Look at your screen right now. Look at this. Did you check out my clip? There's no clip. There's no clip. Proof. Um, I guess I'll just play my piloted Sky Golem. And I'll make that trade. And I'll make that trade. And I'll go face with this. That seems good. It's literally a YouTube clip. Yep, st that doesn't change the fact that it is not there. <laughs> you know, I can't do anything. I know, I, I'm sorry, YouTube uh, says not today. There's gotta be a way for me to change that, right? It's like a, a pro I've looked for it, I don't know what it is. But uh, I usually tell people on YouTube, I just post it in my Discord, is uh, the best way. I often tell, tell people that on Twitch too, actually. Tis the reason we've got that Discord uh, channel to, to, you know, share clips is a good spot for it. But don't, because often I'm I can't open. Marion wants Judge to fail at being a ventriloquist. Be because often I can't open links anyway. Um, especially YouTube links live on stream. So I do this and holy smite. But also just do large and in charge. No need to holy smite. Shit, hit, shit, hit, see what they do. Could be good. You don't understand, Judge. A cliff, a cliff, <clears throat> a clip is a longer portion. Wait, is a cliff is a portion of a longer video? <laughs> Thanks, Decon. <laughs> What is this? Okay. Whole board gonge. Pretty rude. Let's uh, go ahead and play partner in crime and maybe just this. That seems good. How many Sneeds have you discovered yet with the one two engineer? Uh, so far zero. But they're coming. They're coming. I can't wait for the ventriloquist card to overlap with a voice filter. That's gonna be Im That's gonna be impossible, man. I feel like I can do a lot of it okay. There's just certain letter letters that are impossible. Well that card is pretty good. That card is pretty good. The card is pretty good. This card is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Pretty good card. Pretty good card. Let's see what's in here. I probably just lose. Good, good, good. Oh, I see Dark uh, coming in and purchasing a chest. Thank you very much, Dark. Coming in and getting some screen loot cards there thank you <laughs> dark 77778 wants judge to be a bit beefier for a bit yeah i can do that i can be beefy i can be a beefy a beefy boy i got you beefify now you can see how bad I am at being a ventriloquist. Seven, 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 eight just played a useless card that does nothing. Like I said, good use of your money, people. Absolutely. Oh, thank God. What is what is that one up there? Large. Yeah. Okay. Good, dude. Why that one's so hard? That one's so hard. When I get larger, you can see how terrible I am at, at ventriloquism. Uh, what happened? What's a sheep? What turned into a sheep? Amalgam turns into a sheep and then they play a larger lad. Okay. I also get their amalgam. That's pretty nice So I can clear two if I put that to three I can clear two parts of it. I have uh, plenty of dragons Or fly off the shelves. How many do I have I have one 
two, three, meaning it'll do four damage, so not quite enough to get it to combo with this perfectly. But I still probably do it. Just to save a minion. Do I? I could just get rid of a three, three, but what else am I doing? Not much. I'd probably go fly off the shelves. Kill off one of the two fives to deal max face damage. Go Night Elf. Play small boy. Chip it, chip it, chip it. All right, we're close. We're close, we're close, we're close. Uh, maybe that uh, Ray Estraza came down just a second too late. Five in one priest? Wow. No way, dude. It's not enough. There's no way. You're not clearing. I'm going to top deck Sunspot anyway, guy. I'm going to top deck Sunspot anyway, man. They never summon enough to stop me. They can't do it. Uh, what do I get from Shadow Visions? Anduin's Gift? Nether Fly Off the Shelves. We really don't have that many spells in this deck. It's over, Anakin. Forbidden Fruit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need three more damage all of the sudden. Timewinder? Sunspot? Neither. What a shame. Neither. Well, it's a pretty good card. Let's play it and put them back. They still need a lot of nature spells or good discover sunspot, maybe. Uh, they can... Wait, it's only druid and neutral, right? They can't, like, discover a... Nazarmi, what is that called? Nazari, Nazari. Because that would be bad. Pendant of Earth, how large could their minion be? A heal for only three? Pathetic. We're good here. Why aren't you conceding? Go home. Was that been a three mana like 22, 22 with rush or something by now? Judge, you look sickly and larger than normal today. Is this related to the new meta? It is directly related to this new meta. The, I was looking forward to the new meta and it looks to be very much the same and I just got big and big and purple all of a sudden. So, I don't know. I just grew in size. Much like the Grinch on Christmas. My heart grew three sizes, but not in a good way. Wait, what happened to the Grinch? Oh, that was when a good thing happened. So that doesn't quite work there. Whatever. <laughs> At least the barcoding is gone. Yeah, yeah, no, and that's a huge change. I can't stress how good that change is enough. Uh, barcoding should be way, way down. Bloop, bloop. Did those both end at the same time? What are the odds? Bloop, bloop. Okay, I'm shrinking and becoming normal again. How do I do that? <laughs> how do I do things? I'm, I'm, I, I know how to do my job. Boop, boop, and... Get me back. Get me back. Okay, I'm feeling way better all of a sudden. Feeling way better all of a sudden. Good to see a koala. Okay, do I have lethal? Fly off the shelves? I have one, two, three, four dragons. That's five. Like, that's huge. Is it lethal, though? That and uh, Smite is, right? It's a lot of Dragoons. Nice draw on the Clay Matriarch number two. Didn't think the double Clay Matriarch would be the reason we won. Thought it would be uh, our double turn or maybe our sunspot, but we beat Ray Estraza. 
we get uh five wins with a priest which is pretty dang good let's keep it going you know it is possible demon hunter got hit hard right like imagine a part of their curated list maybe they only changed a tiny tiny bit but what if they took out window shopper if they wouldn't have done that not yet right they wouldn't have taken out window shopper they'd keep all the new cards in right what if they took out Illidari Inquisitor? That'd be great. Chat average, yeah, I guess I took that away because it's a new meta today, cousin. I had to delete it because they cleaved our leaderboard runs in half. I was a little bit displeased. We didn't know about that. But uh, it's a new or it's a new leaderboard starting today. So um, I guess I have to ask you guys, what do we do? Do we do we want to do a chat draft leaderboard for this meta? That just started? We only have like a month. I just there's no guarantee there's no knowing how long these are gonna be pretty uh I think I keep this we're gonna go again I'm just wondering if we go again now or if we go again when the expansion starts like is it gonna be a new meta every month now or was this a one-time thing I just have no idea right I want a giga try hard judge leaderboard run uh yeah so here's the th I guess I don't know maybe I do some judge try harding on stream I know people like to see good try hard runs. Thing is, is that like my average off stream tends to be a lot higher than on stream um, for a number of reasons. It's not just like, oh, I get sniped all the time or something, but there, there's a few reasons for that. But like you can see, even last month we got sniped like at least weekly. Gotta beat Neo Greg. Yeah, sure. We got to get that 10.2. We got to get that 10.2 for sure. Coming right up. <laughs> totally shouldn't be hard uh this is kind of interesting probably still claw machine but kind of interesting did they do something about barcoding yes they did they are putting barcoders in jail they are under arrest and they are now in jail it is wonderful um and hopefully effective and i, I think it will be quite effective a nice mind eater and chill should Mothership still be very strong? It's still quite strong. It's like, um, kind of like the 4-6 taunt uh, that summons two small things. Like, it's just a lot of stats, so it's good. It's not, like, gonna win you the game broken, but it's it's very strong, I would say. Uh, I coin this spirit guide in attack mode. I would like a, the jury leaderboard run. I don't care that much whether it's this month or the next expansion. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking like it'll definitely happen like you it, this was a sub drive reward it's gonna happen right so uh, it's just I'm wondering if we'll have more time next meta because this meta is only gonna be a month and maybe it was only a new leaderboard season because the bot changes so like maybe if we do it next month for the mini set we'll actually have two months instead of one but then like what if we start it and they just cleave it again you know like I wish they would tell us how long the leaderboards are gonna be but they don't, so it's really hard to do anything fun, you know, if they won't tell me. So I don't know. What's the best class in the new meta? Probably Demon Hunter. Not much seems to have changed. I would guess Demon Hunter, but we'll see. Maybe there have been more changes than previously thought. Um, kind of a weird turn here. This would clear both, but it seems like a bit of a waste. When I have so many dragons. Feels like I can keep. Like I've got three dragons. I don't need to keep all the dragons. Let's do. Actually, let's do this. And I think I do mix in a heal here, even just to get rid of the extra one one. Like they'll just bonk, bonk, bonk and use their weapon. But I've got claw machine for hard removal. I've got cannibalize for hard removal. I've got fly off the shelves dealing four. Not too bad. Hmm. That uh, rude. Uh, just claw machine that. Maybe holy smite the peskier of the two things left. Give that a good old claw machine. Oh, that's a pretty good hit. Not gonna lie, that's a pretty good hit. And we'll be careful about that egg. Sheesh. What else would you draw, right? I mean, why would I draw anything else other than partner in crime? And so that card's still in. Good. Love it. I hope they never get rid of that card. 
Love that card so much. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get that the heck out of here. Okay. Okay, not the greatest. Not the greatest. At least it wasn't freezing trap. Giving them that back, right? Would would have sucked. First uh, game of the meta. Opponent goes Scarab Keychain into Hematurge. Previously today, I lost from Keychain to Infinitize. Oh, Keychain into Infinitize is especially greasy. All right, well, one of those went off. They played a weapon. Oh, yeah. Find a two drop. Slam it, guy. Find a two drop. Find it. Find it. Give me my rat. You coward. Give me my rat, you coward. Do it. Oh, yeah. Slam it. Um, okay, so this does four damage. I do believe it kills this, too. So let's let's play it and find out. I believe it kills all those one ones, and then I can play partner in crime, and that's pretty nice. Oh, I am mistaken. It does not, but I'm still going to play partner in crime. And now we learned a valuable lesson. I don't know why some of them do and some of them don't. Like, am I am I crazy for thinking that? Is there a way to know? Sometimes things just break open death rattles and sometimes they don't. Am I wrong? Like, feels like with how that goes, I, I would have expected that death rat rattle to pop open. Yeah, why is Blizzard so inconsistent with this crap? Yeah, I, I, I feel the same way kind of right now after that. Like, it, I would have expected it to break open. So many other things do. Some of the older cards don't, though, so I don't know. Yeah, no, that, that, should, that should break it open, right? Like, that should kill these. Because, like, if you think about a card like... Uh, uh, what is it? What is it called? The warrior three mana forge deal five and then deal one to everything. The, the idea is that this says deal one damage to all enemies and then deal one damage to all enemies again. It, it, if it, if this card said deal one damage to all enemy minions, increase the amount of damage per dragon hold, then that would mean it should go all at once. But it doesn't. It says repeat. So because it repeats, there's no there's no reason it shouldn't pop open death rattles like every other thing. I I don't really understand why it didn't kill them, and it's pretty unfortunate for our situation here. Yeah, I might I might bring that up and be like, what is this intended? Because like it says repeat everything else that repeats after the fact. It's an individual instance does not work this way. OK. What should I do then? Then what should I do? Probably going to play a Maker of Wand. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, play our Matriarch and probably just play the one. I probably don't need to play Renew yet. I'll do this and this. Cool. Now we should be fine. Like we've got a pretty dang good hand here anyway, but oh. Dude, what if that was this? What if I just flew you off the shelves there? You would have been screwed, man. They slammed that with confidence, though, which I respect. If I hit fly off the shelves there, it kills everything they have. <laughs> that would have been really bad for them. Hello, Judge. How's the meta? Hey, Grumpy. Uh, good to see you. Meta is uh, seemingly about the same as it was. Um, not really seeing much, much new stuff out there. Seems to be about exactly the same so far. Uh, how, how is everybody else doing? Like how everyone else who's playing, are you guys also like anyone seeing anything drastically new? Or is it also just kind of like what I'm experiencing here? Same, same stuff. Uh, I got to have lethal here if this draws Zarimi. So 20% lethal. That how that works. I don't even know if I've summoned that many dragons. Okay, you have a mustache. And I think I'm just going to hit them in the face a bunch because I'm threatening lethal. I just drafted a Yogg Druid with exactly the same cards. Yeah, right? 
Um, was Yoggin? Was Yoggin? I don't think I ever got a Yogg. Is that new? Did I even see a Yogg? Like OG Yogg? I don't think I saw one of those. But just entered the 50s, so that's new. Do you mean today's your birthday and it's your 50th? Or do you mean you went back in time and are now living in the 1950s? Because in either case, that's big news, <laughs> you know? Judge, can we get a sound clip of the same as it ever was lyric from Talking Heads? Yeah, should I write this down? I I always, yeah, here, let me, let me turn this around. Yogsaron was in. Birthday was Sunday. Happy birthday. That's a big one. Happy happy 50th, man. That's a nice one. Cheers. Oh, man, I might have to cheers you with an actual beverage. You know how I like to do that when it's someone's birthday. The big five zero. I have a milestone one coming up. Perhaps a baby to some of you, but 30th birthday coming up this summer for myself. Hmm. What was I writing down? Uh, same as it ever was. Did you do anything? Uh, do anything exciting? Well, fiftieth birthday. Surely you did. Did you do something uh, big over the weekend to celebrate, Grumpy? Judge, when are you gonna have the next chat draft? That's a good question. After this run, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. It depends on whether we're doing chat draft leaderboard. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, for sure. I might start doing them Fridays consistently again. I might start doing them Fridays again. But like, I don't know when I'm going to do this chat draft leaderboard now that Blizzard kind of just has leaderboards happen whenever without saying. So I kind of can't really plan. All right. But let's say for sure Fridays we'll go back to the leaderboard or uh, back to uh, chat draft leaderboards, even if it's just for funsies. Right. Job's done. Six and one with a priest, pretty nice. And we don't know, maybe offering rates were adjusted as well, but like, I don't know, this kind of, this is kind of just, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see what this shaman does, but like, it's gonna be the same, man. Two days of partying, badly planned. Friends Saturday, lots of drinking, family OG uh, Sunday, no drinking, heavy hangovers, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the punishment. And this is what happens when you celebrate your 50th, too. I mean, the difference between me at 20 and me at 30 with a hangover after partying with my friends is immense. Uh, and I, I hear rumors. It's it, it doesn't improve necessarily, you know. Should have done it the other way around. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Hope you had a great time either way, Grumpy, even if you had to power through a hangover on the Sunday. Frost Strike is definitely full, uh, still a thing. Good, Pluto. Excellent. Glad to hear it. That's awesome. Ugh. What do you have? Yeah, this is the same start we've seen for the last month, right? Uh, Shockstopper into, into Trusted Companion. This is a pretty game-winning start. But uh, like I said, we, we shouldn't be shouldn't be surprised, I guess. I've got Undeads and Dragons. That's kind of interesting. Right? Draw your Zarimi and a... Skeletal, maybe? Could be good. I still haven't written anything down. Uh, can we add the sound clip of sound clips? I'm going to write down because I'm going to I originally I was thinking I was going to have to change all my channel point rewards with a new meta, but it looks like that's not necessary. Although I, I do think it's I, I want to refresh a, a few, get some new ones coming in. I know what you're going to say. Judge, you're literally on a computer. Why don't you just use your computer? I just prefer writing stuff down, man. I don't know. I write everything down. My whole to-do list is on here. I just like to write. I just like to write. Okay, Elemental Shaman at 6-1 is probably going to obliterate me. More than likely. Play a nice partner in crime. And kill the bigger of the lads. Seems good. I mean, that's just an unbelievably premium start from our opponent. If they play cows here, that's just literally constructed. Can't be stopped stuff. I do have an earthquake now, though. That's good. Did it not retire active arena runs? Uh, yeah, it did. Yep, it, it retires active arena runs. Uh, mobile is probably not updated yet if it hasn't for you, yeah.
What'd they do? Man, they got a pretty good deck. Everyone does it six and one. Like I, I'm a priest at six and one. I'm in dangerous territory. They zapped me. They gone zapped me is what they done. This seems like a pretty good play. This is what I call a skill shot. Skill shot Huntress. Uh, mobile updates should be available now, or at least iOS is. Maybe search for updates. Could be. Could be. I'm on the constant lookout to see anyone saying anything about this new arena meta. Like, if they accidentally didn't introduce the new cards, you know? <laughs> Curated set. I I think that the case is that we overestimated the change. Seems like I can roll my old deck right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, on, on your phone you can, but yeah, as Dan uh, confirmed, you'll only play other people who haven't updated. Just block him out with the curator. Say you've been blocked, you've been stopped. I like the curator here too because it makes our fly off the shelves a lot better. Zarimi? Uh, did I? Any other way. Draw a beast, dragon, and murloc. The curator is not the purator. But like, seven, six mana, four, six draw Zarimi is still very good. <laughs> oh yeah, true. It only draws a couple things. And this got flexed on hard. Gosh. That's all right. We got our Zarimi now. See if we can stick a board big enough to make use of it. We'll see, still quite a bit away. And they keep slamming good elementals over and over. Well, after shelves uh, does four right now. So that's something. Um, think. I play both of these. Uh, that's kind of rough. But I do protect stats in that case, and this gives me way closer to my time winder. Like if I do this and they kill everything, it actually gives me the option to Amber and Zarimi if I need. Um, I shouldn't die or I can still fly off the shelves for one less. And that seems kind of fine, right? Good God. Yep. Shamans are still shamans. Still doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> they sure are. Living Prairie is pretty broken. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's not surprising now that we know things haven't really changed, but I was really hoping. I was really hoping for something different. It looks like, you know, we're going to get another month of the same something. I just got to adjust to that now that I know. OK. Um, with that draw, this is now a clear if I wish. So feels like. Play this and then draw one of your larges. Cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had to slam my water earlier. <laughs> None left. Man, Neptalon, yep, 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 yep. From Shockhopper, Jesus, this deck is good. I might need to look for another uh, Dragon Destructor. It's the draw. Smite. Got Earthquake, too. I don't really want to have to use it this soon. If I go Dragon Destructor. I can play it and then play the Amber Whelp. It's pretty good. Maybe they even have to play their fish. It was only one fish. How do they have the same amount of cards as, as me? Go home. Feels like we're doing pretty good. This is ready to go. We could get three and then another 12. So we actually have 15 face damage here. We're getting pretty close that way. Maybe just wait one extra turn, slam some clay matriarch action first. Man, our deck must be pretty good if we're taking this deck uh, on, right? Like, they've played nothing but, like, premium elementals and Command of Nipt alone. What haven't they played? Shockhopper into Companion with Cowlossal? I guess just Walking Mountain? 
Oh, Osrak, break yourself upon my body. That's mine. That's mine. Is it just me or is it lagging? Let's see how my stream's doing. Stream says it's doing fine. Um, but I, I gotta be honest, I have, I thought I've noticed maybe once or twice where the game slowed down a little bit. Could be new patch things. Oh, uh, what is that? Macaw, oh, did they just get a random schooling for Macaw? That's okay. That's okay, you, you can use this turn to handle your own minion. That is fine by me. I'm okay with that, it is pretty efficient. But I've got good stuff to do this turn, which will probably lead into a likely lethal next turn, you'd think. Top Keck. So why don't we do... Holy Smites. Dragoon. And I think I will play this. Maybe not lethal next turn, it adds another... Nine attack for the following turn. Concerto promo gone. You didn't want to concerto promo me. Feral spirit rude. I've been blocked. I have been stopped. Still three skeletal dragons. Okay, maybe I don't have lethal. And I have to play more stuff. Um, I've synchronized, which is nice. I think I'll just play Big Thick Skelly Boy. Small lad. Trade one of these, heal it back up. And just start working through their desperate wall of taunts. Whoa! <laughs> Damn. You can get a Zarimi from this boy, of course you can, but... Uh, it only works once per game, so you can't, uh, you can't play both of these and get two extra turns. You only ever get one extra turn. So a bit redundant, just a five minute, a five minute, four, six. Hello, Mr. Your Honor, please. Mr. Your Honor was my father. You can call me George. Chris, it's good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Check it out. New meta. You might think judge new meta. All the cards are the same. Um, lethal? No lethal? If I play this and then make a trade and do three, they're at 15. And then I have six plus four, so not lethal. I think I'll just play this and that. I guess I could bonk, bonk this off and get me closer. But still not lethal, right? That has to be lethal in there, you think? So I would I would bonk bonk. So I would play this, I would play this, I would bonk bonk and have this as a four. And then go, they'd be at 15. So I would have 15. And then they'd be at 11. They'd be at eight. They'd be at six. They'd be at two. I believe I have 16 damage. Play the 5-5? Five five? Yeah. Even still, this resummons? I don't think it's there. Without the resummon, maybe. But with the 2-3 coming back? I don't believe. Seems like we should probably get lethal here. Melomania off the top. Oh, bring. What'd you get? Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Immediately amphibious elixir. Typical. I just had to tempo a candle taker. What is that? A shut up. Don't tell me. Silver moon guardian. What is that? A silver moon guardian? Pfft. Feels bad until you realize that's literally a card. Or mana 3-3 divine shield. That does nothing else. <laughs> And you're like, damn, what great tempo. I judge you have the mustache achievement. I do. Was it is it just me or was the mustache achievement like bugged? Because I got the mustache achievement while holding it in hand and killing them with something else. I thought thought and I was like, what the heck? 
Uh, okay, they're at 28 health now. So that happened. Um, how much damage do I have? Let's start with this. Okay. And then I could deal three here. I could deal eight to the face, put them at 20. Then I would have this plus three plus four. So this plus seven, which would be an 18. Am I two off again? No, no. Is that lethal? That's exactly lethal, right? That's exactly lethal. As long as I pop this open. well did they make the retire prison yet they did that would be active for the last uh out two two hours two and a half hours it exists maybe that's why we're seven one with a priest <laughs> you know maybe that's why we're seven one with a priest not just uh, not having to deal with all those unfathomable decks out there you know beaten seen some pretty strong ones up here but like maybe that's the difference between seven one and three and three <laughs> we'll see. Maybe in this meta, Neo Greg will go 11.1 average. You know, not having to deal with all those all, all those barcodes. Hearth on curve is a lot of fun if you have time for it. Hearth on curve is pretty sex sexy. So first run is an infinite one. That's that's nice. Imagine 12 win average. I mean, statistically close to impossible surely but like he, neil greg got as close as as anyone's gotten in a long long time in a meta that's surely tougher than those who got up to 10 in the past um i don't want these cards uh synchronize is tempting but i don't really have anything to play it on right now so find me conjurer find me yeah we like matriarchs sheriff laugh the shelves is dealing a lot of damage this is pretty decent Sure, 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 sure. Do you know the highest average record? So I I know I learned it at some point uh, way back. The thing is, is that there were recorded averages that were not for 30 runs. Like there was a 10 run leaderboard once and then like someone got like 10.8 or something. But it's like way different than a 30 average, right? Like way different. I mean, if you look at a, if you look at a 10 average, what would Neo Greg have had? Neo Greg would have had 118 wins over 10, right? So that would have been 11.8. Like Neo Greg in that situation would have literally had an 11.8 average because he got all 12s and then 110 in, in a stretch of 10. And it took your best result then too. So like, it's not really fair to compare some of those. Um, and then other ones were during like events that good players were getting way higher averages than normal because there was like some te some low tens that were during events and stuff. Um, as far as just like a live leaderboard, by far the best we've ever seen. And even for like best of metas, it's among the best we've seen, especially when you counter um, the difficulty of the meta because it's just the leaderboard works differently before making it easier to get like high rolls and stuff when you do it with this leaderboard getting a 10.1 is like better than the equivalent of anything in the tens in the past by far like you it's hard to compare all the numbers but neo greg's result is easily the most impressive leaderboard result there has ever been make no mistake of that no matter no matter what some of the old numbers said there are different reasons why they were so high uh, embalming ritual, pretty good on my ectoplasm. Okay. Okay, well, that lets me just holy smite this and play this. Hold my coin, which is splendid, because then I can come into ectoplasm reborn. Uh, maybe I should reborn my matriarch. Nah, I should probably just do this for tempo if I don't find another play. As I don't get the extra 1-1 one, one or anything, as good as the Reborn is. Wow. Right to the face? 7-1 and one, plays that weapon, goes right to the face? Against a priest? Hot dog. 
Okay. Sure. See if it pays off. Bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, and barcode meta even. Yeah, it's unreal. It's like it's the best streak we've ever seen. It's the most impressive streak that has ever existed in Arena. 100%. Neo Greg streak. Crazy. Like something I would have considered impossible, honestly, in today's day and age. Which again, brings me excitement about like, <laughs> you know, Arena and playing and like Neo Greg actually just like shocking everybody with something so absurd. It's like, man, there is hope for stuff like that even with uh, everything that's gone against Arena with cheaters and crazy cards and stuff, right? Okay. Go ahead and coin this big large. Feels like that was a waste. I, maybe they just have three weapons in hand. Possibly they just have a ton of weapons. Uh, that's a pretty bad turn when you think about like how how many stats we got for that amount of mana. So we're pretty happy with that. You could just Amber Whelp that. Um, and what? Yeah, I think you do. I think you Amber Whelp this. Play the small. Heal up the Mignon. And enjoy a rather hefty tempo lead. Surely they're going to do something crazy, right? Like we're at seven and one here against a, a Death Knight. Like they're going to do something other than just get steamrolled and go face with your weapon a couple times, right? Like Soul Stealer coming in next turn, maybe? Top Keck? Pretty good silence, but still pretty slow. Oh! Silence and Bunkus? Nice. Uh, let's see, I have 7, uh, 12, 12 damage. They've got a claw machine. I'm just going to play this buoy and ship it all to the face. Where it belongs. If they soul stealer, they can't get through the matriarch. I'll still have that four damage. Unless they have like a uh, frost mana gain, whatever that is. Uh, mana biscuit. Frost biscuit, I believe it's called. I don't know if I've seen a single Death Knight without a Frost Strike in my last like 20 games against the Death Knight, you know, <laughs> like we're good. We're good here. I'm just saying like this might have been the first one in a long time that we've seen without a Frost Strike. Wonder if that card, I wonder what they did with offering rates, man. Like did offering rates even change? Like I doubt they did. It seems like they just took out a couple cards, put in a couple new cards, much like they did when they got rid of Wild Seeds, but maybe even less impactful. How many dragons do I have? Just two, so I have to heal them. We look for the extra turn. Um, not enough mana for that, though. And if only I had one more Dragoon. If only I had drawn a Dragoon there, that would have been swell. I think I'm just going to do this. And this and that. And then do I want to make trades here? I think I'll make this trade. A little more protection for my big lad. Oh, that's that's just not fair. That's just not fair. I do still have one duplicate. It is fly off the shelves. Oh, no, I have two. I have a Dragoon, too. Frost Strike into Frost Queen Syndragosa. Welcome to the new meta. <laughs> wow, I've never seen that one before. It'd be great if they shuffled it up, man. We're still fine. Again, we're still doing just just swell. In fact, they are they are dying. Are you really going to pop that open? Oh, you got the four four. You're going to trade a four four. OK, OK, OK. Sure, 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 dude. Sure. Sure. OK, well, there's one dupe because I can draw my fly off the shelves there. Is that what I want to do right now? I go for lethal. This could be lethal if I get Zerimi. Or it could give me another dupe. But then I wouldn't get to Clara Machine. <coughs> and it's a pretty clean Clara Machine. 
I'm gonna claw machine. I feel confident in winning either way here. Oh, FD boy. I'm taking the dupe, dog. I'm taking the dupe all day because I've got a Ray Estraza in hand and that fires me up a little bit. I don't care about that. What else? Corpse Bride or something crazy? I was wondering if I should have taken the uh, Cannibalize, but like... Wait, what? Why does my deck tracker still say I have two fly off the shelves? It doesn't understand Shadow Visions. Oh, it's a copy. I don't understand Shadow Visions. <laughs> I'm the one who doesn't get it. <laughs> Excellent. It discovers a copy, not the actual thing. Uh, you moron, <laughs> judge. <laughs> okay, so we still have two dupes and I probably should have taken the cannibalize in that case. We literally talked about this during the draft. No, yeah, no, it's the children that are wrong, right? <laughs> no, no problem. I'm gonna fly so freaking hard off these shelves. It's gonna be insane. Well, we got cannibalize anyway. Um, How many spells do I have left that I want to draw or with that? Uh, synchronize. I don't really need to be cubing it. This is lethal if I get I'm winder still. Lethal. Oh, there's a dupe. All right, that gets synchronized, weeds the deck down. They're got, they have to play very reactively with only seven health. So nothing too insane, please. You even picked it over the one that draws. Yeah, like an idiot. I should have known I was going to get this Ray of Straza here. Hey, okay, sure. That's fine. I mean, that's half their mana did not develop tempo, even if they're getting health. That's OK. No problem. City and Revenant, you say? To shreds, you say? Okay, that's a pretty good draw. Yeah, it's a pretty good draw. It's a pretty good draw. It's a pretty good draw. Um, this currently deals three damage and also three damage, but we're going to start with this and pop this. Uh, maybe I should have hit with a three, four first. Maybe I should hit with a three, first, four first, because then I maybe could have come in with fly off the shelves. But maybe I just won't pop it open after all. Maybe I should think before I act, but I want the cube out there as well, right? Why don't I just do this? Yeah, why don't I just do this? and see what they do next turn. I want the big lad out there. Big beefy lad. I can play these next turn. No regrets. I mean, I even have power cord synchronized on this potentially. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now the thing is, I'm probably gonna have a full clear here, but that's a that's a combo, dude. They get a saloon brewmaster. Careful. Still potential lethals if I could find my Zarimi once in my life. Um, I probably just trade this off then, no? What else would I be playing though? This? I could synchronize this and look for my Zarimi in a sec later. Is probably a good idea. Laugh the shelves deals what I say, three? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna synchronize this. Ah, there's the four health here though. Am I ever just playing both of these? Yeah, just play them both and then synchronize last. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Boopity. Synchronize last, you idiot. Can't do that. All right, sure, whatever. Whatever, I still got cannibalize, I'm healthy, and the caricature artist is a uh, lethal setup. So, in, in almost two ways. Down the 
Or in one of my first run of the meta, I declare it good. And that's another thing. Like, even though it's uh, pretty much the same meta, it's going to be a drastically different experience over the next month with, with the barcode fix, right? Which is very nice. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Could I die if I play this? Like, is it stupid of me to play this? I could have lethal here. I could develop and kill this off. Is this just dumb of me to play? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, he'll explode. Lethal. Lethal was had. Very possibly. Yeah. This might be a, a more and a more consistent lethal than Zarimi here. Not me yelling my phone. Oh god, don't synchronize last. It would have been embarrassing. Just poof, gone. There's no way, dude. There's no way, dude. Stop pretending. Stop keck. You have you've only spent one corpse this game. So your CNE is garb. You're not fooling anyone. Bye. Scannable eyes gives a lot of healing there. In fact, we just have lethal here 100%, right? Scannable eyes and fly off the shelves is enough. As long as I don't go plan one of these first. Bonk. Alrighty. Eight and one priest. What the heck is going on here? Zarimi's all day, dude. Three fly off the shelves. We're just flying off the shelf left and right. Our curve, we we were purposely irresponsible with our curve. I guess we picked up a couple good twos at the end. I won't say it yet, but another thing is we haven't seen any demon hunters yet. There's another shaman. No demon hunt. Not one, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe people are just new meta trying different classes, but then like... Demon Hunter is still probably the, the best. Uh, I believe. I believe in this start. I'm facing one right now. Is it doing the same stuff as it did two days ago, Chris? I hope you're ready to fly off the shelves, guy. I need either Curve or Dragons. One or the other here. Could this be an Elemental Shaman? Could it be? I need more dragons. I need more dragons. I need more dragons. Maybe I just take this. I'm not scared. I'm a dragon deck. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yes, Demon Hunter is still dumb. I see. I see. Good, good, good. Going into card grader. Hmm. Okay. At least it wasn't a four or five minecart boy. And uh, I do have a lot of fly off the shelves, but I don't have many dragons. So let's start seeing some dragons over here. Maybe I'm going to do. I'm going to do this first. And interesting. Um, I think they're going to do what I I would do. Yeah. And that's just past the turn. Um, and that's kind of like what we wanted was just to slow things down here. Um, so that's good. I mean, it would have been better if they would have fallen for stuff, but... Oh! What is that noise? Is that stream loot's packs? Did it do that for you, Dark? Dark, did it even do that for you? I don't... I feel like it didn't. Puppy Girl Jamie coming in with the stream loot's pack. I appreciate that again. Same amount for you guys as a sub, but I get twice as much of that revenue due to it not being Twitch <laughs> taking all your money. So I appreciate that a lot. 
good luck with your pack opening. Um, an interesting thing about those Streamlutes, uh, Streamlutes cards, too, is it actually has a dust system, the same as Hearthstone, where you can disenchant and craft stuff that you'd rather play. It's kind of neat. It's kind of nifty. If I draw a dragon, that would just be... Oh, that'd just be swell. I'll be an unsubbed pleb forever if it means you get more money. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, the subs are, are you know, good for some reasons, but... I think right now we we probably at, at this size of channel at this stage uh, care more about the the financial support than you know somebody using a judge thumbs up in another stream or something you know appreciate it a lot I did not draw a dragon therefore I cannot fly off these shelves so good um, is it still the best play probably I wish uh, it were slightly better but sadly. It does not kill everything. Next, a nice guide. Robuster, that's rude. That's rude of you to play. More dragoons? There's a dragon. I think I'll play it even. Sorry, fly off the shelves, but that is a dragon I will slam under the board immediately. I'm running out of time for these because I want to play this too. Brack. What, what, what did I just witness? Burrow Buster, no. Excavating. No, oh, stop it. And F Bite. Oof. Hey, was Frostbite in? I feel like Frostbite might be new. Kind of exciting, right? Cool. Frost Lich. Colossal Gaia and Galactic Projection. What is the pick? Uh, probably the best card is going to be the Colossal. I think Frost Lich. Oh, you got Frost Lich Jaina. Frost Lich Jaina is going to be the worst out of those, right? How is. I don't even know. I'd have to check those stats. Jaina is super fun. And it can be extremely good. But often you need the game to be a little bit slower than you want to pull it off. Oh, Frostbite was in last rotation? I didn't see it once. No way, dude. Uh, let's play our nice seven mana frog here. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Because the meta is the exact same, you knew that was going to be a frog. Um, this does three damage now, though, which is nice. Maybe I just play this and this. We're still at 30 health. Whoa! E-Defender. Just trying to run him out of steam a little bit here. I feel like if it were me on my regular account, I'd pick Frostwitch Jaina, but if I were on Tryhard Judge, I'd probably take Gaia, right? I think I'd probably take Colossal, but I know the Galactic Projection Orb is actually quite strong. Is Ga Gaia's got to be new, right? I would have seen a Gaia. Draw an Anduin's Gift. An Anduin's Gift. Let's see what they have. Kind of don't want to play any dragons. Uh, maybe one Clay Matriarch. See what I get from them. Because I want to uh, fly off the shelves. Nice and good. Uh oh. That means they have more Excavate coming. That's spooky. I'm spooked by that. See if that's also a frog. Let's see if that too is indeed a frog. First run of the meta. That's true. That's true. This is the first run of the meta. Decided to start out with a priest. What did we turn down? Do you guys remember? Like we turned down Demon Hunter due to boredom. And what else did we turn down? A warrior, right? Demon Hunter, warrior, and priest was our first option. Dodge it. Penguin. And they have a lot of uh, look at every single one of their cards is ran is generated <laughs> every single one. <laughs> Good God. All right, keep it cool. A 12 win would be sweet to begin with. That would be sweet to begin with and with a, a bad class, no less.
Okay, well, there's our dragon. Um, I say we rip it. Get that garbage out of here. And then I think we do this and that. That seems reasonable to me. Um, what are these? Frost. Wait, that's a mini frost boy. That's a nature spell. That's a random spell. That's a random mech. And these are fish. And there's a nice cow off the top. <laughs> cow lossal. Oh, our new meta. Our poor new meta. It's the same meta. Anybody seen Archer? I just got like vibes of when Mallory like gets to see her new uh, renovated office. You know, anybody that that might hit a few people like yeah, it's the same. That's how I feel right now. Judge, interesting rule update that just got uh, updated rule. Wait, like in, in Hearthstone? What is this? Cards that force spells to be cast like duplication or recasting now check for target legality. Meaning, for example, you can no longer use cards like conductivity uh, to altered cord el elusive minions. Oh, that's very interesting. Or promotion a minion that isn't. So that's like Shadow or Death killing a two attack thing because it was beside one or whatever. Or like Spellbender would also do that, right? Probably works with Spellbender. That is very interesting. Um, okay, let's do this. This surely they don't have yet another frog. Or dragoons. And uh, I think we're just doing this to protect our boy. Yes, we are. Spine tail's nice. Close game. They still got quite a few cards. The top deck is another, uh, I mean, perfect, perfect draw there. Um, it's expensive, but, you know, it does unfortunately remove our large lad. Pretty, uh, pretty perfectly. And can they play their large boy? We got another one, though. So if they're not hexing it, that's probably good. We got another one here. Gutty, you going for exactly Frost Strike? There's no way, dude. There's no way you're that lucky. There's no way, bro. You play it with three mana left just because you might get Frost Strike and you do. Give me a break, man. All right. Another? Another? More Dragoons? Dude. It's because it's a copy, so it's got the same preloaded dragons in it. Do you think that's ever a thing? Frost striking to reap what you sow because of luck? Uh oh, that's three, guy. They need one more for legendary treasure. And threes are pretty scary, too. Uh, that card is uh, definitely one that exists. Rip my dragoons. I cannibalize if it's too hefty, but. They've been doing a pretty good job at the whole old RNG and top decking here. Looks like maybe they whiffed on the elementals? Possibly? And I wouldn't call that a whiff. It's pretty large. Um, careful now, because we actually don't have any other dragons other than the spine tail, so I can't double spine tail. Uh, I can't mind control it. It's something I can do. Um, which is pretty reasonable, I'd say, here. Give. They seem to just, I don't know, generate so many cards every turn. Like, it feels like we should be running them out of steam. They just have so much of it. Snip Snomp. Okay, that's quite rude of them. Okay, a big large or a medium and a small, I guess. A medium and a small, I suppose. Does this actually draw me anything? I've got Holy Smite. Hmm. What happens if I do this and this? What happens then? 
Ooh, they got a lot of cards, man. See what happens if I do this. Timewinder Zarimi has been unbelievably shy in the bottom third of our deck pretty much every game. Oh, wonderful. Well, perhaps mind controlling that might have been better. No, it's not going to happen. All right, well, that's a good game. Looks like that's a new card. Didn't even know that was in the meta. Uh, I cannot beat that, can I? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I can. I can beat that. It's fine. Is that even good? That's not even good. I, I'll admit that their mind control was better than my mind control. I'll admit that. Man, these are so difficult. I think these are just going face. I need Zerimi, man. I needed Zerimi ages ago. This has been su such a tough run for finding this. We've played it, what, once, twice? And still in the last half, like, very, very tough. I need this. I need to end it. I need to end it. Hmm. Interesting. So they just decide to pop that off for no reason. Um, they're just, I mean, they could have, ah, it's the only thing they could have broken it off into, I see. And they just want more minions for their, uh, they plan on playing their excavate treasure here, which could be the end of the game. That's probably very bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They high rolled most of them, but that's pretty bad. Ahoy, George. Saw you last night pop into Greg's after his last run. Yeah, I had to. I had to. It was just too beautiful of a run. It was just too beautiful of a situation. I was there. I had. I, I watched the last little bit of it. What an unbelievable run that guy found. Ah, uh, dude. Zarimi, where the heck are you, guy? I think I uh, would have won if I just drew Zarimi any time. Our opponent got a lot of lucky hits, and we were just waiting, 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 unable to find it. We got caricature artists, too, and, and none of that either. Let's see what's in here. I mean, no tribes on board. Could cube the Annoyatron in anticipation of needing the defense. I also could just play the Spinetail Drake. An Amalgam. And that's pretty good too. Dude, what is that? That took forever, bro. Jesus. You see that card just freeze there for like a full second? It was a bit of face damage. If I honestly, if I win this, it's because I'm playing Zarimi anyway. So it's like, I don't think the biggest deal. I've got this now for you. It's just this turn is going to be a blowout, right? Because they just played their excavate treasure. I would have gone like, would I have even double bumped into this? I doubt it. Okay. It's nice to see someone do something so impactful in Arena still. Yeah, maybe it's not Arena after all. No, it, it was it's insane to see someone do that well in today's game is just wild. Holy, is that a good hit, dude? This is actually going to be insane for them. They've excavated five times? A few of them random? Oh my god. Okay, dude. I just needed Zarimi any time, dude. I just needed Zarimi. I was good. We had this game. I was just waiting, waiting, waiting. Hmm. Well, that gives me a one in three chance at Zerimi, but it's no longer lethal. Zerimi gets me, what, eight damage now? So maybe I need to start, um, maybe I just need to, like, I'm probably going to die here. Maybe I got to start looking for their good stuff, right? Like, this gives me Whirlpool. 
straight up this gets me Whirlpool, right? Uh, okay. Uh, the problem is Whirl Whirlpool silences, right? Whirlpool silences, right? I could die, I guess, here, and it wouldn't matter. Whirlpool is silence and destroy all minions? Is that what it is? They're going for the kill. Oh, it doesn't silence? What does Whirlpool do? Oh, silence and kill copies. Build wrong 3-3? Three, three? It's a debate for them to trade. We want them to trade anyway. Because I'm going to Lightning Reflexes and then Whirlpool them. So I just want my face to be okay. They're not debated. But if I'm not dead here... No! Dude, what a hit. What a lucky hit, bro. Are you kidding me? They're going to fatigue. They didn't want to play one of those and evolve it. I maybe maybe wary of Doomsayer. Okay. Well, I can get two whirlpools and just like, you know, I can't believe they've gotten so many good RNG hits, man. It's insane off their discoverers, off their top decks. Actually, so wild. I can probably get two whirlpools here. And I think maybe like certainly get two whirlpools. Is there another nature spell in Shaman? But like, how does that help me win? Because they're just going to refill the board each time. And what am I going to do? Pendant of Earth is the other. Maybe they have nothing but those in their deck. Yeah, better take another Whirlpool. I don't know how we're going to win this. <laughs> um, wait for them. Maybe they they play around Whirlpool enough and I can play this, this. Yeah, Pen the thing is I draw Zarimi now. And it's still probably not quite enough. I, like, I'm going to draw it naturally so soon anyway. That plays around this pretty well. But now I probably just need to play my taunts. Oh, God, that's awake. They excavated. Dude, they actually excavated twice more after their their legendary excavate. Good God. So I just die then I'll just die. I'll just be dead. It's fine. All their searing totems dead. And let's see what the drops are. I wonder if I just need to accept death. I, like, healing face is not going to do much for me. If I die because of it, sure, right? I, I need stuff on the board, especially if I'm going to scam a Zarimi lethal. Like, maybe they leave it on the board and go face. Oh, come on, dude. My opponent's just so good at the game. I, what can I do? My opponent's just so skilled. Oh, boy. Need a few more whirlpools. Need a few more whirlpools here. Man. They've got two 1-1 one, one rushes, so my my miniature one isn't really going to do much. Like, if I went fly off the shelves, killed everything but these two, like, I, I can't really, like, playing both, I can't even play both taunts, so I, I don't really know what you're supposed to do here. Fly off the shelves deals, just not quite enough. Because if I could play that and then Amber Whelp and then the Flesh Shaper, maybe we live. But it seems like I need to go for the 50-50 here. 
We do hit it. Okay. A dragon would be ideal for the fly off the shelves. It just gets us to fatigue quicker too, right? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Would have been so nice to hit that dragon. Would have been so nice to hit that dragon. Gotta be... This. 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 This is not active yet. All right, we did everything we could. I mean, our opponent was just a god this game. Um, but uh, we're at eight and one with a bad class, so. Yo, are you a judge? I am not a judge, but rather I am the judge. That's lethal. Good night, Jim Kite. Man, that was a painful one. Man, that was a painful one. <laughs> Good Lord. The excavates. I don't know how people are able to get so many excavates, dude. Like we've done like scores of drafts and maybe gotten two excavates max, maybe one with three. And people are just slamming six to eight excavates. Like it's their job. All right, GG, eight and two. We, I think we did a pretty good job of like, of, of staying in it the best we could, making good decisions, but like, you know, law, never heard of it. Law, law, like the law. Are you talking about uh, the character from Rocket Jump's video game high school? The law? I don't know what the law is. No, I'm not a real judge. <laughs> I'm not a real judge. I would, I would highly advise against taking legal advice from me, even if I offer it to you. That being said, I also will give you legal advice if you ask. You just, I, I, I just need you to not listen to it. I need a legit advice with some US law as a UK citizen. Oh, really? Wait, do you, so I'm also, so I'm a Canadian and I'm moving to the States. What are you doing with US law? Uh, again, don't, I'm not gonna answer your questions cause it's gonna be unhelpful. Just face the barcoder. They are alive and well. Yeah, there's going to be a few of them. The, the point is there should be a lot less or like they should or their decks should be a bit more fair. So we'll keep our eyes open ourselves, too. They're going to be a bit around. AV Ogre, what is a rogue doing at eight and two? Are you lost? Are you immigrating to Seattle? Yes. Uh, as soon as they let me, I've been trying for three years to live with my wife. <laughs> Uh, we're, we surely, surely it won't be more than four years, right? That would be ridiculous. Hmm. That's actually so funny, Guan. I think by pure chance you happen to, like, this is literally, I am marrying an American as well, um, and moving to the States from another country just by pure chance, I think, right? You didn't know that. But that is heavy. That's funny. I'm immigrating from Seattle to Toronto. No way. That's hilarious. Exact opposite. But maybe we can just ask them if we can just do a swap. Like, it's just like, don't even process any more paperwork. We're just going to swap. You think they'll let us? Do you think that's fine? Art looks okay. Maybe I should look for more tempo. Maybe I should look for more tempo. So you need like a work visa? Uh, pretty much. It's a, it's technically not a work visa. There's a bunch of different kinds of like visas. There's a, a bunch of different kinds of, or is just marriage enough? Oh God, just marriage is not even close to enough. I've been married for over three years and I'm still not allowed in. You're in for a process if one of, if one of you is moving to the other place. Um, what I did, I don't know if this is an option for you. What I did is, was I hired an immigration lawyer. Uh, and took their advice and let them fill out all the all the paperwork. So I got a criminal record too. So it dep that depends. There's going to be uh, paperwork to fill out what, what that's about. Like they'll ask if you have a criminal record, you say yes, and, and you have to fill out some more stuff. But uh, what I did was hired an immigration lawyer because if you screw up even one form, it can. Yeah, we can't afford a lawyer. Yeah, it's it, it's it's tough. Then you got to be really careful. You're doing everything by the book. Um. I wonder 
like this is not necessarily a great place for advice like i could give you uh something that's slightly wrong um i wonder if there are free free resources or like better platforms online to, to search about this but over a decade wasn't a violent crime but did go to prison yeah i'm not i have no idea this is beyond my um like knowledge by far about how that affects your immigration prog uh, process with the states uh, no clue uh, whether it's like, does it like I wouldn't imagine it should make it take any longer. It might just make it more likely one that they don't accept. But like, I don't I don't know. Or two, that you just have to go through another interview process. But I, I don't know. Like it's like people with criminal records immigrate. I just I just don't know about the process too much. Uh, I'll take this little guy. Why not? Egro. Yeah, you'll need advice ab uh, uh, beyond my pay grade, for sure. If I was a real judge, surely I could help you out. <laughs> so the longer it takes, the longer you have to pay the lawyers. Uh, not exactly. Uh, not exactly, actually. So we had to pay uh, a, a big retainer up front. Um, man, like the more I think about it, a lot of, you know, a lot of our money in the last bunch of years, wedding and, and, uh, and uh, immigration, like, there goes all our money, you know? Without those, we'd be doing fine over here. <laughs> you know, the poof. Poof, gone. Um, dang, I wish I could play this. This is two? Man. What should I do? Shield? Ain one? Maybe shield is better. How much is shield for nowadays? Two or three? <laughs> I, I, I guess I can see. I can take a look and take pain if I need. It's two nowadays. Um, I wonder if one card is better. I think it is. And I'll just keep this alive. Mm. Yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Need more dragoons. Need more dragoons. Need more dragoons. I can coin out this. I can even just play Dragoon Boy. Maybe I am actually going to do this and then coin the angel. That seems good. Um, not actually that good right now. We'll just go boop, boop. 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 PC with no mic. It knows. It knows all. I had an instance like that just the other week, too, where something very specific I was talking about and then just like two seconds later, just boop. Uh, but what was I saying, Guan? Yeah, something about uh, there are other ways. Yeah, like going through um, a work visa, a whole different process than going through um, like a green card. Like I'm being what? what is it? It's like this isn't me applying for like not citizenship but like for a green card rather than it's like my wife sponsoring me to live there so then there's a lot more stuff that's on her rather than me like they didn't even ask about my job or how much money i make or anything which which thank god right guys <laughs> they just asked about hers um there's another dragoon meaning i could go pew 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 Um, which is decent. Trade this back after. Death Rattle goes off before Reborn. That's not going to get a buff. And then back we go. And then back we go. Yeah, Judge making Glitch do all the work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, she doesn't do all the work. I work very hard. She just makes all the money. <laughs> okay, big difference, guys. Can you support your game playing deadbeat husband? And she says, eh, and then they're like, okay. <laughs> In all seriousness, we're, we're trying to soon. We're going to be trying some new YouTube stuff. I'm going to try some new new incentives. By the time I move to Seattle, uh, Seattle, I may need to get another job. It may happen. We'll see. You know, I know we, we want to keep as mu much going on the stream as, as possible, but Seattle's a bit more expensive than than here. And when I finally get an actual place, 
that's going to be more expensive too. So we'll see. We'll do our best here. We'll do our best to, to make second. Yeah, maybe I'll just become a legit judge. I've got a good resume for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Judge Judy, I hear, makes a decent amount of money. I could just be Judge Judy. Not bad. Seems like this is pretty good. Boop, boop. Streamer and YouTuber then. Yeah, we're, we're going to see. We're going to try a new thing, some new stuff with YouTube and, uh, you know, see if we can't make that an alternate source of income. But uh, hopefully I can start by just like doing a little bit outside of streaming. Like I said, most people my size and stream have definitely for sure, for sure got another job. But we'll, we'll see when we get there, though. It's still a little while away, right? So we have time to to, you know, things could be very different on stream and with some other stuff. Um, by the time I actually would be moving to Seattle. And I'm not going anywhere before then, um, as far as taking any time off and, uh, and stuff like that, right? Um, what do I want to do? That's pretty awkward. That's pretty awkward. Just play the Dragoons. Play them both? Rip my fly? I think so. I think I need the stats on this uh, right now, to be honest. If you could just quickly get a JD and learn real estate law. Yeah, you could work my uh, uh, for my company in place of the guy I just fired. Give me 24 hours. Perfect. Excellent. And they're, they're cool with me playing video games most of the day, right? That's fine. Like, that's not going to be an issue. Like, stream won't be affected. That's all fine. I can just, like, do it whenever I feel like anytime. Want to do a shot with me? <laughs> you know, that is something I also uh, do on stream. I don't have... I, I actually don't have any liquor nearby. But am I going to crack open a beer today? Don't have any... Uh, more likely on Fridays and Saturdays, we get some stuff going. Uh, a couple of backyard bevies, as it were. I mean, they're cool with me watching it most of the day. Yeah, great, Flappy Bird. Yeah, perfect. I'm sure it's no problem. Are they cool if I yell? If they're, Are they cool if I like, yell about bad RNG extremely loudly? Like, in the office? A little S-guide. Little S guide. It's pretty awkward. Gankus Plankus. I want to trade shard. For what? A two? Also, shadow visions. What am I looking for for shadow visions? Probably cannibalize at this point. Why don't I trade the shard? Oh! And then Shadow Visions. Now I might want another fly off the shelves, dude. I better take this. I'll hold on to this. And this. And I think I'm going to start hitting face then. If I can get another dragon, my fly off the shelf is going to clear this gank as Plankus. Isn't Hearthstone from WoW, or am I or am I confused? You are not confused. This game is based on WoW uh, lore. Uh oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That is bad. Glacial from Hearthstone Brew. That's Shutterwalk. Oh shit. That's Shutterwalk right there. Sunspot Dragoon and Cannibalize. I can't do both. Um, that is a dragon for fly off the shelves. They have a lot of healing. I gotta catch them really by surprise with this. Man, Hearthstone is pretty freaking good. Yeah, that's because I want to know what you thought about Gwent. Yeah, I haven't played Gwent, and I actually haven't played The Witcher 3. I know of both, of course. Of course, on Witcher 3. But I also, I also know of Gwent. Uh, I could just wholly smite one of these. They're not going to kill me with a Shutterwalk Hand right now. This going face is probably the way. Even if they go 
Oh, that's tough, man. Get down to 15? It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Uh, you hate to see it, man. I mean, the thing is, is our hand is super slow and Shutterwalk just wins, right? That's the problem. Are they, what are they going to, are they going to get double on this? Got to really find the time for this. This and this together, I just need them to leave a minion for a bit. They've got so much healing though, too. I mean, it's as if it's a constructed hand they've got, you know? <laughs> uh, do you play other games? I do, yeah. I play, I play, uh, this is the game I'm most known for, but I do play variety games most days. Um, today, I did not because we were under the impression there was going to be a new meta, which seems to be perhaps not as much the case as we thought. <laughs> but, uh, yep, but, uh, yep, but, uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, they, re they lack removal a bit, right? No, they have Volcano. They have Volcano. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. And uh, Holly, good to see you. How do you copy the deck list? So normally where you'd see it on the Firestone extension, um, it would probably be there. But since this is an arena deck, I, I'm, I'm thinking it might not because I have three. Like, for example, I have three skeletal dragons, which is illegal in Hearthstone. Um, but because it's arena. Yeah, that's why. You'd think with all the Shutterwalk stuff going on. Maybe I just need to develop so many stats that they can't get to me with Shudder. Is that ever the play? Or Volcano, I mean. Maybe I just need to do this. I think I do. I think I just need it so they can't clear my board with Volcano. Because that's their one AoE that they have. So it'd be like this. I wouldn't cannibalize though, because I'm playing this. It's gonna be boop, 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 boop is the idea. So the idea is that like this is gonna really make their volcano a lot worse. They don't have a hex in that hand. They have healing rain. Like, I think this is, I think, I think you have to do this now because if you wait any longer, they just have infinite Shutterwalk combo. Something lives, which is kind of lucky, but. Another safety goggles, yes indeed. Dark Iron Skulker, okay. Any bad have they played any bad battle cries? They still haven't played Zola or Grumble. So they need Zola and Grumble. It means you probably want to want to trade this. So they don't have an easy Zola target. Like maybe actually bogging down their hand with. I just don't know how you win this. I just don't know how you win this. More dragons like it's just an infinite combo, right? How do they screw it up? I don't know that shard will ever help against Shutterwalk. It's just if they played like any bad battle cries, like drawing too much. It's probably going to like healing face is more important, but I, I don't know. We're in a lot of trouble. We're just going to lose. I mean, some this is arena and like this is some of these cards. 
where it's just like they just play Hearthstone Brew. It's just game. They hit the right deck. It's game over. I can't do anything. Can you get a token deck uh, for milling uh, like with that card? Is that what we're talking about? Definitely you can. So they do this, of course. And now their Shutterwalk is online and I'm done <laughs> and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> um, armor. And cannibalize. They didn't uh, Zola the freeze, though. I don't know how this uh, works. Like, do you have a set deck uh, size you set up beforehand? This is actually a perfect opportunity to plug my latest YouTube video, uh, which is literally exactly how this card works <laughs> and everything you need to know about it. Um, let's see. Be quiet. Don't make noise. If you don't know how to make Shut up. I said don't make noise. What did I say? And that's right here. I probably could have just done last YouTube. I must choose quickly. I must choose quickly. It's, uh, yeah, 13 different hands. And this one uh, just wins. <laughs> they freeze our biggest lad. There's Grumble. Wait, it's all others. So they didn't Grumble there. They still have Zola, though. So they didn't get a one cost copy. They actually didn't get a one cost copy here. Oh, God. And Broom. They only have the nine. But I mean, there's just still nothing I can do. This actually deals damage, which is kind of funny. Need to kill all these or they get too many ones. Right now, they only have a nine cost. I'm just I don't know why I'm even bothering, right? I need them to somehow screw up and, and it's just not going to happen. Like, it's just easy. Now you just play Shutter Walks as much as you can and they don't have any bad death rattles. Yeah, kill them before it gets more impossible. It's just impossible. This was never one we had a chance to win. Not to mention they've got the double agent, which it's like, give me a break. Double agent for the extra copy, too. And broomstick every turn. Like, so gross. Yeah, so eight wins. Pretty good for our first run. Priest is pretty bad. And uh, this just shows how, like, you, you look at someone like Neo Greg Streak and just look at how many ways there are to just actually lose the game. And it's, like, just even more insane. Like, I can't. I just literally. And, and their deck doesn't even have to be good, right? They don't even need a good deck. They just need Hearthstone Brew and the game's over if you get lucky with it. Often you don't even need to get that lucky with it. It just gives you the win. So get hit by Hearthstone Brew, game over. I say let's get out of here. Probably get out of here. Do I let them have fun? Are they having fun, do you think? All of these get rushed too, man. Like, what can we ever do to win? Secret into objection? But they already have so many one-cost shutters. Would have needed that right away. We're having fun. We're having fun. Concede. I'm just going to not because I bet our opponent doesn't get to do this ever. Right? Maybe I'll go uh, go uh, take a walk, <laughs> you know? Maybe I'll just end my turn next turn and then go take a walk. I mean, imagine you're the person who gets to slam a shutter walk shaman and you never have before. It's got to be pretty fun for them. Oh, mama. Shutter walk me, dude. I probably have time. Now, there's the rope. I probably got time to go to the bathroom and come back before my turn starts.
Top deck sunspot. OP, dude. Wow, they didn't even kill me. They missed lethal, dude. They still had one mana. Got him. All right, finish me off, dude. See, if they do it the fun way, you know they're just having a blast. What should we do next? There's nothing new, right? Like, is there anything? It's just looking for new legendaries. Looking for new legendaries. Honestly, if I had known that the meta hadn't changed at all, I might have taken quest and done worse. Because it's new. All right, well, that was what you call queuing into a loss. Um, I don't believe there's any way I could have won that game. <laughs> um, but hey, eight wins with a priest is pretty good. Anytime I have hearth, I get awful decks. Might not matter if you get to slam the hearth often enough. All righty. All righty, shall we another? Shall we another? No, I mean, do you only have 10 HP in total? No, 30. Yeah, 30 on each side. 30 on each side. Oh! Some lunatic will come along with a sadistic choice. Let's go, Pluto. Pluto's got the next class choice. Let's take a look at what it is. Rip duels, guys. Look at this. Duels is gone. Look at this. Rip duels. Joe, did you see if uh, a Death Knight equips Quartzite Crusher at any point in the game? All of their weapons afterwards will also freeze. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that's terrible. Um, I, I would argue that Quartzite Crusher itself doesn't even need to freeze, but... <laughs> All right, Pluto. Rogue always if offered. Let's take a look. Let's take a gander. There is no Rogue. We have Demon Hunter, Death Knight, and Paladonger. What do we want to do? Um, I keep getting offered the good class. I don't want this. I need to save these for my tryhard runs, right? Give me a break. Uh, what do you guys want to see? Should I do a poll? What do you guys want? Death Knight? Death Knight stuff? Eh, probably Death Knight. I don't know. Demon Hunter I'm still bored of. And it seems exactly the same. I haven't done many Death Knights. Or Paladins. I like Paladin too. Paladin has a big potential to low roll and, you know, be awful, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Why are you asking guys? Yeah, who, sorry, Pluto. I forgot. I forgot about you. I, I admit I'm sorry. Pluto, what do you want? Thank God that I don't have to ask you guys. Should I do a poll? Pluto, I apologize. Short term memory loss. Where am I? What's going on? Who are all you people? Death Knight, Death Knight. OK, it is going to be Death Knight. Forget the paladin. Sorry, Daddy, Daddy Milk Eyes. I forgot. I didn't. I didn't realize. Let's do it. Death Knight. Death Knight. Pluto has spoken. Let's see what legendary we get. Hopefully, it's new. New. These are not new. These are not new. This one's pretty good, but it's not new. Let's grab the good card and then start picking other cards as well. Um, Unholy Frenzy is quite nice. Keep your eyes open for new cards. No, 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 right? These were all in. Corpse Bride's pretty gross. This is pretty good too, but I think I'm going to take Corpse Bride in my Climactic Necrotic Explosion deck. Um, was Eulogizer in? Maybe Eulogizer is new. Yeah, yeah, this is new. Eulogizer wasn't in before, right? It's back, so there's something. There's something. Generally, anything that says zeros at the bottom, like Click Clocker. Click Clocker new? It's a pretty good card, actually. I like Click Clocker. I'm going to take another Unholy Frenzy, though. Uh, maybe Dredge for my CNE. Oh, this is just Discover your CNE, which is probably better. Cool. These are both good for... Um, Corpses this is also good with our unholy frenzies. Maybe we just care about getting on the board early, though. That's tight. Yeah, I'll take a three. I'll take a three. I got unholy frenzies. That kind of makes the difference. Um, Ectoplasm is not an undead, so I think I'll take the frosty boys. 
This is probably better, but this is fun. Hmm. Nervian Swarm Guard. Do we get any beef with Rainbow? Do we get any beef? Yeah, the gameplay is pretty straightforward. There's like thousands of cards, so you're not just going to instantly know all the cards and what they do, right? That's going to take some time. It's like showing someone who's never played Yu-Gi-Oh before all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and being like, check these out. And you'll be like, oh, that's a lot, right? <laughs> hmm. Can you make a troll deck? So you can. You can absolutely make troll decks. It's a little bit harder nowadays to make troll decks in Arena in the mode we're playing because um, the decks are just so much stronger than they used to be. So you get way more punished by trolling and memeing. You used to be able to meme pretty good, but it's a little, it's a little tougher now. Um, let's say discover is fun. Let's say discovering cards is fun and take this card. That seems nice. Oh my god, I made a mistake. I could have had harmonic metal with it. Now forget about it. Now forget about it. We'll take a Stoneborn Accuser. Uh, this spends corpses and a bunch of them. Dude, I should have taken hand buffs. Sure. Gain a corpse even? 53% rough go. Fine, I'll take the good card. Bunkus is probably better than Twin Tyrant nowadays. Not exactly the same. I see, I see. I'm going to take a Bunkus because I care more about early tempo. Mm hmm. Are you good enough to get away with it? You can be big headed. Uh, so I've got I've got multiple like number ones in North America. I've gotten many top tens and still maybe no, <laughs> you know, still maybe not. Sometimes, sometimes you can, but it can, it can, it can be impossible sometimes. <laughs> he has a very large head. <laughs> I guess I take Handle Razor for tempos. I'm not in love with this deck so far, to be honest. This is good, and this is really good. Probably take the really good card as much as I do like a nice wand maker. I ain't talking. Uh, discover a copy or discover a card? I think we just look for our CNE, but we barely have any corpse consumption. Take a card grader. Take a card grader. More of this? It's a decent card. The other cards kind of stink, so sure. This card's great. Oh, this card's fun, though. Do we take great card or fun card? Do it. Drone Deconstructor wasn't in before. Zombie takes our mechs as well. Let's take the fun card. What is this? Judge Tryhard? <laughs> what is this? Judge Tryhard? Uh, footman to be annoying? That's a card we want to see. Dang, both of these are cards we really want. But I'm going to take the big bone boy. Quartzite is rude. And the other cards suck. These cards kind of suck. <laughs> uh, maybe Glacial Advance is fine. Glacial Advance doesn't suck. Uh, no Muncher. Again, I don't understand how people get Excavate offered. No Muncher for healings. Ah, an Excavate offered. Nice, I'll take it. I understand. I understand now. You can go chill, fallen baron. Although, like piloted shredder with unholy frenzies is fine. I need a bit more corpse. A little bit more corpse consumption would be, would be just swell. This card has a higher win rate than Sunwell Initiate. Eh? Maybe this card is good after all. Hmm. This is less good when I have no ones. Sure. Secrets. Another corpse pride is perfect. Now, just like a couple twos and ones. An AoE would be nice, too. Okay. Mm uh, we got offered like no discover in this deck, didn't did we? Everyone's got far, like six frost strikes. I don't get it. Frost strikes, hematurge, necrotic mortician. None of that. Like, did we actually get any? We got we took dwarven archaeologist. And mechanome guide. Like every other player is just playing at a, in a different world with their drafts, man. Um, but we got a, at least we got a lot of corpse spenders. Grab a Scorpy. And we still have a couple more picks. Cool Ghoul over Igneous Elemental. 
is pretty good. Also with our two unholy frenzies. Uh, take another discover then now, yeah. Cool. I like Duster. We need more twos. And lastly, um, in this case, I think I'm going to go with the Drone Deconstructor. I already have two Shambling Zombie Tanks. We have a lot of Corp spending now. And I think I just want to find something to play on one. So let's grab this as our last pick. What do we think, chat? C and E deck OP? I didn't get any AoE. I didn't get any AoE and I didn't get any dis like any uh, of the good discover cards um, from Death Knight. You fucked up the deck with the last pick. I think I what I I would have taken the corp spending if the deck didn't go so poorly. If I didn't go so if it didn't go so poorly, I needed to take the responsible pick because our our draft wasn't super great. Get some Watson over. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, what do I keep? What do I keep? I really need to find early curve in this deck because I do not have much. I think this deck is not, I don't know. The CNE is nasty. If you, if you get to like turn five, but our, our curve is just so bad. And we didn't really have an opportunity to make it not bad. We're probably going to be tempoing shambling zombie tanks a bunch. What new cards did we would, did we get in this deck? We got a drone deconstructor. Sick. <laughs> God, this new meta is, in, in, is invigorating. We've got a drone deconstructor in here now. Instead of not having a drone deconstructor, that's pretty wild. Henda, what do you got for me? Henda into Threads of Despair is a huge, huge board clear that I probably will need due to um, not having any tempo. Seems good. Poacher of Piranha. I think we just keep... Ooh, could do Glacial. I could end up clearing that, like Coin Glacial Reap, but it's a lot to spend. A lot to spend. I think I'm just going to do this. And draw my Candle Razor. Is this 18+, plus, by the way, or PG? I would say it's somewhere around PG-13, where, like... I, uh, you know, I'll drop an F-bomb here and there, but generally we try to keep things more respectful and appropriate. You know, there is definitely a, t a too far in the 18 plus realm. You know what I mean? Maybe, do you guys have 14A in the States? We call it 14A in Canada. Maybe. How many, f who's 14 out there? <laughs> I can say dick, but not the C word type deal. Yeah, ex yeah. It, pretty much. Hmm. And you'll know swiftly if you've stepped out of line, but try not to make that happen. <laughs> Definitely do not make that happen. But yeah, pr pretty much that's the vibe, what you just said. Ooh, a piece of candy. Fourteen A, nice. <laughs> hmm. Wow, this the is unbelievable. These little fuckers ever pop out of the fucking wall and say, "Fuck, there's a horse cock in my room or a donkey dick." <laughs> what? What was that? What was that? Or a? Do oh, that's it. I thought she got cut off, but that was it. 
Great, thanks, Chris, that helps. Thanks for defining the line. Do any of these little fuckers who ever pop out of the fucking wall and say, fuck, there's a horse cock in my room or a dog? What is that? What is that? Who are you talking? What does that mean? Chris, thank you very much for 420 bits. Blaze it. Yeah, you are now banned for life. Thank you for all your support. Appreciate all, all the donations and all the support. It's really gone a long way. You're banned for life. Goodbye. It's from I think you should leave. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> but I'm interested now. <laughs> oh, what should I do? Should I despair these threads? One, two, three, four, five million. And then coin a corpse bride? No, nah, that's too soon for a corpse bride. And then what? Maybe I just want to do this. And this. Maybe that's what I want to do. Ever think that maybe this is what I want to do? And boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. We'll spend the night together from now until forever. It's over, dude. I've got the high ground. Mod for crisp. Mod, mod for crisp 420. Hmm. I'm so happy you sang those lyrics. Just said them. I definitely didn't. I didn't sing them. I didn't, you know, didn't say just 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 brought them up. What lyrics? Is that a song? I thought that was original. Have you seen a middle ditch and Schwartz? I have not. Judge hasn't. This deck is okay, but you got you gotta just get out of the early not having tempo. <laughs> but but if you can do that with like a discover into your great mid-range corpse brides and stuff, then maybe you're okay with the CNE. But it's it's just so the same. It's just like it's just like the exact same. It's like an okay list that we could have had any time in the last two months. Like the new meta is we now have a drone deconstructor. Like what? I was prepared for like a late night stream tonight. Like, are we going to go super, super late? Try all the new classes, try all the new stuff, get some info. And now it's like, nah, dude, it's not even a special day at all. <laughs> you know, well, it is for BGs. Play some duos. Yeah, they know it's over. I know it's over. Everybody knows it's over. I cleared your board, dank papa. Dank papa swag. We're done here. We're done here. Uh, I want to be spending my corpses on a uh, big bride, so I'm just going to do this. Bye. New arena meta. Let's go. Absolutely. Hey, anybody out there is anybody uh, anybody who's watching favorite card drone deconstructor by chance? Because if so, you're in luck. You're in luck. We have drone deconstructor in the deck. Brand new. Fuck yeah. I, de I love deconstructing a drone. Yeah, absolutely. Right. A drone being fully constructed and then like methodically being taken apart. That's what you can expect here. Solid stuff. I'm going to toss the footman because we don't have good enough tempo for it to be good on four. But I'll keep these cards because I don't really have too many cards that cost less than three. My wife asked if I'd seen the dog bowl. I said, I didn't know he could. Damn it. That was better than any of the jokes I took when I was supposed to be telling good jokes. <laughs> I didn't know he could. But it's <laughs> worth. Um, this is fun. That's fun. Could what? It's like, uh, let me explain it. This is my specialty, explaining jokes. So at first glance, you think the dog bowl, that must be the, the dog dish for eating or drinking, right, Sabo? I bet that, that's that's uh, where your mind is at right now. However, the, the joke is that perhaps the dog was not, in fact, eating out of a bowl, but physically bowling, like at a bowling alley with pins and balls. Do you understand? God, it's a funny joke. 
And it's even funnier when you explain it painfully. You're breaking it down like you do to my girlfriend. She also need it. But no dogs can bowl. That's so stupid. Terrible joke. No, maybe this dog can bowl. You don't know. Dogs can skateboard. Dogs can skateboard around town. They can make what's stopping them from bowling. You know what? I'm going to search dog bowling right now. And you're going to I'm going to prove you so wrong. Dog. Bowling. Dog loves to go bowling. See, so watch this. Hold on. I let AI play in my week. I, I let AI play in my week. Regrets. I have zero regrets. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Check this out. I'm going to turn the volume down a little. Look at him. That dog's bowling. See? This is Blake. He bowls. Look at him go. He gets treats and he bowls. He's going to rip a strike right now. Fucking get him. Blake is a hero and just proved you so wrong. Sabo. Let's go. Blake the bowler. Proved. Proof. Was this double the tap? Double the time? Um, what do I want to do about that? What do I want to do about that? What if... Bleh. Bleh. Dude, what is this? What, do I, what am I doing here? What if I just played this? Is that all I'm doing? If I played this... That seems good. That seems good. Do I want to save this then? I don't have any of my corpse brides right now. Oh, no, I do have a corpse bride. Get out there. Cool. Something like that. Something like that. What's a pirate's favorite letter? F. <laughs> that's 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 a good joke. That's where it stops right there. It's F. Darren in Porter. Everyone thinks it's R, but actually it's the C. I think, I think Pirate Judge told that joke once live on this channel. Pirate Judge, different fellow, comes on every once in a while to, to uh, say hello. Drone deconstructor alert, new card alert. So I have heard that one before from him. Hmm. Hmm. Play it now. Yeah, sure. Got you. Freaking drone deconstructor. Let's go. Let's go. Magnetic lifesteal robot. Sick, dude. So, so sick. Do we this? I mean, I just gotta, I just gotta has it. I just got to has it, right? Do I just want more corpses? I just do this. And uh, go face. Yeah, perfect turn. Perfect turn. What did it do? I don't know any cards post 2020. It gave me this little one one and then I played it and that's that. <laughs> yep. Drone deconstructor, spark bot. That's the new stuff you get today. 29 out of 30 cards are, are, are old. But that's what you get. You get a one mana one two that gives you a one mana one one, and we are fired up over here. That's my favorite card. It's the new card, Sabo. We're excited about it because it's a brand new meta. Jokes about. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? Yeah, I'm surprised too, Lucas. All right, Dave. I feel like I've played against Dave a few times. I feel like I've played against Dave a number of times. Let's get this charge minion out there. Punish them for double tapping. Whack. And then we'll come into a big old corpse bride. I'm getting every single corpse out there. Siphon Soul comes in. Sure, I play Big Lad. Hit him in the face more. That wasn't in last meta. Uh, wait, what? Drone Deconstructor? If you're talking about Drone Deconstructor, no, it was not in. It is brand new. If you're talking about anything else played in this game, then it was probably last meta, in last meta. 
Okay, I play a ginormous corpse bride in attack mode, boosting my explosion by only one damage, apparently. Really? Wait. What does this card normally do? Six damage, three two twos. And now it's seven damage, seven six threes. Okay, so we missed all the damage, but we got a huge board of six threes coming. I'd love some more health on those folks. Have you done any thinking with portals recently? Uh, you know what? I actually was just thinking about what games I was going to play this week, and I forgot about portal. Thank you for reminding me. Um, there's There might be a chance I fire up some streams like at irregular times with some bonus stuff, but this Friday we're playing a difficult game about climbing as a little bit of a one of or two of hopefully <laughs> um as that's just been brought to my attention and i want to show people i i can i can i can i can i can dabble i crushed only up i can climb it's gonna be stupid it's gonna be fun and uh i'm gonna have a few drinks while i do it and we'll see how it compares to getting over it with bennett foddy as that's the game it was uh created about Hmm. Yeah, I forgot if you played Reloaded. I did play Re Reloaded. That was the community made time travel one, right? That was sick. But I have not played the, the next one. Yeah, what's this? Trade first, then Divine Shields? Then enjoy our easy dub. Nice spawn of Deathwing, guy. Nice spawn of Deathwing, Dave. Any new cards from our opponent here? I haven't seen any. I thought only up just went on forever. Nope. Nope. We defeat. We beat it on stream. We got to the top. We did. We did. Name Lance. Uh, did I win? I won. I didn't even need the explosion. That's unfortunate. Is this if it kills a minion? If it deals exact lethal darn i could have drawn a card is there a golden boat there pretty much is a golden boat yeah and then you quite literally drive the golden boat into the not sunset per se but like sunset or uh, i guess space scape or what what would you do in space do you drive into the sunset in space i'm gonna google that too you just drive into the sun not into the sunset right you just that's that's i don't i don't what do you, what's the equivalent? I'm not sure. Okay, 2-0. Which is just fine. I I don't think this deck should do as well as the priest, but then again, my, my uh, like experience is tainted by all the cheaters, all the, all the barcoders. So maybe without all the barcoders, our decks that we think are like four win decks or three win decks are actually seven or eight win decks, right? Maybe, possibly. Could it be? New archetype of shaman, elemental shaman. You love to see it. I wonder if there are any new elementals. Another silk stitching seems decent. Cult neophyte. Uh, my magic is being muddled. That's fine. Or muzzled? Or muddled? Wait, is it muzzled? It's a brand new meta. This deck might be fire. Yeah. In theory, that could be true if it were indeed a brand new meta. That is true. Let's get some secrets here. Secret and secret. Wonderful. And we'll make that value trade to stop them from just getting all of it out of here. And let's see if either of these trigger. Do you think they play like a billion cards this turn? I'm doubting it. Three cards for three mana? They'll probably play a minion, though. That will be exploded. I was being sarcastic. Yeah, 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 I see it. Yeah, of course. I mean, of course you were. <laughs> and it's a brand new meta. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Although I haven't seen a demon hunter, so it exploded. Wait, is that a battle cry? Darn, I'm going to take two damage anyway. Right? Or, right? How does that work? Wait, maybe I don't. What happens first? Draw me a card. Oh, ouch! Uh, Agads. Um, yeah, okay. Candle Razor, get in there. Love it. 
Silver Moon Guardian, anybody? Sometimes a good way to win the game is play some cards onto the board. You should coach, because that's totally true. Dave should know that. Yeah, Dave should have known that. Dave should have known that, no, no doubt in my mind. Um, that's at three. I could just hero power and play this and see if I hit something neat, but... I could do this. Grab a... Extra spell? Blood tap is pretty good with this. Grab a blood tap. Grade card. Hmm, this is probably the best card. But this gets the best benefit from blood tap, and I do already have this healing. I think I'm going to do this. And be happy about the tap of blood I will receive. So Inquisitor is still in. Thank God. I was worried they might have got rid of that. Oh, I wonder what changes they made. Like, I really wonder what changes they made. Maybe this is why they don't publicly announce the changes they made, because everyone would be like, clearly they did barely anything. But like, I think it's it's pretty clear that that's the case here. Again, I don't know if it was the intention to fully shake things up, right? Like, if this happened after a full mini set, then that would be quite bad. Um, Hero power ghoul could be nice. Oh, hero power ghoul. Seems reasonable to me. All these large lads. Two mana, 10 8. Probably good. Probably good soon. Frog. My lad became a frog. Okay, well, this is going to be a pretty good bunkus, at least. Pretty good Bunkus hero power. This it's kind of OK. Bunkus for sure. You could just hero power and play this, though. Maybe that's better. Large and in charge two mana 10 eight in attack mode. Decent. Decent. Skibbletoast. Hey, Judge, how's it going? It's not going too bad. We had a, a really solid priest run, eight win priest run to start the new season. Um, was a bit expecting a new meta today. Well, well, to be honest, I was very much expecting a brand new meta today, and that was not the case. So that was a little bit of a bummer. You know, I, I planned, uh, you know, to stream, a, you know, just arena today and maybe play into the night and try all the new classes. But it appears that we are living in the same meta um, with some slight, slight tweaks. For example, this drone deconstructor. But like, it wasn't a mini set. It wasn't an expansion day. When will the new meta come out then? Uh, probably when the mini set hits next will be the will be a, a new meta. I think, I don't know, unless they're just going to keep a curated, like it's possible they're going to keep a curated list and only just t tweak it now and then. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I hope we get some bigger changes. Things get pretty samey after, you know, you lose the same demon hunter the same way a whole bunch of times or whatever. I mean, it's elemental shamans and excavates and everything the same, so I don't, I don't know. Again, very little change. I think in our first deck, we had maybe three cards that were new. Uh, and in this one, we only have one with the drone deconstructor. Yeah, digging straight down. Not could ever to push face. I don't think I care about pushing that much face at with against a shaman at 28. They have a ton of healing. Um, could have done it. I guess it's a bunch of face damage. Seven. Yeah, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. I guess it's just like, I, I just know they're going back up to 30. So it's like, does it really matter? They're going to clear it and I'm going to go back. So, right. And th as far as the tempo on the board goes, I ended up getting a clear with the minion instead of just losing it straight up, digging, digging straight down, saving a resource. Seven damage is a lot, but didn't seem all that, all that relevant. Okay, take a D strike. Ah, that is in the same vein. I don't really want this to go face, but I do want to develop tempo. So I guess I'll play the seven, seven. 
I probably should have. Like, that being said, I probably should have ar arsonist. I probably should have played this. Like, it gets ds after I look here, maybe? Another thing, too, is, like, I assume they're going back to full health, but again, we're not dealing with cheaters anymore. So, like, that could very well not be true. Like, they might not have a billion cards they need. You know, we're not dealing with a, a nothing but OP decks. See what's inside? Yeah. Soul freeze, soul freeze. Excellent. Um. Okay. Am I gonna soul freeze that? Like, they've got the evolve. I, I wanted to just death strike it. Yeah, and things change so so much, right? Happy with the decks today? Um, I'm not upset with the decks today. Priest deck was pretty good for a priest. And this deck is is a bit rough on the curve, but it's got a lot of good cards in it. Nothing too crazy. Uh, maybe there's something I'd like to Death Strike more next turn. Okay. 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 What's it gonna be? How original. Oh, I actually just started from, did you see my eyes close immediately when they played that? Wow, like it actually puts me to sleep actively. Oh, Cowlossal. The word Cowlossal is pretty fun. There's that healing we were talking about, yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. There's a classic shaman elemental turn. Very rude of them. We're all right here though. We're all right here though, we're all right. We're okay. Let's go like this first, actually. See what we get from the mini. Grab ourselves. Uh, those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. I'm going to play them both. Order. Hot dog. Hot dog. Order in the court. What is going on here? Hey, take it easy. This is a this is a uh, court of law. Uh, Fundy. Hey, Fundy. How's it going, man? Good to see you. I hope you had a... Uh, a lovely first day of the new season. You're pretty good. Oh, shucks. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure if over on your channel there was uh, some of the same conversation going on here, but I think we expected a bit uh, more of a change of a shift today than we we're seeing as we we're playing against uh, Elemental Shaman. But perhaps that's just us misunderstanding what the assignment was. Instructions not clear. Uh, I should have played this first. Yeah, order, order, lol, I think, here, right? Because I'm going to do... Um, no, I'm not going to play that. I'm just going to do this and then go face. Yeah, no, no order, lol. I did a perfect job. I did a perfect job. Yeah, we did too. Yeah, a little bit weird. A little bit weird, right? Like a new, uh, new leaderboard reset has always meant new meta. And uh, if you look at my deck, you'll notice um, all of these cards were draftable except for our new edition of Drone Deconstructor. So like I say, if you're super stoked about Drone Deconstructors, then sure, cool. But that's the only new card here. Uh, and yeah, we're just getting destroyed by the same, the exact same decks uh, that we've seen for a while. Maybe they mostly removed bad cards. Yeah, could, could be, maybe. Maybe. Oh, come on, dude. Like I said, back to we push all that face damage back to full health. They go almost always. Um, let's reap here. Maybe they just did shit all. Maybe. I mean, there are some new cards in that we know. Like, it's not that nothing happened. There are new cards in. OK, let's play the six, six and. Uh, I'm going to do this. They are running out of stuff. But they have healed for at least 12. I drafted Filet Fighter and Rogue, only new card I got. Yeah, very similar situation to my Drone Deconstructor, I guess. <laughs> I feel like this deck is the worst of uh, the worst of the two today. Oh, come on. Top deck Shroomscavate to heal. So 18 healing and board clear and 
We're gonna need some draws here, man. I mean, CNE, Bone Commander, Sea, sea Bride. Need some stuff over her. Okay. How do I accomplish my hopes and also my dreams here? Corpse Bride, you say. To shreds, you say. Here's what we're gonna do, right? Hmm, here's what we're gonna do, okay? Let's see here. We're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do this, because this, yeah. Then we're gonna do this, because this will hit these two. And like I said, remember uh, Arsonist back to full health. They almost always go back to full health. And now the thing is I can clear this with the 10-10. Question is, should I? I think the answer is yes, I should. And that's a pretty excellent turn. Thank you very much. Yes, it is incredible. Uh, but I'm out of stuff, right? I'm out of stuff. Yeah, so that's why I didn't really care about punching the face damage. Just they're going to ev everyone heals for a billion in every game anyway. I'm off to dreads. At least he can show off the new barcode lane. <laughs> Nothing new to see here. That's great. That's fantastic. You know, it actually brings up uh, it actually brings up a fun like thing we can do is legitimately put ourselves into the barcode, uh, you know, jail and see how we can do there. It might be not fun at all, but it also could be interesting to do, too, at some point. Yeah, let me know. Let, uh, let me know how many zero threes dreads gets in jail. Sounds good. Okay, that seems like an interesting choice of evolve. I'm just going to play my giant Snogger. And then this is actually really, really nice to have a couple of uh, little refresh uh, into maybe CNE bone uh, stuff. And they're out of steam, too. So now we're looking like we're winning. Uh, they've held on to this card for quite a while. Alakir, the Windlord. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not scared. Dwarven Archaeologist, help me. Discover. Skill, discover. See any off the top, please? None of these shuffle. Do I want to play this now or next turn? Maybe I just want to make sure this is dead and I draw. Yeah. But it's it's still the pick. It's still nice to have. Because that way they can't evolve it either into like King Crush. Like they go face face evolve crush dead right and if they get more dragons that's fine okay well they're probably gonna make this trade i'd imagine more likely protect their lad as long as they don't top deck thrall's gift then we should be good oh face they don't care they don't care about lucille Drone Deconstructor. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see what's inside. Jesus. Reborn on a mech? Dude. Okay, well, c and &E is coming in off the top, so I'll probably play that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how many corpses I spent. I think I, I spent the one Shambling and the uh, Corpse Bride, right? Because this was the game I played two 5-4 Shamblings early on, right? Here comes Big Papa. Small Papa, Tiny Papa. What is this? Tier, 6 minute 4 5 Tier, no problem.
and a DT to finish it off. Oh, not corrupted though. Okay, how big's my CNE? Deal 11 damage and summon a full board. It seems pretty good to me. Let's go. Boop. Boop. And uh, does it really matter where this goes? I think it's still technically better on the minion. 11. That lifesteal, you're healing to 28. Top decking, I think it's technically better here, but it's probably pretty close. And then the next couple draws, we have Bone Guard, Lieutenant, and Corpse Bride, which are, you know, even though we're not feeding our C&E anymore, are pretty huge. You can't even heal anymore, dog. Earthquake off the top? Yeah, even then, you come into Bone Guard, right? It's okay, they need a lot of AoE. You know what that sounds like? Uh, what is that song? Uh, down with the sickness. Ooh, ah, right? Am I wrong? Dude, I gotta make a mix. I gotta make a song. I gotta do it. Come on. That's exactly what that is. And that's the reference even. It's Die Hard Fan. It's actually the reference. It's not just a coincidence. They did that on purpose. Oh, I see. No question. That's down with the sickness, dog. No question they're rocking out to die to down with the sickness, guaranteed. Holt citizen. citizen. Alright, huzzah, we're 3-0. We've done it. They had a lot of good elementals. Shaman seems like it's gonna be very much the same and also very much very strong. Even though we haven't lost to them so much. Let's see if we can get a fourth win. Take a quick peek, I don't know. I'm gonna be, you won't see the stats changing so much right now, I don't think. On HS Replay, but like if they're gonna change, maybe tomorrow we can see some difference. Uh, differences. It's been two, it's only been a few hours, it's been like four hours. Oh, Demon Hunter has actually awake, gone up a lot. So that's interesting. We literally turned down Demon Hunters. Demon Hunter has gone up to 57, so why did that happen? What did they do? Everything's staying exactly the same. Priest? Oh, I think Priest has gone up a bit, right? Okay, some small changes are happening. Standard. Oh, fuck my D. Thank you so much. Standard. Standard. I, I just, part of me wanted to believe some changes were happening. But no, it's all exactly the same. Oh, God. It's all the same. It's all the same, chat. There's nothing different. Okay. I'm going to keep these two. Cool Ghoul fuels this, and uh, I kind of need them. I go second, so maybe I can get away with it. I get a zombie tank. I can tempo. I just wanted, I just wanted to believe. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Tomorrow, though... Tomorrow, you're going to wake up and you're going to see all those classes all over the place because we just got unlucky. Everyone's getting like 12 new cards per, per draft and we just are getting unlucky by only getting one, right? Uh, Sure, you want to play that game? Nah, I better play this. I'd best play this. I've got the CB. I don't need you. I don't need you. Feels like one of those, hey, for all your hard work, here's a slice of pizza. Tomorrow back to work again. <laughs> Does it probably still has all the data from before? Let it settle after a couple days? Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I said. I said that before we looked at it. I said it's only been a couple of hours, so it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be accurate, right? Yeah, no, you guys got, I, I said these words, right? Like I, I didn't just imagine saying them, right? I said it's only been a few hours, so it's probably not, not changing too much. But even, even usually you start seeing a couple per, uh, like 0.02, dips or whatever like oh could that be on the move but i did say those words out of my mouth i'm an origami dragon that seems nice 
Uh, that being said, I, I don't expect them to move at all. The meta looks exactly the same. I don't really expect them to be taken off too much. Like the cards are all the same. I don't, I don't, unless they tweak the offering rates immensely. Okay. Yeah, we think you actually listen. We think we actually listen to you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, boom. Yeah, the changes weren't that big, and we haven't gotten any sets removed. Yeah, or I don't know. I'm not even sure what they. How many card? Like, how many cards did they add? I wonder. Slash remove, because everything seems extremely the same. Uh, I'm being blocked. Quite frankly, I am being stopped here. What to do about it? Play my cool ghoul? Let them draw a billion cards? You're gonna fatigue, friend. You're gonna fatigue. Um, did see zero wolves on curve today, though. Oh, maybe Demon Hunter lost wolf? But still lost mostly to Demon Hunter, etc. No wolves on curve? Maybe wolf is gone. Or maybe you just didn't get hit by any? Interesting. Who's mock trialing? Play a game coming in with the 27 months. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. Um, so zero wolves on curve. Maybe has anyone been hit by a wolf? Because wolf being gone would be a, a nice welcome change, even if, if not everything is changing by a ton. That'd be decent. And uh, hero power this gone. Remove you. And I think, do I need to save this coin for any reason? I think I'd rather get the weapon rolling. Uh, just to have like more tempo paid for for the following turns. Seems good. I just drafted a Geppetto Excavate Shaman. And I've been offered all the same cards as last meta. Yep, 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 yep. I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for those people to come in and be like, I just drafted this sick new deck. Uh, Wowee. New cards for days. I'm just waiting for it. It's going to happen. Okay, Grime Street Enforcer. About to buff many a card. What am I looking to do? Was that four? Oh, hey, oh, what do we got going on here? Play game not done yet. Not done yet. Coming in with that $10, $10 donation classic. Back from my cruise. Had a great time. Glad to hear that. Welcome back, man. Welcome back to a brand new uh, Hearthstone meta after your cruise. I hope you had a great time. Cru I mean, I'm. I, you said you did, so I'm thinking you probably did. <laughs> Glad to hear it, man. Cruises are, are quite swell. Sorry you're back, but also welcome back. And I appreciate the the uh, <laughs> immediately coming in with the $10 tip. Appreciate that a lot, man. Uh, these have nice synergy together. That's cute. And just hero power. They could just hero power. Could just hero power. And then what? Play this, I guess? Don't even bother forging. Death Growl. Probably just take an army of the dead here. Corpse expenditure is nice. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. Seems fine. Seems fine. It's always the worst when we start with good runs on this on this uh, account because it's not what we're going to use the leaderboard. So like we got to lose some games so we can be like, yep, on to Judge Tryhard. On to the account formerly known as Jud Judge Tryhard. I'm going to be interested to see if anybody like actually goes through all the stats and determines what cards were added and what cards weren't. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's a lot of minions. That's a lot of stats. That's a three mana nine nine right there. And it makes me scared. Um, hey, okay, too many corpses to spend. I got to have some stuff die over here. What should I do? What should I do? What does one do here? Who just 
be Hero Power Corpse Bride. Hero Power here, slam a big Corpse Bride. Use the weapon. Ship a dome. You got uh, Stoneborn Accuser going face, hopefully. We've got 14 damage. You know, just one off, le actually lethal setup here if they don't uh, do anything crazy, which they probably will. Liberum of Justice, that's crazy. Oh, and an Amber Whelp. A random Amber Whelp. Okay. I really want all my damage to go face. I do want that. I want that for me. Because they're uh, gonna outstat me. They're for sure gonna outstat me, right? Why don't we do... Hmm... 413 ever? I guess I could reap and see what I get. I get origami. If I 413, it's kind of awkward because, like, I've got the immune and I wouldn't really be taking advantage of it. But that could leave the option for immune no muncher next turn. Why don't I reap this and see what happens? Fools. Azerite. Still probably this. And see what they do about it. Keeping a lot of damage for the dome, and hopefully this can end up going face one day. Okay. Oh my good heavens. Oh, sweet beans. That is awfully rude. That is awfully rude. Wow. Okay, let us then see what's in here. Oh my god. I have I have to. I'm only human. I have to. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Leave this match up here. And then next turn, if we need, we can just rip a transpog baron and, and you know, off to the races, right? Oh, that's bad. That's really bad that that happened. Decent lifesteal hit here, though. Okay, maybe this actually has to come down on minions due to cheating. Not sure why, but I'm stuck in oops, all death knights mode. I haven't seen a single demon hunter, which is really weird. I think that's pretty weird. Uh, okay. Maybe it's an army of the dead turn? A hero power. Play this, play this even. Hero power here. Army of the Dead could just clear this and then I make that trade. And then I can play Observer. That's pretty nice. Wow. Those don't get used up at once. No way, right? Because they're ones whenever, ones after, right? Whenever and after? Yeah, yeah. So objection first. And then the second minion will be a sheep. Like, that's absurdly good. Flash of light. Yeah, more healing. Everyone goes up to full health. Uh, that's what happens. On sec. They're just not going to play a minion? There's no way, dude. There we go. Objection. And it looks like they won't get a sheep, but that's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. So let's go, dude. Transpog me, bro. Nostalgic Gnome, one of my best cards. Turns into an Alex. That's probably not better, actually. Probably not better. Um, and then let's hit them in the face. A whole bunch. 
That's my streamer. Never once considering Tempo Transpog. It just simply wasn't going to happen, Hobbs. No way. Oh, poof. My minion's gone. Did I put myself to 15? Well, that was a, that was a rapid change in tempo. Speaking of rapid changes in tempo. Speaking of rapid changes in tempo, they're almost dead, man. This just goes face, right? Or like. I mean, what are they going to do? Yeah, what, what are they going to do? Could have waited one turn. Because I got the stoneborn then too. Easy peasy. Thank God I played that transpog when I did, <laughs> you know? Thank God I've got this Alastraza here. I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> okay, that's gotta be GG. I went in with the thought that the anti-barcode thing will take some days to, to function. That is true, right? Like the if you well, the, the thing is, though, is they they did reset the uh, arena queues, so you can't bring an old deck. So it actually should be it should be immediate effect, actually, since they did have to retire all the decks should be immediate effect. Yeah. OK, four zero, we are winning games, which is good. And I really I really feel like we have been able to win a little easier today. Now, that could be because it's a big patch day. People are just trying some stuff. People heard there's a new arena meta, even though there really isn't. Um, also could be uh, power levels down since the retire levels are, are uh, forcibly down, which is great. Let's see what this druid has. Listen to the drip. Um, you know what? What the heck? Let's keep it. Let's keep it all. Let's keep it all. This looks great. This looks grand. They're going to play uh, Flipper Friends, and I'm going to obliterate their romp of otters with my sergeant. Okay, put the panda bear against that. Seems nice. Mmm. Mmm. What's better, a corpse farm or a fistful of corpses here? It's probably supposed to be fistful, right? For tempo. And, like, I've got a lot of cards that consume corpses anyway. I don't have them in, in hand, but... Feels like I've had quite a few draining corpse cards in my hand to the point where it's been a little awkward. Shambling zombie tank, you can play without it. It's only natural. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, if I'm going to glacial that. If I'm going to glacial that. Wait, what is this? Oh, never mind. That's a battle cry. Oh, yikes. Okay, never mind. Forget it. Forget I said anything. Um, why don't we just go ahead and... Am I just bunkusing? I can just play this too. I guess I'll bunkus. I guess I'll bunkus. Why not? See how many times they rip this three attack hero power. Spinetail D is quite powerful and rude. But I do have Glacial to handle that, slash perhaps corpses. I think I'm going to go... I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. This card's so strong, and I know they have another Dragoon, which is scary. I could glacial it, coin a forge, for example, or just full clear. I could just play the guide, try to get my value. Another thing you can do is observer of mysteries, coin hero power, and that's kind of okay. That's three away still. Next turn looks kind of awkward. Next turn looks kind of awkward. I'd be forced into the guide if I'm going to forge. I think I'm going to do this and uh, just play the mysteries. Try to slow things down that way. 
And uh, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. JD could be sniping. I'm not going to look at them. No way. You have no idea. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. No reason to look at them. Denied. Okay. Objection? Objection one time? Vaporize? Uh, vengeful though. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Nice. That's uh, quite spectacular. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, that's really extremely, extremely good. Okie dokie then. Now what am I supposed to do? I have three corpses. I mean... I could glacial unholy and that's pretty good this candle taker is okay but I, I i would have to make a trade first kind of like i don't have a, i only have three corpses so because i only have three corpses i think i'm gonna do this ship it ship it and then this and then i'm just gonna forge that seems good that seems good. I wonder how many barcoders are already trapped in their own queue. It must be a fun experience for them to play against all these constructed decks. That's what you get for cheating. It's awesome that it exists. It really is. We might uh, we might run in that jail one time and uh, see what's going on in there just for fun. My theory is that the anti barcode tech takes at least some days to work out. I, I haven't seen any today. And from my understanding, it's supposed to be pretty immediate. Um, uh, Ketso, I don't know if you've seen any. I, I know one person said they saw a barcode. We got up to eight wins last time. Wait, why is that a one one? Wait, what just happened? Oh, cactus. I was like, did they did they just in the last 30 minutes nerf this back to a one one? <laughs> OK, so that was rude of them. Um, Let's. Play some cards. I don't think I need to use hard removal on that. I want healing. I've already got corpse expenditure for days. Um, I think I'll just do this. See what else they come up with. Clearly made the right choice. Feeling good about that. Fistful of Corpse is doing some work here for sure. What do we got? Those are only two twos. I'm so used to those always, always, always being uh, way bigger. Feels okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, why don't we go ahead and just get that healing rolling? I think that seems wise, because we're going to want to spend a bunch of corpses next turn anyway. Why don't we do this, this, this. Clear the board a bit, get back up to full. Because uh, then we're going to slam this bone commander. And then maybe the corpse bride right after coming into CNE. There's already, what, there's six, no, there's nothing so far. But it will be large soon. Yeah, and Kate, so did you see those at like the high end? I wonder. It'll be interesting to 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 keep an eye on it. Yeah, see see where it's weak and yeah, I've, I have no idea, right? We'll see. Hard to say anything conclusive on day one, right? They still have cheap large lads. Like Arbor up, say? No. Okay, that's pretty good. That's reasonably strong for them. Is the best play going to be to slam this after a bump? Probably. Because then I can come into this if I need. I've also got you. That's a pretty good turn. Hmm. I'll do this. Armies of bone. How does it feel to get spreading plagued, guy? It's up to seven. It's up to seven damage. Four, four, four souls. Need more corpses. Top Keck is just draw, so that's probably a good sign, right? That's a 
that's a huge double trade. No, what? Was that their draw? Bullshit, that's what they top decked here. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> At least they don't develop too many other stats and they didn't have to kill two four fours off. I, I wonder if this was actually a mistake and they could have used the three six on the eight eight and kept some fours with value trades or something. But damn. Oh, look at all that face damage. What a lucky turn for them, man. What a lucky turn. Okay. I think I need a spell. I think I need a spell here. Help. Help. Uh, is down with the ship just the safest way? I'm gonna play this. Right? Maybe I should have just hero powered first. But I do have an holy frenzy. It's just going to be this. Should have done that first in retrospect, but... And what does that bring our CNE to? Nine damage. Nine damage. Very close. Pretty powerful turns from our opponent. That last one, that grunt really screwed us. But, uh... Okay, I mean, this is just going to have to be a CNE onto the onto the dragon here, right? And that's going to be real good. Um, no other choice. We go up to 14 and that should do a lot of work here. That should do a lot of work here. Go home. Up to 14. Board is ours. Do we feel safe? Footman looking amazing. This looking great. Pushing for lethal. CNE actually bailing us out entirely multiple games now. In theory, what do we got? Yog Saron, nope, and what? Keen Reflex? Fan of Knives, I've never seen this, and everyone was saying it was in before. Did they up the offering rate? How many spells did they cast? Is it gonna save them? Equality, dangerous. That's it. Oh, they hit the rush though, too. It's still not enough. It's still not enough. Just barely not enough. Everyone was saying Yogg was uh, was in last uh, meta, but I had never seen it. Now I see it first day in the new meta. Wow. Close one. Close one. I forced myself to play Constructed on a Sunday evening for that 2,500 experience, and now with the 15 wins required, I guess I'm going to re-roll it. Yeah, like, that was a huge difference, right? 5 to 15? Like, did they say anything about doing this, either? It's pretty huge. I don't I don't really pay too much attention to, like, quests and stuff because I'm just in that unique, like, niche where I stream every single day, so I don't really have to worry about resources all that much. But, like, sounds... Sounds like that's kind of a rough go. I used to. I know the grind. Before I started streaming, you know, I would I would plan out my my quests and plan out my gold carefully, even affording arena runs back then. Even though I only have six thousand gold on this account and stuff, like my tryhards, every every account I play on pretty much has infinite infinite gold. Um, just with how much I play, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I don't, I don't really look. But I have to imagine three times as many games. Come on, man. 15 wins? It's a weekly. 15 wins is a weekly? 15 wins is a weekly. And it used to be 5 wins as a weekly? Win 15 ranked games. Like, say you're at, say you're about a 50% win rate player, you have to play 30 games in the week? Quite a bit. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. 
I don't know, man. How long do games take nowadays? This is our first Demon Hunter of the day at 5-0. We might get obliterated. Let's find out. I'm going to look for curve. Because especially against the Demon Hunter, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. I love the new weekly quests. My favorite is to play 60 miniaturized or mini cards. <laughs> Man, they really did make the they really did make the weekly quest quite hefty, eh? It was mentioned, but people didn't expect it to be this bad. Some daily and weekly quests have been adjusted to be harder to complete, but will grant more experience. So like if the experience is way, way more, some of them being increased could be OK. You know what I mean? Like having options for lower scale weeklies or higher scale weeklies, where if you do play a lot more, that could be good. I don't know. But if they it depends on how many they changed, possibly 60 miniaturizes is quite a lot. Panda, what do you got for me? A lovely. I want to say crop rotation. Um, I want to get corpses for my corpse bride early. So let's grab that. That seems nice. Lucky paint fin very well. Lots of options here. I think this is still best. Uh, they can poison our one three, and I don't think I really care too much about that. So usually after a meta shakeup too, like about a week later, you see a, a bit of a shakeup. So I, I don't know if they're going to do that this time around with how similar the meta is to last meta. That is something you often see, right? So I don't know. Are they going to shift things up even more? I'm interested to hear their plans because it, the weird thing is like we talk about all this and like how things are changing and what, what we expect, but they don't they don't really say anything, right? Like we have no idea what the plan is with this mode. Um... Perhaps they're still in kind of like an experimental stage, so maybe they don't say anything because they don't even know what they're going to do as they keep trying things out and seeing what works best. Like, that could be reasonable. Seems nice. Yeah, it's a lot of corpses. Maybe I'll play a bride corpse. They changed them all, I, I think, but the amount of extra XP is not proportional to the amount of extra requirements. Yeah, that's a shame. Judge talking as if the devs even know Arena exists. They're, they reset the leaderboard just a second ago. Hey, hello. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I, I can do better than that. Uh, hello, barcode jail? Huh? They've been doing stuff. It's all good. It's all good. Arena's popping. Arena's popping. So that's two random demons, which means they're garbage demons. Uh, no question. Uh, do this and that and rip a giant corpse bride. That seems good. A nice quick five mana 12-12 with taunt. Arena had a whole paragraph in the patch notes. How many how many years did we go without getting any, um, no, you know, words in the patch notes at all? Robuster looking for an answer, Bloom or Rock? Opponent give up. They didn't hit it. It's over. They were looking for rock. They were looking for bloom. 
They're not trying to fake me out, right? Should I give these D shields? Feels like maybe give these D shields. Like, what are they going to do? Are Wild Seeds back in Hunter now? I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think so. I'm going to just do this. Bonk. Like, they wouldn't they wouldn't have done that, right? There's no way. Like, there, there's... I know we like to joke and kid about stuff they would do and wouldn't do. There's no way Wild Seeds are back. I would lose it, dude. After saying they're a little too strong and then, like, hand-picking them back in. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I, I'm just going to keep my eyes open on people like talking on Reddit and stuff and uh, see what the difference is between the stats last week and this week. Because what, what have we seen? How many new cards have we seen? We've seen Drone Deconstructor. We've seen whatever it is, the Obelisk. Your prowess is undeniable. Maybe I know it. See ya. So yeah, we played Yoslin a few times at a pretty high wins. All right, 6-0 Death Knight. I wasn't pleased with the curve too much. But uh, it seems to be not mattering so much. I feel like the games do seem easier. Like, I'll, I'll say I wish the meta changed a lot more, but I, I feel like Barcode Jail could definitely be doing something just based on uh, day one. I got Flint. Oh, Flint. is Flint wasn't in before? I think the legendaries, new legendaries being in is probably the most interesting thing about these changes, right? And we saw that obelisk. I think that's it, though, so far. Yeah, it's hard to know. It, yeah, exactly. What's new? Because you've seen it all before through Discovers. All right, we're six zero. We're going to go for seven. I'm going to take uh, just a quick break. I haven't turned uh, turned on my be right back screen and taken a quick break. So I got to I got to stretch my knees real quick. Um, but uh, I will be right back and we will fire up our hopefully seventh win in just a hot second. I'll run an ad in the meantime. Be right back in one hot moment.
Testing. Testing audio. How now? Judge me out. Let's go for seven wins. That would be fun. Uh, already a, an infinite average day. And uh, we're not, I don't know. It's not like we're even taking all the best cards either. So I, I wonder if that's just like first day stuff, a little bit of luck or a combination of a few things. Because we 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 uh we take the fun cards, surely. I guess we did take the Dragoon over quest, but good start to the new meta on the account we don't care about. Let's go for seven. We'd probably be like four and two or five and two without CNE. That card bailed us out a couple of times. Game plan is simple. Use corpse, play explosion. Use corpse, play explosion. We finally get a drone deconstructor on turn one. Talk this up to 7-0. Listen to the drip. That's a pretty good start. I think I'll keep all that, actually. Again, I'm, I'm, uh, the big concern about this deck, I think, is the little bit of questionable carve out in the early game, because the mid range, the mid game is insane. Like the double corpse brides, bone at the top. This card's amazing. This card's amazing. This card's good in Death Knight. You know, really high tempo card. It's just the turn one and twos that seem to be a little tougher. So far, zero questionable names. Uh oh. Oh man, did you see that, dude? Stream, you okay? Yeah, stream's okay. Just Blizzard freaking out. It heard me talking about it. I think the friends uh, list has always been bugged, <laughs> to be honest. Anytime I open it, it just freaks out. What does Warrior do? They, they just excavate, right? Like, is there anything else they can do? I think we're probably coining threes. Oof. Do I even have any other mechs? I have Mechanome Guide. I have you never knew you friends list is sad. So empty now. Yeah, we purged everybody. I, we have too many friends again. Should we make a? We should make a new stream loots cards. Wait, what was it? It wasn't even a stream loots card, was it? Oh, it was a stream loots card that was purge a friend. We should make one that's at a friend now again. Brucon is draftable. Oh, hot damn. Brucon here. I'm assuming you're talking about hero card Brucon, right? All right, that is definitely new. So that's a pretty, pretty interesting change. Yeah, maybe Theronor was onto something where like there's a lot of big legendary changes. Take an F full of corpses again, I think. That's a nice card. And then we're going to freezing trap the heck out of this big demon with Observer of Mysteries. Does anybody know or care to check how many how many secrets there are in? Well, I guess you can't know. No, but in the game, in the entire game, how many secrets are there that aren't classic? Right? Or that aren't are aren't only classic like ice block because it does not belong to any other set unlike explosive trap right is that right you played a lot of shamans any docs i've seen zero docs so far from my opponent's side um this looks like a pretty clear uh answer but i could do the observer first try to save that coin because i do have the glacial reap and i'm not looking at him you never look at him not when you're streaming Nope. No sniping. Sniper, you want to know? that They're not sniping, but you want to know? You want to know what it is? Too bad. It's probably Freezing Trap. Hello, Emo Judge and Chat. Hey, how's it going, Keck W? Good to see you. Hope you're having an exquisite it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? It's only Tuesday? I didn't, I didn't stream yesterday. Threw me off. How do you know they're not sniping? Well, wait, hold up. Hey, are you sniping me? Hey, they are sniping. <laughs> nice. Okay, so they are sniping me. Haha, -ha, played around it. Okay, so I'm guessing. Wait, okay, I'm leaving now. Okay, good luck. All right, it's suspicious. I'm suspicious of you. Good luck. Goodbye. I wonder if that was actually a snipe. See, this is what I mean. You know, if I didn't say anything, would Clearfoot have said anything? You know, I wonder. Because sometimes, sometimes I say how I play my tryhard runs off stream. 
and how it's like you guys underestimate how much I get sniped and then I just say that and then yep I'm here you know it happens all the time dude but I'm not sure if this was just like a, a situation where I just said that and they're like I, actually it's me right here who knows how much cheating was involved maybe none maybe they queued into me by accident I don't know but you see what I mean it told all the time blaming stuff on snipers and then my average off stream is casually a full win per run higher let's get that out of here and uh don't think any of that's necessary at the moment that's wrench caliber did they even hit anything with that when clearfoot comes back we'll have to ask and what record they were at Bro uh, brothers is reaching arena leaderboard top 50 more luck in draft or skill at games well i think it's a a, a bit of both um where you do need i don't know maybe some luck can help but i do think the skill is like a must where the luck is not because i would make like i maybe we could do a uh maybe we could do like a little bit of a challenge because i i kind of think that i could take like I want what what average is top 50 I'm wondering if I could take the bottom class every time and still make top 50 because I don't think I, I would need luck to make the top 50 personally I do not think so I don't think there'd ever be a case where I maybe don't but maybe that's wrong what, what's that average because like our meme our meme account was number 60 something uh, maybe that might be tough maybe top 100 maybe top 50 is a lot I think it's more skill than luck, but luck can definitely carry you up that ladder a good amount. That's what I think. Uh, hurry up, you say. You tell me to hurry up. Um, I guess. I guess I'll just do this and be kind of sad about my current situation seems reasonable there's skill in how you draft a deck as well that's true and actually that's the thing that sometimes like standard players might be really really good at standard given like a subset of lists but actually crafting an arena deck can be a new skill that's tougher to do that was the case for me i was pretty good at standard and then i switched over to arena and it was just a whole different situation right but uh you know even in higher rng metas like luck will definitely sway things, but skill still remains the, you know, you still see all of the good arena players making high finishes for a reason, right? Yeah, if you're normally a top 100, uh, a lot of luck might take you to a top 50, but you still need skill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it depends on where you might end up normally. You might end up a bit higher with luck, sure, you know? And it's like we just saw Neo Greg go through one of the best runs we've ever seen. Gets a 10.1 average. Maybe Dose of Coffee beats him, though, in this meta. Um, you know, because Luck might switch the position of some top, top players, too, right? Um, both of them extremely strong, for example. I just got bombed. Okay, what do I need to do here? This happens. No doubts. Then this happens. And furthermore, let me finish. This happens, which is quite good. And then after we're done with all that, I think probably Maybe just this and this happen. Do I want to F full of corpses that? I don't think I care to right now. Now, what order were these in? What order are these in now? <laughs> uh, the one, two, three, maybe or something or one. What, what, what order are these in? I have to think with my brain here. I think a lot of snipage rates will go up a, a lot. When on the 11 win run today, I had two times a four minute queues in a row. Yeah, that, that can happen normally. Honestly, like a part of streaming, like, I, I don't know. Again, I think people underestimate how much we get sniped. 
right? Like even just playing innocent names like Clearfoot and I say that and Clearfoot's there, that happens all the time. Like, like I said, I that's why I have a separate account, right? Like I don't care. People snipe me on here. Like it sucks. Don't do that. Like it's just shitty. But like, I'm not going to lose any sleep over. I'm not even going to remember it the next second. Um, that's why I have the separate account for tryharding. But yeah, it happens more than people think. Like you get this comment, like like on Reddit, people being like, "Oh yeah, streamers blaming their losses on sniping," and it's like you guys actually, you guys actually don't really know. <laughs> you guys actually don't really know, man. Uh, okay, ten health left. The song's firing me up a little bit. Not gonna lie. Um, why don't we just do what this? This, this, and maybe I should have used it before, but I think I will use this now just in case of an execute and more face damage. This kind of needs to be, this kind of needs to be it, right? Hey, whoa, mistakes were made and I'm bad at the game. Yep, 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 yep. Take that. <laughs> I thought I just had infinite corpses. I thought I just had, I, how many of these died? <laughs> oh, that's a bad mistake. Uh, if they bump here and execute now, maybe a small throw. Maybe a teensy, teensy little throw. I could have sworn I had 25 corpses, dude. Maybe I was just uh, sacrificing it for a good top deck. Maybe I just sacrifice that for a good top deck. That like split second where I didn't realize mistake. Oh. Okay, still have the board. Okay. Okay. Do I just want to play that? Maybe I just want to play that. Who needs the forge? Because I can just coin the corpse pride. Is that better? Is that better? It might be. Down to 11, stuff can't be targeted, seems okay. Another one of these and then CNE &E anytime would be swell. Save our coin for card grader, for example. Northern Navigation, we still haven't seen get CNE, &E, have we? Maybe hope. Maybe there's hope. Uh, okay, yeah, Warpath is actually not gonna clear everything though. Not enough mana for killing the four or five. So they'll get to do something with three mana here. That will be an axe to take care of the four two. No, no, they're just going to push face. OK, they're just going to push face looking for murder upon me. Let's see if we're dead. One firearm clear. Six damage, it would need to be sunspot off the top. So I feel like it's not there, right? Wow, yeah, or just sniped to death so hard. Yeah. Yeah, Clearfoot, we're gonna we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk in a second. Cause this this is not a malicious snipe, but I, I, I still will talk to Clearfoot in a second here. We're, we're gonna get to the bottom of this, but we're gonna do it reasonably, right? We're gonna do this reasonably. Cause that's a pretty that's a pretty insane list. 
a pretty insane finish with that setup on on riff 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 having the win concedes at the last second now there's a couple reasons i'm sorry it's all a hey, clear foot let's chat let's chat um what happened what happened there what happened there i'm i'm not sure exactly what happened there's a few possibilities uh but if you queued into me on purpose you really 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 can't do that you gotta not do that um if you clicked uh if you matched into me by accident while watching sure it happens and you're not the first um those are huge differences i didn't i promise okay cool 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 cool. in that case yeah so you matched into me by accident you're watching the stream you're like well shit oops i i made a mistake um definitely leave leave the chat and don't watch my opening hand and stuff like that you can say oops matched into you good luck and leave and then absolutely no need to concede you know, I know, I, again, I've been over this same conversation with many people. Uh, it happens. It's all good. If you beat me fair and square without looking at all, cool. You know, that's fine. And I can live with losing at 6-0 to a 6 thing. Uh, good game, though. Good game. Glad to hear it wasn't on purpose. And, uh, you know, obviously try to not queue into the streamer, but it, it, it does, you know, you're watching the stream, you're doing something else. It happens. Good luck with the rest of your run. Hopefully you were also at zero losses. But yeah, it's it's all good. Like it's I know it can be frustrating as a streamer sometimes to see names from the chat and, and whatever, right? Yeah, I didn't watch, but I've been uh, following for quite some time. I didn't watch you as we matched. Didn't see you were online. Oh, I just had to check if it was you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's all good. That's all good. Yeah, yeah. In that case, there's nothing you could have done to stop matching into me. I've done the same thing myself being like, am I playing this person? As long as you don't look at the hand. And, uh, yeah, no need to, no need to concede. No need to concede, you know, uh, it, it, take the dub. Even if I'm at two losses, you know, this is an account that I'm going to meme on and there won't be chances for leaderboard stuff. But like, I always said when people cared more about, uh, the leaderboard. Yeah, clear. I know it's a little bit of an awkward situation. I hear you. Good, good game. Ideally, though, it's fine. Like, I don't care. We can lose games. I'm just going to get obliterated by this preset 7-0 eventually anyway. So like, as long as you're doing the best you can, um, legitimately doing the best you can, then it's then it's all good. But good game. Good luck with the rest. And uh, glad to hear it was uh, the good version of matching into each other and not the bad version. I haven't played versus you yet. I found Dose and Neo Greg sometimes and I got obliterated. Hey, I've also played against Dose and Neo Greg and gotten obliterated, Make, <laughs> I hear you. Uh, play this lad. Play this lad. This hand stinks. I can just play this. Let's play this for now. And I was 7-1. Okay, so neither neither a run ender. Neither a run ender. That riff finish, dude. I I, I uh, had the CNE. I had the CNE ready to kill you. And then that riff come, came out of nowhere. Oof. Um, okay, I'll just go cool ghoul. They get a good value trade. I cry. It's fine. Tears are not an unfamiliar taste. Uh, on my lips and on my face. So that's fine. They can do that. Question is, will they heal? Probably not. I would just come into hero power. Oh, dodged. Send help. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's what we're gonna plan here, okay? This is gonna come in over here. This is gonna be a button that's hit. Then we're gonna do this. Then because of order of operations, this is gonna go first with our unholy frenzy. And then like, whatever, you know, that's it. It's just pretty much that. It's just like un unholy frenzy is good. That's all, not as cool as I made it sound like it was gonna be. The snake was actually the giga high roll. No way I could have gotten through a second taunt wall otherwise. Yeah, that was big. That was, uh, that was, uh, yeah, we, we had tons of stats before that. That was a big one. Even keeping the three ones, you know, like I said, we had, even with that, we had the, uh, had the lethal coming up without riff, 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 which I, I don't think I've seen that many riffs in any deck 
uh, last meta, they could have upped the offering, offering rate on Rifts, something to keep an eye out. That was pretty, uh, pretty good at the end. What does this priest, what does a priest do? They just take extra turns, right? They just play big, thick dragoons. Wait, what did they do? Double palm reading? Oh my God. What are they going to do to me? Double palm reading. Dude, that's so scary. I'm terrified of that. Counterspell. Uh, maybe this is the way to go. Although. That's pretty wild, too. say wild it's good it's a zero it's like it's much better than the two drop than the mining casualties m holy nova stop stop that's enough but that's one mana still neither of those discovered either order keck w Order Keck. Okay. Okay, face is definitely going to be the place coming in here. Mmm, delicious, delicious, delicious. Let's see what's in here. Very tasty. Mm, yeah, that could be fine. It's not like my other tempo options are good. I don't think I ever trade here. Trading is for nerds. Uh, don't need to do that. No, thanks. Or nine could even be this face, this, this, as I set up for it. Coin an eight. Uh, dude, nice play around. I'll take the draw, though. I don't have a lot of stuff. So they're testing for counterspell, then testing for explosive and uh, counter or whatever, right? Or explosive and objection. That's all good. Let's see what's in here. Take a mining casualties. Probably this is a trade. And then hero power, draw, draw, seems fine. They're playing kind of slow. We get a bunch of cards here. We're coming into spending 10 corpses and hopefully drawing one of our other uh, corpse utilizations. We're probably, it's gotta win, right? The scary thing is, is if they do copy a card from my hand, it copies it as is. It is a copy as is. That's gonna be a shield. Uh, asphyxiate looking pretty good uh, right now. <laughs> asphyxiate looking like it would have been decent, but that's okay. Let's go glacial. Mining casualties. And hit him with this. Seems to be the only way. As much as I want those to go face, I can't go face if there's a giant taunt in my way. Defire P from palm reading. Three mana, my board is gone. Three mana, Twisting Nether. Into one of the most busted cards in Priest. I love it, dude. I love it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this one then. Let's do this one then next. They kill a bunch of small stuff, then a couple of these. I still have a lot of corpses. I'd take a corpse bride, too. I might need it against this opponent. Maybe frozen overs from Snow Flurry start drawing some cards. This used to be one twos with taunt, not one threes. A pretty insane buff, probably unnecessary. <laughs> like this card was already quite good. Light it burns from Shadow Visions. 
Uh, rude. Jesus. They're taking an extra turn and killing me, dude. Okay. Okie dokie. All good there. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking good here. I mean, I'm playing this. I'm playing this. Dude, how is this only nine damage? <laughs> how is this only nine damage? How is this only gone up three? Damage has only gone up three. <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, I was going to shift this to the face because I figured this would actually be killing them. Okay. Maybe I still will? Just play this. If there's a chance at lethal, I want to make sure. I'll take this crab rider and hold on to it, I think. All right, let's see what they do. I feel like a, a bit unlucky on the CNE. Um, I mean, that's a lot of corpses. That's 16 corpses and our damage only went up by three. Um, which is just actually, actually devastating. Like, it feels like we really should have lethal here. Need another corpse bride. Still have 11 corpses. Okay. Elec Mount is uh, terrible news. I feel like I might just have to slam the CNE, get a full board, and hope they don't have the removal. A full giant uh, board of minions ain't that bad. Well, it's not that bad, but then they're not dead. That's the problem. They are then alive, which is not good. Um, And it's a priest, so the board could be gone. Now, this does this probably win? Yeah, probably, right? Although they might just play Zarimi and I might be dead. I got to clear this. And I probably need to only summon 685 so I can clear this too. That's a tight one. That's a tight one. That's a tight one. It's toy. That one. This comes in here. These go in here. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but I feel like the Zarimi threat is very, very real. A taunt is in the way? Oh yeah, Elec Mount, you idiot. Mistakes were made. I forget how cards work, but I totally wanted this taunt to protect my board. You can't another taunt. Valiant effort, Exodo. Valiant effort. You can't stop me. Um, if I play seven of these, then uh, that's bad luck, right? Seven is no good. That's bad luck for seven years. Can't have that. I'm more worried about just like another Dragonfire Potion. Like six of these should be enough to win. And there's the Zarimi. I knew it, dude. So just dead or? Yeah, just dead. Just dead. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I should have won this game, dude. That should have been lethal. I only got three damage out of 16 corpses. That is rude. And one of the max maxes out, right? All right. Tough one. Tough one. Seven one. We probably do belong in the one loss bracket after the clear foot game. So seven and one. Wow, you've read this game pretty well. Yeah, that's because the meta is literally the exact same as it was the last two months or whatever, or month, you know? That's because this meta is not different. So, like, I do know what's going to happen. All right, next. Next, we are 7-1. Maybe we can get to 8 and have an 8 win average day or higher. Zarimi was kind of like one of the only ways we we lose. Is Zarimi the best legendary for priests? That's a good question. 
I'm going to guess it's going to be like a little lower because people are going to take it pick one and then not get offered dragons because it is pick one. You have to take it. If you have clay matriarchs, it surely is right. Like if you have clay matriarchs, it's so good, but it's still like a risky pick. And if you don't get dragons, it's terrible. Like uh, I, I in my try hard runs, I took a uh, Hagatha in Shaman, got offered zero spells, five or over. And it's like, oops, my legendary all of a sudden is very terrible. I'll keep a Bunkus. I'll probably do this. I like Gnome. I'll do this. Chill Fallen Baron. I was actually going to bring up a uh, Raid Boss Anixia, but that's the thing. Second best according to HS Replay, and that includes runs where they don't find dragons. So I'm going to bet if you consistently have like enough dragons for it to be active, I'd, I'd want it over a Raid Boss. But yeah, Raid Boss Anixia is pretty nuts. Prepare yourself. Yes, yes, indeed. Indubitably. Prepare yourself. Waits 15 seconds. Boom, Silverhand Recruit. Two can play at that game. My Silverhand Recruit is a terrifying ghoul. I could have coined the Chill Fallen. Chill Fallen's not good tempo either. I think I'd rather save the coin. Because now I can coin out a nice gnome. What will wet your whistle? Doke. Hoopity bop. This card's so good, man. Like, not too long ago, just a 4 mana 4 4 with Rush on its own was, like, pretty decent. Park Panther changed that, I guess. Behold, they're impressed, right? They're happy. They're, they're impressed. When it works, it's insane. I watched Ice play it on Ladder quite a bit as well. Yeah, Zarimi is, like, maybe the best deck in the game on Ladder, apparently, right now, right? Um, That's a Hearthstone Brew deck, even, too. Kind of interesting to unholy frenzy on this. Worth? Horth? I can just draw an extra card. I feel like it's it's a bit awkward because it's off curve. Hmm. Herm. I mean, I could just hero power draw and play something else, too. It's pretty good, though, even though it's off curve. I think I'm going to do it. They draw two. I draw some. I like my cards better than yours. Job done. Because I've got a CNE. It's going to be uh, incredible. And I keep tempo. That looks good. That looks good. I mean, Unholy Frenzy probably is another card that I, I don't think needed to be buffed. You know, crazy card. So playing off curve, kind of OK sometimes. Pretty weak consec. It's a pretty weak consec guy. Let's go ahead and. Uh, um, I've got a Corpse Bride and a Bone Garden now, so I feel like I can reap and probably just play the zombie tank and that's fine. Since I've got so much stuff to slurp, my corpse is gone. That gets hit by a rock. Uh, maybe that gets hit by a scorp, actually. Is that get hit by a scorp? Oh, water source. Maybe it gets hit by both a rock and a scorp. Oh my god. Now what does it get hit by? Good gracious. Good gracious. Good gracious. Maybe now I don't even play the Scorp. Maybe it's just a chill fallen Baron. And then a rock and then a cadaver, a cadaver. OK, where's your concept now, as in? Where's your concept now, guy? It's over. 
don't want to play this. I want to save corpses for big boys. Ooh, Faceless Corruptor. That's a pretty good card. That is a pretty good card. Could Scorp on one of them, potentially. Ever a Bunkus? Probably not a Bunkus. If I just play Scorp, am I trading here? But I don't want to trade. Yes, I am. I guess I do this. And then I do this. And then, oh God, well, you, you know I gotta do it. How many spells do I have? I've got six left. No, I can't. One, two, three. Oh, sweet and snow flurry. Okay, I have to go for it. I have to go for it. Might it cost me the game? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. What is this, Judge Tryhard? There's a yog in my hand, guy. I'm gonna spin that wheel and pyroblast this guy to death. Come on, I got I gotta draw my sweet and snow flurry though to make it happen. Surely I will. What did I just turn into? Oh, uh, Selena, this is called Yog Saron, God of Fate, and it's a card that just wins the game when you play it. It's gonna be beautiful, Judge. I want you to activate my Yog. I'm going to Grim. I'm gonna do it. Although on the other hand, I might just die because their entire hand is now plus three plus three. But like, I'm totally going to do it, man. I just need to draw all my spells real quick. And then we're good to go. And then we're good to go. Only, only six left. And this could fetch me one. This could fetch me my, my snow flurry. That card's not fair. Never has been, should have been five mana. Oh, yep, that's a pretty good hit too. Pretty good hit, pretty good hit. Yep, this is not fair. Not a fair amount of stats. Things are not going well. My only hope now? Yog. Yog's my only hope. I'm protected behind a thick wall of taunts. It's time to draw my sweetened snow flurry. Uh, I mean, that's really extraordinarily good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I get the 8-8 eight, eight back, which is nice. So if I play that, what else am I playing? Then I play the Gnome Muncher for the 1-1, one, one, right? I gotta do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or I could even... What if I took two of them off? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the Gnome Muncher. And then that would come back anyway. So that'd be better if I'm going to play Gnome Muncher. What if I played Bunkus for seven? Does that matter? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's this. Bunkus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I found it. 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 <sighs> okay, that's a good turn. That's a good turn. That's a good turn. Good job, Bunkus. Didn't need the no muncher. Five Yog counters going down after that unholy. Yog at five left. Holy shit. Fuck off. What a deck, dude. Would you stop? Would you stop? At least the one threes do a decent job of blocking this out. But would you would you stop that immediately? Good gracious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Close to lethal. Close to lethal. Um, I need more spells though. Darn, we're not gonna get to Yog, guy. No way they kill me here. There's no way they kill me here, okay? Discover a spell? Discover a spell? Also a pretty good footman. Muncher hits him. Oh god, yeah, dude, wow. Duh. <laughs> Duh. No, but I can't do Muncher and Explosion, right? 
Like Muncher hits him and that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it wouldn't be lethal though. It wouldn't be lethal though, right? But it's a good idea. I can go face, face, face and play the Muncher. Um, and that's pretty nice. Putting uh, them lower for explosion. The other idea is I can just play the Corpse Bride to get that lower, too. Seems like this is the way. But yeah, Hero Power would have been down to one. I was more worried about getting spells from this, but I guess that's not going to happen. I guess that's not going to happen. How many more? Five left. I needed to draw my uh, my sweet and snow flurry uh, instantly, right? Oh, healing. They're healing. Maybe we're going to be okay. Maybe we're going to need that yog after all. Blood Matriarchs, Liadrin or Ysera. Legendary pick, Paladin run. Uh, what is Blood Matriarch? Uh, what is that card? What is that card? I'm a professional, by the way. I'm a judge, professional Hearthstone player. What is that? What is Blood, Blood Matrix? What does that do? Lethal? I, I think I better kill them. I don't think I can wait five more spells. <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, better just do murder upon them. Sorry, Yogg. It was nice to have you here. But uh, I don't think we're getting getting five more spells in before becoming dead, so... Let's just go ahead and do murder upon them and go on to the next game. We are eight and one going for nine. That's back to back eights today at the very least, which is good and nice. Winning games and stuff is good. Who's next? I think part of that is we've only seen one demon hunter, right? We've only seen one demon hunter. Is that correct? And did we and I think we obliterated them, didn't we? Did we just see one demon hunter and kill them or what? What happened? Pretty sure, because we didn't see any in the priest run. I think I'm more scared of shamans now, to be honest. We've seen a lot of good shamans today. Now, I don't think we've... We lost? Maybe we did it with the priest lose to a shaman. All right, Ash. Let's dance. What do you got for me? I'm going to discover uh, the Scourge. And uh, that'll be my win condition in this game. Oof. Wow. What's better, Runes of Darkness or Corpse Explosion? Both are very good with CNE. That's an interesting one. This is a very strong card. One time removed lads. Is this going to be too much corpse consumption? I feel like it's a risk of too much corpse consumption, so maybe I'll take the consistency of the runes. Also consumes some corpses, but uh, that's a that's a close one. Doc deck? No, no, they removed Doc from the game entirely. It's no longer draftable or playable in standard. Um, can't even look at its art. They could be sniping. You can't look. Do not look at these secrets. They could be sniping. I don't know what they are either. Oh, yeah. Well, fair enough. Ice barrier and what? Double cross. All righty. Um, turns out I'm going to do this after all. Minus one damage to the face kick W. I'm playing along with the jazz, if you didn't notice. Bing, 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 a good well-timed uh, couple of bings. Thunderhead. Thunderhead. How do I want to handle that large lad? Perhaps. Badonk. And face and face and face. Little unholy frenzy here. Everything dies. And then I spend all those corpses and get a nice weapon. And that weapon will be a grand. I want to say might of Metathil. I do want to say that, and then I can just go face, and they never, Shaman never has healing, right? Is skipping a turn correct, Judge? Yeah, I'd say that was a fine play for them. It depends on what they have, right? Like, if they have AoE, or they have, like, big mid-range swing cards, like cows and stuff, they can probably get away with that. It's not like I have that much tempo on the board. 
I think that was a vi very viable turn, yeah. Wayne's a fish. Oh, God. My board. My board. I think Soulbreaker was fine, too. Get more corpses. Yeah, that's true. And I do have the Bone Guard commander in hand. Yeah, that probably would have been fine. I was kind of hoping I could just swing face more and go for the kill right now. But it seems that they've fished me to death. And that will no longer be a possibility. Um, dang, where's my Yogg now, guy? Hmm, do I want to play this? Or do I want to play this? 5-5? Five, five, they dig me straight down? I think this is doing too much. I guess I can discover a spell, if I wish. Discover my CNE right off the bat. That way we have it. That way we have it. Okay, sure. Let's do this. Crop rotation. Legged grain gains some corpses, which is decent. Crop rotation gains the same amount, but instead of shuffling stuff into my deck, I get the one ones on board, which seems probably better, especially since I can use that to help my no muncher. I don't think I'm going to do it right now. What I'm going to do is grab my CNE. Ah, uh, no. Um, I mean, I could freeze a thing. I'm just going to take reap. Darn, I wanted my legendary spell. I would have been more pleased if I got my legendary spell there. I have you never knew you Solve this Rubik's Cube real quick. Gain some confidence back. Yo, feeling confident now. Okie dokie, one more turn before coming into the Bone Commander. Commander of the Bone. One's doing a lot of value stuff. Spell. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. My push for lethal is failing. Can you solve one IRL? No, <laughs> no, I cannot. That's something I feel like I, I've meant to learn to, 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 you know, I wanted to learn, but no, I cannot do it. I sadly cannot. Mm, I guess I'm just going to play this big Vlad, right? I'm just going to do this, and that, and just play this. Give them a thing to deal with, and then the following turn, I will play crop rotation to clean up and then slam this bone commander. Could have done an extra five to the face, but they're too healthy now. Uh-oh. A random pack the house appears. Oh, yeah, super. That's uh, that's fair. Yeah. This is what I mean when I look at like Neo Greg's 10 average. I'm like, how the how the fuck do you win this one guy? You know, I got to watch that guy. How, now what? Seems not fair. Random. So first of all, the, the thing that discovered a pack the house wasn't even in their deck. Like the the it was what Panda into Elixir into pack the house. Into Vargoth? Into Pack the House? <laughs> Fucking unreal. Unreal, dude. That's eight damage. I can deal eight to their face now, leaving them at 16, but I, I cannot. They've got lifesteal here. I just can't uh, maybe freeze the lifesteal with this could be a way, but then this isn't even doing anything. Like, there's just nothing I can do. Maybe it's going to be like... reap here make it more likely you freeze the sunspot but you have to freeze the sunspot or you're just doomed and you do this is more important this is more important whatever that's fine Ugh. i would have killed the three three it's all more important nine there but it had to be lethal now, man. I don't know. I needed to go faster. Obviously, it was a complicated turn. So I could have killed that and killed this. But it doesn't really matter if the sunspot lives. Like, I'm going to have to kill the sunspot with CNE and hope they don't have AoE.
Dang, too bad. See what they can do here. Still get double spells too. I wrote like we needed to freeze the sunspot. That was necessary to, to even have a chance to win. That's a way to lose. Pack the house into Vargoth into another pack the house. All random. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, Blizzard can save you. Yeah, yeah. We do have enough mana for Blizzard now. That's true. Uh, sorry, yeah, one mana away. One mana away. I mean, if I play the Bone Guard Commander and they don't get a taunt, even if they heal for six, if I can go face with this, maybe I maybe I just need to play the Bone Guard Commander here. Another six corpses, maybe some more damage here. Push this face. Hmm. Yes, the, the from from the less talk more play, buddy. That's that's a good meme here. If you're ever curious, you can always check out the respect command. Know how to properly respect the channel. Uh, okay, I think it's the way. I think it's this, and I think it's this. Hopefully, we hit damage on this CNE. We only hit one damage there, which actually puts us at exact lethal if they do no more healing than the six or taunts, which is unlikely. But not impossible. Digging? You digging? You digging? And you have the weapon. Yeah, no, no, that's including the weapon. That's including the weapon. There's only 10 damage. They're going to go up to 15 with the 6-6, six, six, so. Which is the reason I made this play. Devolve! Or I'll just die. Oh, a large terror. Am I dead? They have three, six, nine, twelve, plus nine. They're going after the life steal first. ET means not dead, right? Taunt! They rolled a taunt! They did it! No, dude, they rolled a taunt! A taunt! Fuck, dude. They cast Devolve again? Maybe that can give me enough attack <laughs> somehow. <gasps> Dude, so close! It's so close! If this was a one, if this was a one one, oh, we would have had it. We would have had it, dude. Oh, that's brutal. All right, well, you, you gotta see an E, right? You gotta see an E. You don't have a choice here. You gotta see an E, and, and now the question is, does it go face? Feels like it might go into the sun spot. Six five fours. Oh boy. And they get double spells if they have any removal. Dude, all we needed was them not to hit this. And we actually could beat Scam of Pack the House into Vargoth into Pack the House. As it stands now. Frost spells. I mean, I do have four rolls on them, but I'm also pretty low health myself. I think it's just got to be this. Like, out of all random frost spells, the odds of actually getting out of this alive are, are actually quite low. Like, most frost spells don't actually freeze anything. Not saying these are high odds to win either, but I think higher. I need the healing, too. And then, yeah, add the rope to it after thinking for sure. But I don't know. You get four rolls, but like the odds of actually hitting enough freeze there, even if we just freeze two things, we still have a decent chance of being dead. Not to mention of like we still don't set up lethal next turn, right? Like then we're just in the same problem next turn. It looks like they're the ones on the defense now. 
rolling for answers. Remember, they do have the Vargoth. We'll look for uh, a double Dion. Have they played a spell yet? Or is it a guarantee on whatever they play next? Thrall's gift in the lightning storm. So now they have a 50 50 of killing everything, but they're not going to take any chances. They're going to shoot. Uh, was that off the top, man? That was off the top, dog. Oh, there. That's a mistake, I think. Right now, you only have a one in three. And they do get the lightning bolts. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. I think you. Yeah, that's it. GG. They needed to not play that lightning bolt if they wanted to win this game. I was never worried. So that's how Neo Greg would have done it, I guess. Just like that. Uh, maybe actually hitting all the turns, like all the plays in one turn, though. <laughs> oh, God, I was so not worried about that. Like, honestly, pack the house into Vargoth into pack the house. Is that even good? Is that even good, man? They might have won if they didn't play that lightning bolt at the end. That's how tight that was. Because they, they, they had a 50-50 to roll another lightning storm. And instead, they made it a 33% chance, which is a lot lower than 50. In fact, given that situation, I might have just like not made as many trades and just counted on the lightning storm. Like that might have been the best odds given what they they did. Close game. Any way you cut it. Uh, I think this is the first mage today, right? I don't think we played a mage yet. Nine and one. I was wrong, by the way. I said I didn't think this deck would do as well as the priest. The priest went eight. I was wrong. Uh, threes. I love threes. I'm going to keep all of them. Three is my favorite number. Let's keep it. Ding. Okay. Oh, nice. Another three. Oh, yes. Give me Chill Fallen Baron next. Let's go, dude. Give me all the threes. I want every single one of them. What is this? Tempo Mage? What is this? Ice? Holy Tempo, Batman. Put out a card that matches well into these here. Do I need the Glacial Advance? Here? I can just discover C any &E later. I think I'm gonna take the glacial advance. And discover it from this uh tempo and whatnot. Because my opponent is doing a good job at tempoing cards fast. Oh boy, that card's also very, very strong. Bonk my boy and go face, okay. I'm going to do this and value trade still. Next up, maybe Archaeologist finds me some a play. Oof. Wow. The tempo on this guy. Lucky hit on the lifesteal, I bet. Gotta be a Bunkus. Oh, it's too early for a Bunkus, man. The heck was this start, guy? This is one where I'm, I'm being super punished for going second. Our start wasn't even that that bad still bunkus okay easy now slow down slow down <laughs> that's not slowing down guy but that is a good glacial advance target I'm at 10 health guy I'm at 10 health because I went second that's it and that's a classic Hearthstone thing. Like, you don't see just pure tempo like this too often. I'm at 10 health because I was foolish enough to have the coin. Like, I'm not going to make it to CNE. Like, I'm going to need removal. I'm not going to make it to Necrotic Explosion. If I'm ever going to win, it's not going to be by taking a 10 mana card here. It's 
So I said that we might get punished by our bad curve. Like we had okay threes, but like that's, we just got obliterated by curve there. Like you imagine the difference between that if we even just have like a bone breaker. Like if we just had a bone breaker at the at the start, one card different. I don't even know that if that card's in. Like we just win, right? We, we were just, even with threes, we're just too slow. Okay. Death cometh for us all. Death is coming. Death is coming for us. I am going to die now. What's the what's the best course of action? Probably this with unholy frenzy. But like that's not very good. I'm just waiting to die here, I think. Go like this, this, and forge this, which will save me Death Strike next turn. Death Strike next turn. You've been blocked. I have a taunt wall up, and you cannot pass. Game over. I win. Ding. Pretty good stuff they're getting from Synthesize. Okay, down to five. Mechanome Guide, no pressure. I need a win here, bud. Uh, blood Boil? Could that... Oh. Blood Boil? Maybe? Oh, boy. I died. Never mind, uh, Mechanome Guide. You are off the hook. <laughs> Good Lord, that was uh, quite a lot of pressure. Not very different than I'm used to losing to mages. Um, they did not waste a single goddamn mana to do just something incredible with. And um, without without going first, I just could not. I could not keep up. Could not keep up. I needed them to have the coin to have a chance there. Even still, it's a lot of pressure and, and some elemental synergy there. Nine and two. I've seen that name high on the leaderboards. Yeah, so there's actually, this is a, uh, this name is a popular streamer who's very good, but um, most of these names are, are fake accounts. Um, all of the streamers fans like make the same name and just play. Like there's like tons and tons and tons of people with this name out on, on the uh, ladder, but the there is one who is the streamer who is who is very good. So usually it's not the real one. But it could be this high up. And yeah, I'm not too I'm not. I mean, if our deck was a little bit lighter, if we had ones, we might have been able to compete there. So like, it's not like there was nothing we could ever do about it. Like it was unfortunate we didn't go first, but this deck's weakness is it's slow at the beginning and we just got crunched because of it, right? Is why I figured this deck would go like five. Like I, I just felt like our, our beginning was our early game was just too weak. The unholy fester. Not bad of a day considering we took a priest over a demon hunter. We take this over a demon hunter. Considering this is our like screw around account. Eight into a nine, eight into a ten, maybe? Not bad. It was them. They had the golden card back. Seems unlikely one of their fans won an official. Oh, they had the official tourney card back. In that case, it's definitely. Wait, they had the, the official tourney card back? Then it's got to be him. It, it is way more likely I played against them at this high of a record, right? Than at like three and two. Then, yeah, probably the streamer. Probably the streamer. Uh, rude. Yeah, in that case, definitely the streamer. But uh, I play like I play a name. I play uh, like a name with Bill, like WTY Bill, like once every other run. And most of them are fakes. But with that card back, certainly. I guess tempo. Oh, I guess tempo. Even if it's going to get obliterated by small creatures. Next turn, archaeologist to fill in curve with a nice two drop.
that's pretty good because our 2-2 two -two isn't going to match so well into their 1-3 after they full clear here. Maybe I'll get a Divine Shield. That is not a Divine Shield. All right, in that case, I'll play Panda because I might just hero power this away. Soul Cage is interesting, but uh, I probably just want corpses, right? I don't have access to that many. And it's not like I have an undead on the board now. I'd have to wait quite a while to get to work with Baron or Muncher. A little too long. Coins out. Army of the Dead. You have five corpses already? Guy, what the heck? Okay, well, that's bad. Well, that's bad. Let's go ahead and uh, go crop rotation. Go away, go away, go away, go away. And furthermore, go away. And now we have a whole bunch of corpses for our lovely Bone Commander. Double threes next. Possa Brew. You know what else I haven't seen? We played a lot of Death Knights. No, you know what? Never mind. We did see the Headless Horseman, didn't we, early on in the day? We did, because I was saying as a priest, I wanted to steal their horse's head. Yeah, we did. We did indeed. Never mind. Carry on. Pouch of coins has me spooked. Um, with that small 2-2 on the board, what do I want to do? I think I want to play you. Grab myself a delicious. Look at this. One mana 3-3. Three, three? Holy moly. This will take a mosh pit. This will take a mosh pit, but still just play this. Yeah, mosh pit and ghoul, cool ghoul have nice synergy together too once you pop open the reborn. Coins a bone mare. Coins a bone boy. Okay. I can handle that, right? Chat, I can handle that. It's fine. We're going to go like... Say I went mosh pit in this. I would draw one. I wouldn't be able to hero power and play the one one though. No, I can't. I'm not right. I can't handle it. I'm done. I'm just, I'm screwed. Damn, dude. That's unfortunate. I mean, I could also reborn this instead then, and that's going to be a lot better, right? Can't even BGH it. Yeah, that's that's that is rough. I will admit. You are now reborn. You'll draw one million cards. Gain a billion corpses as well in the meantime. And that is pretty nice. Maybe come into the Bone Guard Commander. Could wait a little bit. Seems like a good turn. We got Cool Ghoul with Unholy Frenzy now as well, too, once that Divine Shield pops. Seems decent. Long runs today. I guess we did do a Priest and a Death Knight. I've been streaming six hours. We're still not done our second run yet. It's kind of wild. How long is an, an average arena run nowadays? Like we only went eight with the priest. I started pretty well on time today. I need to get worse. I need to meme harder so we can mix in like three runs per stream. Rude. That card's pretty good. You gonna mosh bit that? Is that what you're doing? Northern Navigation, okay. Seven hour average per run. That's fair. What do you think uh, Neo Greg's average run length was at the towards the end when he was super, super focused? Possibly longer. Just play a big, thick chunk, right? That's something I could do. Play a big, thick, thick, thick chunk. So thick.
and this and probably just hero power this thing rush i don't care about that grand exquisite i think we have more steam than them i think we're doing doing better right this is this is our game double digits coming in Clara machine that's pretty slow nowadays i think unless you're gonna unholy frenzy that board which would have been nasty top decks from the clar isn't greg famously slow yes and i think it was even slower um at the end because he gets like, super big streak really important runs but greg is is uh famously uh, methodical yeah reminds like i said reminds me of a dubs for those who watched a dubs back in the day really really good definitely takes a lot of thought and, and time um okay a footman a footman their egg is countering my muncher kind of hard a little rude what if i give the footman reborn that could be something i do let's see here although i could i can do a lot of stuff i think i'm gonna do this and I have to hero power first. That's fine. Right? Am I fine with that? Or I could just run this off. If that's what I work to do. Is that better? I mean this could be in reborn, but I need the I need the corpse. I need the corpse. So I can do this. And then, I guess it's not. I guess it's this. Make sure it's not immune. And then it's Cool Ghoul. Which I will clear this and then play here. Okay, Grand. I think that's a pretty good turn. Do you think it's the same or longer nowadays? Um, for just like the average run? I would say this is these last few metas have been longer runs than we've seen. Generally, I would think so. Yeah, I think so. I think the last two have been kind of long. Remorseless Winter. Wow, not bad, but we gave this Reborn, therefore seek immunity. That summons a Serpent? A serpent? I think we're going to do this. And then this. Then wait for it. This sick combo right here. Where no muncher is immune and attacks at the end of your turn. Bonk. And we actually needed the health there too. That's pretty good. Still waiting on C and E off the top so we can slam this bone guard and then kill them. Staff of the Primus. I don't care about that. Buster of the Burrow. At least it dies and doesn't get a value trade. Uh, wow, what a turn. And then, of course, Buster gives them the clear. Why wouldn't it, right? Why wouldn't it? Pretty, uh, pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. Let's see what's in here. This is not the time to give them a full clear. Cross bells. Uh, well, that's an easy one. That's an easy one. Chill the vibes, you say? Another. Another. Raw strike. Hot dog. I can play all of them. Look at this. Where's my Yogg, dude? Where's my Yogg this game? Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Good gracious. And back to full health we go. And back to full health we go. What was I at? Like 13? We're going to be rich. Typical. All right. What else you got? Top Keck? 
that's a pretty good top deck considering the board, but like, we're okay. We're okay. We just discovered a random Frost Queen. We just went... What is it called? What is the three drop called that does freezy things? Wait, where is it on my list? Why don't I see it? Why don't I see it on my list? Hello? Where is it on my deck list? I drafted it, right? Am I blind? What is it called? Where is it? Something elemental. Am I just... Where's my eyesight? Like, I didn't discover that, right? I think we just go for this first. And then give that a rock. That seems good. Man, what is that card called? Why am I having such a hard time here? Chill Elemental? No. Sweetened Snow Flurry. Where are you? Where's I drafted one of those, right? S? What is this? Somebody explain where my Sweetened Snow Flurry is. It's gone. Sweet and Snow Flurry into Frost Strike into Cindragoso is rather unfair. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. This is a double digit Death Knight run. The question is, is it a 12? Is it a 12? Will we average 10 wins on the day? TikTok Little Death Knight, Frozen Over. Uh, can I see any? I can't play it. Lethal Denied. Lethal Denied. Not really, but like, you know, practically. Well, that's good to know that I have. Uh, I think that I am going to play Frost Queen Cindergosa. And I'm going to murder these with Frost. The Ice Dragon cometh. Uh, and then what am I going to do? I mean, what would anyone do? How much damage does this deal? 13, so I don't need to play Glacial Advance, so I'll just play Secrets. And I'm not looking at him. No way. Okay, fine. I'll peek this one time because we're winning by so much. Rat and Oasis Ally. Good game. Oasis is pretty sick. Remember when we beat somebody who played Pack the House into Vargoth into Pack the House? I remember. I was certain that game was over. Uh, all your stuff is tiny, so who cares? Oh, get rat trapped, guy. Lethal because of rat trap. GG. Oh my goodness. Summon me more stats, please. Three mana, 11, 17? Wait, 11, 8. What are we looking at? Three mana? How much is that? 6, 12, 100, 106, 107. I can't even keep track of all these stats. They don't even know I had lethal regardless. I'll show you if you want. I had lethal. Doesn't matter. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Man, this new meta. This new meta, maybe, it, like, it feels like these decks are not the, the craziest, but maybe we're going to have a lot more success this month. Uh, when there aren't just so many cheaters out there. Uh, I would wager the less cheaters there are, the more fair the arena is going to be, I would guess. Oh, no, though. Ten and two going for final boss. Uh, after this run is over, we will be uh, done for the day. Tomorrow, we, we've got arena and disco Elysium. So get into more disco E tomorrow. Which I was worried I wasn't going to like play as much Disco E because the meta was so brand new and I'd want to play so much more Arena. I don't think I have that fear anymore due to the meta not being, in fact, different. But we'll still get a good bunch of runs in alongside some variety. Who do we have next? Death Knight versus Oh, probably Elemental Shaman. If I see another cow lossal, I'ma go right a snooze. Listen to the drip 
If I went second, I'd keep that CNE. The thing is, is I also have um, yeah, toss it all. Actually, you'd find zombie tanks, anything to play earlier because I have threes. But I have a lot of ways to find CNE, so I've got my tracking on a stick Naga. I've got my northern navigation. So I don't need to keep it. I missed my twos. Mistakes were made. Wonder how many Kowalossals we're going to get hit by here. Nice to see people with uh, real words as names up here, dude. Honestly, like even up until just a few days ago, I'm seeing up at the top like my last five games on the way to 12 are all all bots. It's a rude play that really devastates my chill fallen Baron. Making me rather sad. In fact, I think I have to do this awful play that everybody here is going to hate and play this. Oh, God, you hate to see it. Mana? Mana, mana. Mana, mana, mana. We love mana. Good job. Now I can deal one more damage to this. How crazy is that? I need more mana. I need more mana. I need more mana. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes this active, so that's not nothing, right? Whack a noodle. Rather rude. Rather rude. I'm in danger. I am in immense danger here. What can I even do? Hard grader, send help. I've been whack a noodled. It's a tough one. I think you go panda here. I think you go panda here, maybe mix in a cadaver on this lad, but they can always just clear here value trade here. So I need some AOE, maybe a deathborn on seven with this. That could be nice. They also tempo to value card. Look at us go. I doubt we're even going to make it there, man, but let's go for it and save me with an explosive trap or a flame ward. Oh, God, could you imagine? Or two rogue secrets. Are you serious? Oof, that's rough. And there's Kalosl on five and I fell right asleep. Oh, I'm so bored. I'm so bored. Nice new meta. Just more cows, dude. More cows. Please, more cows. God, I want you to play more cows against me. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, God, it's so boring. Okay. How do we do anything here? I mean, you just lose, right? You just lose. Five mana, ten, nine with rush is usually game winning on five. Hmm. I, I need to save this for next turn, right? If there's a way. So it's got to be, got to be. Footman. And drone. I guess I can just hero power. Footman, trade. Hero power. And then next turn, come into this blizzard. Into maybe bone guard commander into the scourge. But I'd say our odds of winning are extraordinarily low. Man, hopefully they do something. I don't know, like next week, like with balance changes and swap up the meta. Because as much as it is, I got to admit, it feels way better to have the power level be a little bit down after uh, all those bots. Like this has been bot free today entirely, right? Um, as much as that's great, it is kind of boring to see, be like, there's going to be a new season, new season starting now, and it's the exact same meta. <laughs> that's kind of like, okay. All right, that being said, good start to the day, uh, or to the meta. We've got an eight win and a 10 win, nine win average start. Not too bad. Feels a lot more enjoyable to not play cheaters. So GG's.
GG's decked it shockingly well considering its very, very low tempo starts. And you'll notice its losses got just completely obliterated very early on. And we'll keep our eyes out on the stats, see what other fun cards get in there. If there are like certain legendaries that are in now that weren't in before, we can like try to go for those and stuff. We'll see if they say if Blizzard comments at all about the changes. Maybe they were supposed to be bigger changes and I don't know what happened, but um, it does feel a lot better without the cheaters. And meta's fine, just not new is all, right? Alrighty, folks, thank you very much for hanging out. Strong day. Why don't we go find somebody to raid? When we raid this person, we should just like pretend that the meta is so new and be like, can you believe these changes? Like changes feel great, man. Maybe we go do that to Dreads. Dreads with <laughs> Dreads title also new arena rotation. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh. Colst is on. Could raid Colst too. We do raid Dreads more often than Colst. Colst isn't often uh, on as much. Why do we raid Colst? Why do we raid Colst? And I'll tease Dreads myself later. Let's go see how Colst. Colst actually is a, a pretty data driven guy and might actually know some information. Uh, that we don't yet. He might be keeping an eye on slowly shifting stats to see stuff we might not know. Possibly. Possibly. Well, let's go say hi to Colst. And I will see you folks tomorrow. Get your pets spayed and neutered. And we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. Later.